Hey, uh, <laughs> we're doing it again. We did it last year, and we're doing it again this year. Big, big, big fucking marathon of games and stuff. Uh, eh, let me get get things up and running. Ah, it's me. Uh, I am I am very professional. Hold on. There we go. Ow. What? Why is that one? What, what, why did that throw stuff at me? Oh no, don't tell me that this thing is broken now. I'm in pain. Uh, give, give me give me a second, I am I need to fix stuff. Beautiful. I am such a professional at this. See this this is what I get for not thoroughly thoroughly for not thoroughly getting everything ready and working. Ah, uh, god damn it. I am in unimaginable agony because, as it turns out, uh, fun fact, since YouTuber, since, since a VTuber Plus, the thing that I use for my for my stuff, has uh, completely moved from, from Steam to no longer be on Steam, it completely got rid of some of my stuff. Which is incredibly annoying, to say the least. So, uh... Yeah, give me like a little bit to get everything, get everything working, because yes, I am such a professional at this. Ow, that is loud, holy shit. But yes, now that's working, that is good to know. Okay, eh. There we go. Now I can be here on stream again. We're fine. Ah. Why is it longer on Steam? Uh, because apparently there were some issues with the person who made this stuff. And wow, hit, hit. Oh, I sub. Ah. <laughs> but yes, uh, hi. Welcome to Big You Don't Know Jack Marathon. You can see literally the logos of all the games I'm gonna play here. It's a lot. It's 18 games. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> hoodie go. Yes, I do have a hoodie. I put on a hoodie because, you know, it's December. Gotta... I'm gonna show you stuff. Ow. God, that is loud. And now the music stops abruptly because now... It is time... Uh... Browsing through files again because I'm a professional. Because now it is time... Get started with the first game. And before we do that... Ah! Come on, come on why, is, why is this that one not working anymore? There we go. Why, why was that one hidden? I'm in pain. Anyways, uh, yes, I had cool, cool and epic overlay that I spent a bit of time on, even with like a total score so we can keep track of how many point, how much moaner I'm making. And so it's time to get, actually get started with Volume One XL, which is the first one. That is the wrong window. There we go. Hi, my name is Tammy, and I am. And why the hell is my chat completely gone now? Ah. God damn it. God damn it, why why is it like this? Why did this completely get rid of my chat when I did this? I am I'm in pain. Doesn't object is good enough for CP rank. I have no idea. 
I, I, st I still don't know. To me, it's still a mystery. There we go. I'm just going to reorganize my desktop because apparently this is causing some big issues for me. I'm in pain. <laughs> I'm such a professional at this. Eh. But now, now it should work. She's just starting out in junior high. Give me some uh, new Amsterdam. And as soon as I say that, now I, I can't. Yeah. Damn bear. Do you know who Jack Bright is? You don't know who Jack Bright is? I know who Jack Bright is, but I don't see how you would think that from that. Uh, I am in indescribable pain and agony because I love it when things break. Pats. Awesome. But okay, na now everything should work, hopefully. Well, turn that crown up okay, uh, uh, the there we go. Uh, yeah, 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 there we go. One, one, XL. Hey, look, you do your job, I'll do mine, all right? Okay, here we go. Okay, everybody, you need to focus. Let's do it. Hey, contestants, how you doing? Glad you could be here. How many people do we have playing today? It's just me. You're a single player, is that right? All right, could you give me your name, please? MD Hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you okay, you want to do a seven question angst? We're Jones, doing the long one. Dig that. 30 seconds. Now remember this, your buzzer is going to be the letter B. Can you please do me a favor, mm -hmm. honey? You're back. Can you please get a, I need a, lump, a lumbar chair. Talk to no, me. Wait, we don't have show. time for this. Cue the commercial. 20 seconds. Okay, 20 seconds. B. Pay attention here and don't screw it up. As soon as you think you know the answer to a question, buzz in, then you gotta hit the number that corresponds to the answer you want. You got that? You got that. Good luck. Okay, need your attention. Let's go. Lose the desktop. Thank mm -hmm. you. Let's go to black. Post Major standby. dick action figure. Uzi sold separately. I'm discreetly opening an energetic beverage so I can stay alive through this, this entire ordeal. <laughs> If you go to other trivia games, it don't mean jack now. Hell yeah. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Woo! All right, how you doing? Nice to have you here. You comfortable? Good. We're starting. Hell yeah, here we go. All right, come on, hit me. We this is gonna be a long one. The category, and I'm cool very excited. Guys with silly names. Okay, okay take a sip. Too tough. This question's gonna be worth a grand. And for the life of me, I cannot remember who is this guy. You know, he was the streetwise and former friend on the 1970s cop show that was named for the two main characters who rode around in that cool red car with the white stripe. What is his name? Was it Huggy Bear, Doby, Angel Martin, or Rooster? Hmm. I have no idea. I literally am. Young for this. And here's the right answer. He helped Starsky and Hutch on many a case. Yeah, and Huggy huh. was so popular with younger viewers, he got a brand of diapers named after him. Okay, pick the cat. The IRS. Hell yeah. It's I hate those. All right, let's see what and we're wow, doing here. Pets. The IRS awesome. and multiple personality disorder. You get this one right, you got 2,000 bucks coming at you. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. Poor Sybil. She has multiple personalities and must complete a tax form. Given that she has 17 personalities, twin girls, and one dog, how many exemptions is she entitled to on a W-4? Two, three, four, or 19? I don't know how taxes work. This is pain. Whoa! Oh, that was nice. Dang. It's probably three. Too bad you didn't pick this. Yep, it's three. Three dependents, her and the twins. As for the dog and the other 16 personalities, they're Brain on Brain smooth. Own. How about it? Hit me with the category. Oh, well, if we're only like two, two thousand, two grand below anything. I mean, hey, Here's it's only the category. Lethal only weapon three questions in now. Kiss. Out of okay, hundreds. This one might be a toughie. It's worth three thousand. Where's the I don't pay taxes option? Good question. On the screen. Here we go. Which of the following couples should be scared to kiss under the mistletoe at Christmas? Mr. and Mrs. Chrysanthemum, Mr. and Mrs. Sidewalk, Mr. and Mrs. Badger, or Mr. and Mrs. Apple Tree? Hmm. I have literally no clue. What are these? Oh, what are these trivia questions? And let's see the correct. I mean, it's a tough one. 
the apple trees. Mistletoe is a tree parasite. It'd be like you kissing under some Christmas tapeworm. Wow, I didn't know that. Okay, pick a category. Uh -oh, oh no. Best butt tit slime chore. It's time for a Snickerfish restaurant. Well then. Here's your gibberish That's the first category. one I've left today. Marketing ideas ahead of their time. Opening value on this gibberish question, 5,000 bucks. Okay, to solve this puzzle, you've got to think fast because every second and a half, God I'm damn. taking off a little bit of cash. Now remember, there's no screwing on gibberish questions. Ready? Put I'm your alone. fingers on your buzzers and tell hey, me, there is no screwing. what does this rhyme with? <laughs> the Hormer yells, horrific. Hmm. Bird tent, it's from a product in the 70s. And it's not a moon ring, and it's not a pet rock. So, it, so it's half a century old, thanks. It's for a product you use to clean your hair. So it's also not a lava lamp. Last tint, it's also a compliment. I have literally no clue what this is supposed to mean. Well, I guess no one's ever said this to you. The Hormer yells horrific. Huh. Listen, don't be depressed. Your nose still probably smells terrific. <laughs> All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. No God damn, I'm being pelted with manpower power ups today. Owie. Meat and meat byproducts. Beautiful. We'll pay out three thousand dollars for this one. Get ready to buzz, cause here it comes. Eh. You're driving through Pennsylvania and you suddenly get a craving for a mush of fried hog shavings and cornmeal. You quickly pull into a diner. What do you order? Fit some scrud, scrapple, or scumble pie. Hmm. I have no idea. These are you know, way you too tough picked, questions for me. You could have picked this. <laughs> Scrapple. Try it with Snapple. Hmm. How about it? Hit the Pennsylvania the moment right there. It really is a Pennsylvania moment. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Number six. It's number six. It's next up. A little wisdom from Grandpa. This question's gonna be worth two thousand one dollar bills. Okay, get your fingers ready. Let's get busy. Your Grandpa Bob is a walking encyclopedia. If you ask him who's responsible for inventing dentures, what should he tell you? I have George Washington to thank for that. I have Alexander Bell to thank for that. I have Thomas Edison to thank for that. Or I have the Etruscans to thank for that. Hmm. Probably, probably this. Oh, ugly. I have no idea. <laughs> Brain smooth. In case you're curious about the correct answer, I have the Etruscans to thank for that. Huh. That's right, dentures were worn by Etruscans back in 700 BC, and they came up with polydent a few years later. Wow. Okay, pick a category. Question seven. This one's gonna be. I mean, this this you game be insulted? A right is very answer old. Get you two G's for this question. This one's from 1995. Because here we go. Let's say we're friends, and let's say that I call you cold, wet, and spineless. Now let's say that I wasn't being rude. I was just telling you the truth. What animal are you? A Siamese fighting fish, an egret, a lobster, or an alligator? A lobster doesn't have a spine, does it? If you're a lobster, you're cold-blooded, spend a lot of time in water, and you have no spine. Hell yeah. But I'm not completely butter, stupid. You're quite a dish. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. Wait a second. Think hard old pajama. You know what that rhymes with, don't you? Think hard old pajama. Pinkard, Alabama. The fine town of Pinkard, Alabama is in area code 334. Oh. Hop on a digital bus, boys and girls. We're going on a fiber optic field trip. Okay, get out the Pinkard, uh, Alabama white pages here. And what do you say we give a call to? Beth Bunton. Okay, um, we are uh, calling uh, Pinkard, Pinkard, Alabama, Beth, Beth Bunton. Let's see if she's home. Hello? Uh, hello, is this Beth Bunton? Oh, yes, it is. Great. Beth, 
my, my name's Nate, and I'm the host of a game show on CD-ROM called You Don't Know Jack. Now, I know this is probably a little strange, but we pulled your name at random out of the white pages, and I was hoping you might be able to participate on our game show here. Where, where are you calling from? We're in Chicago. Oh, Chicago. It's real cold there now. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's probably a lot colder here than it is in Pinkert. That's where you are, Pinkert, Alabama? Right. <laughs> Pinkert. Oh, my God. I can't believe you're calling me. Beth, do you, you think you might uh, be up for uh, helping us out here? Sure. CD-ROM. Okay. Terrific. Um, so, Beth, tell me, what do you do in Pinkert? In Pinkert? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, I teach school. You do? I'm a school teacher. Uh-huh. That's great. And you know what? You're going to be good at this. Beth, I'm going to put you on with our producer, and you guys are going to come up with a question. Okay. Um, and then we're going to take that question, and we're going to, you're, you're, going to, you're going to ask it to our, to our contestants, okay? Okay. Great. Thanks, Beth. Hang on. Oh, boy. All right, we will be back to the fiber optic field trip and a few questions, but in the meantime, we need another category. God damn it. Well, then we got a fiber optic field trip. That is one of the very few things that is, I think, exclusive to the first ever You Know Jack. Or at least doesn't exist in many of them. The category behind this question is English barons and electric current. And this one's going to be worth $1,000. Mm-hmm. The Englishman Lord Acton is known for saying that power corrupts. If this is true, which of these units of power is the most evil? Decawatt, kilowatt, megawatt, or decawatt? You're mega right. right, right, right. Yep. Simple. Mega means million fold, and that's a lot of folds. <laughs> I know some things. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. Number nine. It's a shrimp list that sometimes. The name of this category is Your Love is Like Bad Medicine. And this one's going to be worth $2,000. Okay, let's get this ball rolling. If TV's Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman decides that her beloved Sully is in need of trephining, what is she going to do to him? Drill a hole in his skull, suction fluid out of his lymph nodes, remove the tip of his nose, or cut the webbing between his toes? I'm not sure, so I'm not even going to try. Actually, she's going to drill a hole in his skull. Looks like you're pretty familiar with that operation. Okay, pick a category. Yo, have your beds with nasty number 10. The category is nursery rhyme characters and their diet plans. And we are talking 1,000 bucks for this question. Maybe you remember this nursery rhyme. Jack Spratt could eat no fat, his wife could eat no lean. Which of the following foods could Jack Spratt eat? French's mustard, Kellogg's neutral grain bars, Jeff peanut butter, or a Big Mac? Peanut butter has a lot, has a lot of fat, mustard. And- I don't think mustard has any fat. French's mustard has no fat. Hell yeah. Of course, a diet of mustard might not cut it. Okay, we're at the end of round one, now on to round two. <laughs> now, we are one round away from the jack attack, and all the questions in this round are going to be worth more than a round hey, one. Snowball. So pay attention, and let's do it. Welcome to stream. And oh boy. We're all back right, on we're the back goddamn for a field trip. Optic field trip. We've got Beth Bunton on the line in Pinkard, Alabama. Let's do it. Pats. Oh, I see. All right, Woo-hoo. Beth, we're ready for that category. Okay. The category is Southern Monuments. And I'm going to make this worth $5,000. All right, Beth, you know what to do. You're the host. Take it away. Put your fingers on your buzzers, folks. The town of Dothan, Alabama is famous for having a steel monument of a particular animal. What animal is it? A goat? A rat? A pig? A sperm whale? I have literally never been to America. I don't know any of these things. Ah. Okay, Beth, they, uh, they didn't get it. What's the correct answer? The correct answer is a pig. If you're ever huh. on your way to Florida and you're on the Ross Clark, Ross Clark Circle, look to your left. Because there's answers in chat. I mean, right feel free to guess along. I probably won't look at chat during up, questions. Beth. Thank you very much. You're, you're but yeah, great. But yeah, feel free to guess along. Uh, I am I my brain I very don't smooth. I've never had a question like that before. <laughs> well, you're welcome. Well, thanks a lot, Pats, and have a great Orson. day. Hey, stay in the line. Okay. See ya. Bye. How about it? Hit me with the category. Oh boy. Violent geographical locations. Let's delve into question 12. 
Here's the I category. do know geography a bit. Violent geographical locations. And we are talking 4,000 big ones. Hope you're ready, because here's one coming at you. If Italy really were a boot, what would it be kicking? Sicily. Sicily. Located off of the big toe of Italy. Sicily. I'm from Europe. I know some of these things, you fool. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. Question 13. The category. It's safe to throw at someone's head. I'm paying out $2,000 if you get this one right. Okay, get yourself set. It's time. The word scuba is an acronym for self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. What about Nerf? Never enough real fun, non-edged resilient foam, no extra retail frills, or Nerf is not an acronym for anything. Probably one. Never enough real fun. There never is, is there? Damn it. Now the correct answer is... Nerf? means nerf. I'm in pain. I've been faked out. How about it? They Hit got me. The me. Category. All right, let's see what we're doing you this? Yeah, you only, only yeah, it's not like you don't own way too many Nerf guns, you probably. You get this one right, you got 2,000 bucks <laughs> coming at you. Oh, well. Now, I am trying to remember, what what is this game called again? Do you believe in this devious? It is quite devious. You get five of the same number, it's called the same thing as the name of the game, and, and those two guys from The Odd Couple did a commercial for it once. What, what is That's it called? That's Yahtzee. Yahtzee! <laughs> Fun fact, okay, Yahtzee has a very different name over here, so... Yeah. Ever green, self esteem, beauty queen, rapture spleen. Here's question 15. This one's gonna be a boy. Yatsi is awesome. Tiger. Uh, you're going to be pretty good if you get this one. It's worth 6000 bucks. You know, every boy should have his own tiger, don't you think? Calvin is the Hobbs as Blank is the Blank. Garfield is the John. Charlie is the Snoopy. Timmy is the Lassie. Or Christopher is the Pooh. Here's what you should have guessed. Christopher is to poo. A boy with an unnatural attraction to his stuffed animal. Huh. I don't even know who Calvin Nobbs are. Category. Or at least not really. Question number 16. And I like it too. The category behind this question is... Taking a ride on the hyperbole. This question's gonna be worth $2,001 bills. Imagine Lots your dog of died and your family just got a sloth oh as a new house pet. Now, if you wanted to use a simile to describe your new pet to your mom, what would you say? A sloth is a summer's cloud, slow but puffy. Aren't a sloth is like a ball of rubber cement. I like retractable toes. A sloth in my hands is worth two rovers. I have no idea what a simile even is. I don't know Should've picked English. This. Our sloth is like a ball of rubber cement, a true simile. Of course, if you roll a sloth between your fingers for an hour, it doesn't look like a booger. Huh. How about it? Hit me with a category. I'm gonna pick number two because, fun, because yes. Very scared, very spooked. The name in this category hey, is... Be afraid, be very afraid. I'll pay you $4,000 bills for this one if you get it right. Keeping kids from seeing gore-filled horror films is probably a pretty good idea, but it's not the only source of graphic violence available to children. Mm -hmm. Death by devouring, boiling, cannibalism, and the cutting of the human body in half can also be found where? The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, an average sample of 200 nursery rhymes, a comic book version of the King James Bible, or Old Yeller? Absolutely nursery rhymes. 200 nursery rhymes. About half will lull you to sleep, the other half will give you nightmares. Nursery rhymes are absolutely Maybe you just awful. Let your kids watch cable. Like, seriously. Nursery rhymes are cool. Alright, come on, hit me. We need a category. Song to how is you doing good? Next up. Very much at the thing. beginning of this big you marathon this stuff. Right, Exclamation mark schedule grand. in chat. Okay, hang to tight. See Put your what fingers game on we'll your play at time. Here's the question. Which of the following Jurassic Park dwellers is the only dinosaur that actually existed in the Jurassic period? Hadrosaurus, Triceratops, Stegosaurus, Ten year old me would have known would have Rex. faced this question. Too bad you didn't pick this. <laughs> Stegosaurus, the cockroach of dinosaurs. I am a Stegosaurus. That is actually not true. There was a reference to okay, Asimov. I am dirty. Category. All 
All right, let's see what we're doing here. Gods and household <laughs> chores. Pets. A right Question. answer will get you two Gs for this question. All right, listen up. It's Thursday in Asgard, and the Norse deities are arguing over whose turn it is to wash the dishes. Odin suggests that whomever the day Thursday is named after must do the dishes. Who gets stuck doing them? Freya, Thor, Loki, or Baldur? I feel like Thor would be a fake out. But God of Thunder, God and it's called Thunder, thund and it's called thunder Day. Yep. Thursday is literally Thor's day. It's just called Thunder's Day in German, so right, that's what I thought. Hit me. We need a category. Wow, honey! It's question number 20! Woohoo. The category. Mr. Science and alcohol consumption. It's gonna be worth four. Reverse psychology fake out. Yep. All right, imagine Welcome to this game. <laughs> maybe this won't take that much imagination for you. You wake up one day on the side of a highway, hungover from a long night of partying, as a blinding headache pounds in your head. You notice that as people honk at you, the horns sound higher pitched as they approach you and lower pitched as they move away. What is That's the Doppler example? effect. Or do you remember it from Science 101? I love science. The Doppler effect. <laughs> How about it? Hit me with a category. And here we go. The first of many. Jack attack time. Soon as you see two words on the screen that go together, buzz in. Two thousand bucks if you're right. Two thousand off if you're wrong. Every time you're wrong. And careful, cause not all matches are equal. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Where exactly are you off to now? Ow. Just keep that in mind. You ready? We're starting. I have no idea what who, whom stuff or what stuff this is. I don't know any of these names. Who is this? Like, who? who is this? <laughs> well, it wasn't California, that's for certain. I feel like I picked- I should have picked some- one, a different one of those. Please have something I can answer. Game, please. So, again, as you can tell, the first couple of editions of this were very US centric. Ewing? Wasn't that like the name of, of, of the author that never existed? I don't recognize any of these names. You know Fraser Crane? I don't I don't know any of these names, which is a bit <sighs> very old pop culture reference. I mean this game is from 1995, so I don't blame them for making for stuff being completely out of date. I'm just gonna let try and run out. I don't I wanna walk away with at least a little bit of mooner. <laughs> I don't wanna seem dumber than I am. If that makes sense. But the music is good. That's at least something. Pats. Bison. Totally didn't see that from chat because yes. But the music is good and very dramatic because, you know, that's that's what it is. It's the end of the round. Game, pl please decide that you've had enough of this. And of me being bad. Please. Game, please. There we go. You bit the big one on that jack attack, now bite the bullet and see your score! That's the game! That's the game! 
you kick butt. No two ways about it. Of course, it's not like you had any competition to make it a real challenge or anything, but, you know, that's not the point. The point is, you don't know Jack. Hey, Cookie, what's the, uh, what's the deal with the contestants now? Uh, and that's, and that's the first one. Hell yeah. And this means I get to edit this text. To be twelve thousand dollar. This is very American. Most of these will be. I mean, literally. There's only once. There's only a couple of games on here that are that have. Uh, there's only one game on here that has an option to disable U.S. centric questions. That being full stream, the newest one. There is a U.K. one on here and four German ones. The rest are very United States centric. So yes, uh, off to go to the next one, which is volume two. Skadoosh. <laughs> 60 hey, We'll be here for a while. See, but I heard they fired you. They didn't fire me. I mean, we had creative differences. But listen, I got a lot of stuff. Lined up out here. I mean, I got a lot of action. Nate, I, Nate, I got a show to do. Say hi to the family. I, I'll, I'll talk to you. Uh oh, now my little cousin doesn't have time to talk with me. Uh, someone moved the chair. Hey there, welcome to the show. You know, even Hello though again. you couldn't get any action on a Saturday night, we are still glad to have you here, okay? So why don't you just tell me how many people are playing the game? Yeah. Look, okay, this this was. Come on, you, you don't you don't have to do this to me. Oh, poor you! You don't have any friends today. Oh well, let's have your name. Okay, you want to do a seven-question game or do you want twenty-one? A thousand. Oh! Hey! Hi! Oh! Hey! Very much follow. I don't know how to pronounce his name. And check out her booty, or you know, his booty. You saw the windows were steaming up. I need sandbags for the C stands on standby. 20 seconds. Uh, yeah. Hey, we got 20. All right. A question comes on the screen. You think you know the answer. You buzz yeah, in. You get one of the choices the on the screen. You Zero me? friends. Good. I mean, hey, that's why I'm broadcasting okay. it to 15 of them. Okay, let's lose the desktop. Seven. You're already black. Compound. Okay, you're up, Buzz. I have... I don't think I've heard of it. Stand by. Here you go. Here we go. go. Consult physician before using. You may not really be a leper. I love the little, the little groove that Jelly Vision had back then. When Jelly Vision still existed. Now they're called Jackbox Games. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Hi. Hey, it's a brand spanking new bright eyed bushy tail just in from the manufacturer contestant. Pleasure having you on the show. Y'all tucked in? Then let's turn out the lights. And here we go. Volume 2. Come on, we need a category. This game is really funny. Let's start with question 1 eight. And this question's category. Do you know Jack the Archer would be pretty awesome? Yes. I would literally do that. If this right, get $2,000. It's time to fill up. I'm just gonna pause the game for this one because Tide Side Cakes, thank you so much for the five months. I really appreciate it. That was very progress of you. Hey. But yes, I, I, I agree with you there, Snowball. That would be awesome. I mean, I know that there is someone who, ma who makes, uh, who makes VR chat worlds of game shows, and they literally made a, br a, a brief. There was literally a brief You Don't Know Jack TV show in the early 2000s on ABC, I think. Which ran for, I think, six episodes. It's really good. The blank. Limber up those fingers. Oh, you God damn the it. Answer. Buzz in and start typing. Yes, yeah, so fill in the blank. The body of the state of Michigan were a giant oven mitt, which body of water could most easily extinguish its burning thumb? I'm in pain. <laughs> now the correct answer is... 
Lake Huron surrounds the thumb of Michigan. But if Michigan's thumb is burning really bad, it should just stick it up in Canada for a while to cool it off. <gasps> Go ahead and pick one. Well, it ain't bagpipes. <laughs> Funny. Category, let's do it. It ain't bagpipes. Okay, three grand coming at ya. Hang on tight, cause here we Can't go. Can't wait for the answer to lift bagpipes. All right, your friend the performance artist gives you a preview of her new piece. What would be the best title for it if it sounds like this? <laughs> Deflator Frosh, Pachelbel's Cannon, Ach, Der Bustenhalter is Pinchin, or Eine Kleine Nacht Rupsen. You give me a German question. She's burping the tune of a little night music, so it's she's number doing four because it was burps. Burping. Because Rupsen means to burp in German. Hey, would have written it now, that you, way now you know. I didn't expect this to be a little question. Okay, pick a category. This one's gonna be grind that organ, baby. Great offer, pause there, Nate. Right answer. Okay. Is this even Nate or is Take that buzz? I don't know. What can a Jacobson's organ do that a Hammond or a Wurlitzer cannot? Play itself, imitate bird calls, impregnate a woman, or detect odors. Hmm. Jacobson's organ probably imitate bird calls. Imitate bird calls? No, but that might get it a spot on Letterman's stupid organ tricks. Dang. Too bad you didn't choose this. <laughs> the Jacobson's organ is an olfactory apparatus present in many reptiles. So, I guess a Jacobson's organ could tell you if your plane stinks. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Well then. God damn it. How about it? We need a category. <gasps> Funny you please serve a banana peel. The category is funny places to drop a banana peel. Hell yeah. And this one's gonna be worth $1,000. Get your fingers ready. Here's one coming at ya. If St. Peter were to slip outside the gates of heaven and tumble down to earth, whom could he see about borrowing a ladder? Moses, Jacob, Jacob, Noah, because or the Led Jacob's Zeppelin. ladder. Not to be confused with Jacobson's organ, St. Peter can borrow Jacob's ladder. Haha. <laughs> It may seem juvenile, but Funny. Jacob actually gets a lot of business out of that banana peel joke. Take your pick. What do you say? The category is... I hereby bequeath my jello pudding. Pay attention, Yummy. three grand on this one. Imagine a very special episode of The Cosby Show in which Cliff and Claire are killed in a freak putt-putt accident. If the will is set up according to the law of primogeniture, which child stands to inherit the Huxtable estate? Vanessa, Theo, Sandra, or Rudy? Who are any of these? I'm in pain. This was a great- this- doing this marathon was a great idea. Eh, whatever. Not a big deal. Here's what you should have picked. Primogeniture stipulates that the exclusive right of inheritance belongs to the oldest son. He has gotta be it's, sad, All of these are very American. Like, the, the early games are sweaters. all very American. Okay, pick a category. Uh-oh, press what's with Mime Door. It's time for... Alright, this gibberish category is... Satanic Activism and Winnie the Pooh. We're gonna start out it's with $5,000 here. Okay. Remember, speed's the key. The quicker you solve this, it's gonna the more be this time. take away. Here we go with what famous phrase does this rhyme? Three hells, three bells, fry the Eeyore, and uh, don't be tripped up by the punctuation. Hmm. First clue, it's a tongue twister. It's a tongue twister. I, know I only know I only know it like it's a tongue twister with a lot of S sounds in it. I only know German tongue twisters, I'm in pain. Okay, hit number three. It's about a Go crazy! Okay. Type in your she sells sea shells 
at the seashore. Uh. Hell yeah. I don't suppose there's a real demand for seashells down by the shore, though. 750 bucks. Try more urban it's areas. Barely anything. <laughs> Come on, we need I say that as if that isn't like multiple months with the rent, but yes. The 7 o'clock news with question 7. Category. But what I really want to do is direct. And this one's worth $2,000. No now wonder. wanting to wind up a Hollywood square, Peter Brady decides to work behind the camera. He starts out as a gopher, then quickly becomes an assistant director and then a director. The thing is, Peter Brady turns out to be a lousy director. He's risen to the level of his incompetence. Of what is this an example? The Peter Pan syndrome, the Peter principle, robbing Peter to pay Paul or petering out. Brain smooth. Should have picked this. Get this game at a 2000 bargain bin and just screaming year 2000. This game is from 1997, I think. Uh, I actually have it on my shelf. You know what? I'm gonna double check real quick. There we go. I have it right here. This is the, the jewel case of my copy of You Know Jack Volume 2. Uh, hold on, what does the copyright notice on it say? What year is this? Uh, 1998. I'm gonna go put this back on my shelf now. <laughs> Literally 1998. But yes, uh, I, act I, I, tr I tried to co collect the, the games from the series because I think they're pretty good, even though I'm bad at them. Insert Dragon Horde joke here. Two years before I was born? Well, that's four years before I was born. <laughs> The Peter Principle is what happens when someone rises to the level of their incompetence. Hey, I thought Peter's principle was to just smile and shrug a lot. Alright, go ahead and pick one. Order me the taco plate with a side of question eight. Okay, coming up this category is Naked Greek Oops. Writers. And this one's going to be worth $1,001 bills. Once again, it's Poker Night with the famous Greek writers, but this week they want to up the ante. If you and your four famous Greek writers decide to play a game of strip poker, which author won't be able to appreciate your hot naked body because he's blind? Homer, Plato, Sophocles, or Socrates? I have problem number three. Uh, Sophocles could see just fine, but if you beat him, you'd make a big tragedy out of it. It's Let me the take only a name second I didn't of recognize. my time to show you what's right. You probably won't have much trouble beating Homer at strip poker, but I bet he'd whip your ass at Marco Polo. Our dragon's cute and have big hordes, perhaps. I mean, my horde is like eight games at this point. This is gonna get bigger at some point. Uh-oh. What, what's this? Sometimes the sun goes round the moon. Sun, sun round the, round the moon. Oh, no, not again. <laughs> we're, we're either calling John Glenn or... or <laughs> Looks like we're calling up Soul Train's new Lady of Soul Award winner, star of stage, screen, and, and recording studio, Ms. Vanessa Williams. I have no idea who this is. <laughs> she is so beautiful. I can, barely, I can barely hold the phone. My palms are sweating so much. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know who this is. Wait, just a second. Becca, you're flat. Why don't you guys take a break, okay? Hello? I have a collect call from Buzz that you don't know Jack. Will you accept the charges? Oh, yeah, right. Uh, that computer thing? Sure. Hey, Vanessa, how's it going? Uh, oh, hold on. Hello? Don't, don't, Hello? Don't hang up. Oh, what's oh, that? Hold on. I'll be right 
Look, I think they hung up or something. The phone's making some weird noises. Start it from the top, okay? No, 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 no. Uh, wait, uh, Vanessa, it's me, uh, Buzz, from You Don't Know Jack. Buzz? What happened? You just dropped the phone or something? Yeah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, so, um, Vanessa, it, it sounds like you're in the middle of recording something. Yeah, I'm uh, recording a new album. Wow, new album. Uh, can I hear a little bit? No. Hmm. Um, okay, so, uh, how about helping us out with a, a question for our CD-ROM trivia game? It can be about anything you want. Well, I love it as long as it doesn't take too long. I've got a bunch of union musicians and engineers here on the clock. New problem. We'll make it snappy. I'm going to put you on the phone with Cookie, and uh, he can explain how this whole thing works, and uh, we'll get back to you in a sec, um, okay? Okay. All right, we'll be right back with the gorgeous and multi-talented Vanessa Williams. I still have no idea but who Vanessa first, Williams even is. Category. I only know Robbie Williams. <laughs> okay, what's it gonna be now? Take your pick. What do you say? Oh, All right, next up, Japanese poetry. No way, Rob Super Super Sodacy is so true. Two bucks riding on this one. Please use the correct form to finish this haiku. I can't eat raw fish. It always reminds me of a cold and clammy side dish, a spicy tuna hand roll, the setting sun, or a blind date I had. It's four. A haiku has five syllables. Five seven five. First line, then seven, then five. It's five seven five. Hell yeah. Incidentally, the blind date had five fingers on one hand, seven on the other, and I can't tell you what else she had five of. Damn. How about it? we need it's a time. Category. It's, it's finally time to make for the French. Hell yeah, let's go. And this category is time Fine. to make fun of the French. Yes. This might be a hard one. Three grand. Sacre bleu. The French have come up with so many wonderful things, but some did not catch on so well. Hey. Eh? Which month was not a real month in the post-revolution French Republican calendar? Sony Dean, the month of steam, Macedor, the month of harvest, Vantos, the month of wind, or Germinal, the month of buds. Number one does the fit in these, so I'm gonna pick one. Absolument. There was no month of steam. Psh. Hell yeah. There was also no month of steam baths. Or any baths for that matter. All right, we've been through round. Oh, the one. other ones Let's fit with like the king of two. nature, so I thought okay, that one would be it. And I was right. Round two sometimes, money. sometimes I am the smart, but not very often. Hey, everybody, we are back on our celebrity collect call with Inspired the stellar Christ 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 that wasn't funny. Yeah, Williams. true. Vanessa, are you ready? Yeah, I think I'm set. Okay, hit it. Okay. The category is called quick. Step on it. And we're gonna make this one worth 5,000 Grammys. <laughs> Put That's your fingers on your buzzers. Here's the question. In the Broadway musical Kiss the Spider Woman, I played the title role. If I was a real Black Widow spider, which of the following would not be true about me? I'm an insect, I have a red hourglass on my stomach, I eat my mates, or... It's one. It's a spider. Vanessa, they picked I'm an insect. Yes, that's right. Hell yeah. It's an arachnid. Widows, like all spiders, are not considered insects. They're arachnids. How yes! Vanessa, that was great. Uh, I just want to say, I, I'd never step on you if I found you behind my refrigerator. Huh? Um, you, you know, if you were a, a bug and, and you were like a spider... Buzz, well, please. Kind of, like a spider woman. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I get it. Uh, I get your little joke. <laughs> okay, uh, well, I gotta go. I got a lot of work to do. Buzz, yeah. please. Bye, Vanessa. I love you. I love you too, Buzz. <laughs> All right, Vanessa Williams, everybody. Now let's pick another category. And make me the ultimate smart ass and lose all my friends. I mean, hey, Come on, story of my life category. right there. <laughs> 12. Celebrity voice impersonated. The category. Three is a magic number. Get it right, get 2,000 bucks. Okay, Moment. hang tight. Put your fingers on your buzzers. Here's the question. Which of these groups actually has three members? The Three Musketeers, Three Dog Knight, The Three Stooges, or The Three Amigos? The Three Musketeers have four, don't they? Uh, it's probably one of those shitty ones where all of them have like four or something. In case you're interested, here's the right answer. 
Once, twice, three times an amigo. I like the three amigos and a baby a lot better though. It, it was so heartwarming. Huh. Alright, go ahead and pick one. <gasps> Mad scientist on a road trip, hell yeah. And we call this one Mad Scientist on a Road Trip. We're talking 6,000 bucks for this one. Check That's a this lot. out. Alright, you and your mad scientist friends are cruising down the road in your perpetual motion machine. Suddenly the physics police pull you over. On what charge will they probably arrest you? Ignoring the laws of thermodynamics, breaking the laws of auto safety, it's thermodynamics, the absolutely. Laws of motion, or defying the laws of gravity. It's thermodynamics. A perpetual motion machine would operate at 100% efficiency or more and is therefore considered impossible under the laws of thermodynamics. <laughs> I know science. Make sure you hide those empty beer cans Hell yeah. under the seat. Okay, pick a category. We wish you a number 14 and a happy Hanukkah. Yeah. This category Sometimes is... Sometimes I'm smart. Not very often, though. Searching the galaxy for good grammar. 4,000 bucks behind this one. All That's right, a lot of dollar. here we go. Which of the following is an example of a split infinitive? To boldly go where no man has gone before. To err is human. To forgive Vulcan. I've got to have more time, Captain or Kirk to bridge. Hmm. More pets. More awesome. Uh, uh, uh. Hmm. Too bad you didn't pick Probably two. this. <laughs> Boldly nope. splits the infinitive to go right down the middle. And I can assure you, man has gone there before many, many times. Hmm. The more you know, what I guess. You pick? What do you say? Excellent choice. It's time to play Dis or Dad. Hell yeah, first Dis or Dad of the night. Category for this dis or dat question is. Why is the TTS not working? I will have to fix that at some point. Okay, I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one, I want you to tell me whether. I'll fix that after this game, hopefully. White, seven dwarfs, or the name of a smurf. Now, as the name comes up, if it's one of the seven dwarfs, press one. If it's a smurf, press two. And if you want to skip, press four. You get a thousand dollars for each right answer, and you lose a thousand for each one you get wrong, or you just don't get to. Let's put 30 seconds on the clock. Let's dance. Dopey, dwarf, or smirk? Sneezy! Damn Rainy! It. Grumpy! Hefty! Doc! Last one, handy! Damn it! That's all she wrote! Well, that's still positive, though. About a C plus, B minus. Let's see what it does to your GPA. More motor. Hey, That's good. Your score could be going down. Come on, we need a category. Uh, this one. King sixteen. Hail to the king. Category. Let's do it. But it's so smooth and creamy. This one's worth four thousand dollars. Is this, this going to be a question about peanut it's butter? It's time to fill in the blank. Limber up those uh, fingers. God damn it. When you know the answer, buzz in and start typing. I'm going to stay hydrated Complete real quick. Complete this sentence with the correct animal part. Have lemons make lemonade. Have blank make pate. Hmm. I don't know if a liver is the correct answer. I'm not in type of service. I'm not even going to try. If it's a liver, I'm going to be upset. Let me take a second of my time to show you what's right. Uh, Pate is usually made out of liver. Come here, Ducky. I'm in pain. Damn it. How about it? We need a category. Oh, well. This one's gonna be an easy to use religious conversion table. We got four grand on the table. Okay, yes, imagine a this scenario, which might not be too hard. 
Let's say you're a loser and you have no friends, so you join the Society of Friends with the hopes of becoming more sociable. To whose religion have you unwittingly converted? The Amish, Quakers, Mormons, or Bakers? The only one on the phone says their religion is the Mormons. Hello, Charlie. <laughs> Ow! Damn it. Now the correct answer is... Quakers are members of the Society of Friends. So you'll get a whole new set of friends, but you'll also what? have to eat oatmeal every morning. I was about to say, I only know Quaker as in Quaker Oats. Okay, pick a category. Oh well. <laughs> 18. Category. Frankenstein versus Robinson Crusoe. Two G's for a right answer. Okay, get your fingers ready. Let's get busy. According to the book's title, Frankenstein is the modern Prometheus. According to his show's theme song, which of these could be thought of as the modern Robinson Crusoe? Will Robinson, Tattoo, Gilligan, or Captain Kirk? Hmm. I mean, Robinson Crusoe is someone who is stuck somewhere for a very long time. It's certainly not Captain Kirk, is it? And over here we have the right answer. Like Robinson Crusoe, he's primitive as can be. I'll bet Crusoe's pal Friday didn't look anything Where? like Ginger or Mary Ann, though. All right, go ahead and pick one. Like that seems like an easy one. <laughs> the category is, it's the nation's capital, dig? Pop a right answer, you got 4K. Hey, want to see my vacation photos? Here's one from our nation's capital. Now tell me, what's the best name for this landmark dedicated to a 70s sitcom character? Lincoln Memorial, the Halls of Huggy Bear, George Jefferson Memorial, or Freddie Washington Monument? I'm in pain. I don't know any American TV. And not even old stuff. Let me show you what someone smart would have picked. This is what the Washington Monument might look like if it were named after Welcome Back Cotter's Freddie Washington. Huh. It'd be appropriate because most politicians are smart. I, I, I've never been to the United States either, so I don't know much. Pick your pick. What do you say? Oh, well. The Fresh Saver. 20. And 20. this question's category is, would you believe that's a gun in my pants? We are talking four big ones. Okay, Dr. imagine Dr. this Moore. episode of Damn Get Smart. Secret agent Maxwell Smart is in the clutches of a bizarre chaos trap. He can only be saved by a control agent whose code name is a prime number. Which of these agents can save him? I'm not picking agent number 86, two. Agent 86, Agent 69, Agent 57, or Agent 71. Either 57 or 71. Probably 71. 71 is only divisible by itself. Yes! One. Which means Agent 71's a prime agent. Hell yeah. It also means he's a very lonely man. Man. Come on, we need a category. And here we go. Hell yeah. The attack is now. If you see two words that match, buzz in. A right answer nets you two grand. But every wrong answer drops you down two grand. Listen, not all matches are true. Do you ask questions? Huh. Only buzz in on a Interesting. match that fits this clue. Oh, well. Stop! You're killing me! Now let's see if you kill your score. Good luck. Oh, here we go. It's a stake to the heart. There we go. That's a silver bullet. Hell yeah. It's probably seawater, isn't it? I don't know. Okay, which is the east? Never heard of them. I 
How did they kill the blob? I don't know. Okay, this one is probably the airlock. Yep. There we go. Bad acting, absolutely. But now I shoot him in the head. Water. And here we go. Or nope, this is the one left. Bad acting is not it, probably. It's also not a knife in the toaster. Do not stab a toaster. This is my PSA. Do not stab toasters. I have no idea. See how it brought up your score! That's the game! Ooh, that's a lot. Woo, you wanna lie down? That must have taken something out of you. Well, let me fill back up your electrolyte count with these words. You don't know Jack! Hell yeah. That went really well. Very good show, everybody. Um, let's roll commercials and Cookie, what's going on here? One minute. Hey, just because you're the new scoreboard leader, don't go handing out your autograph, okay? Because I'd sooner use that thing as toilet paper than put it on my wall. So why don't you think about that, and then you tell me when you're ready to play again. God damn it. Quit. <laughs> Step one, quit. Step two, figure out why the hell the TTS isn't working. Because it should be working. Come on. TTS. Should be running. Hopefully. Eh, T TTS seems to be broken at the moment for some reason. I'm gonna do a little thing. And uh, really quickly make pause the redemptions on that because this seem does not seem to be working. Eh. Thank you, Twitch, for making this, doing this stuff live a bit difficult. Very cool. There we go. This was how Dorothy got in the Ruby Slippers when she arrived in Oz. Her house fell on top of the widge, huh. Interesting. Anyways, time to update the score, which is now... 38,000... $750. And the next game, which is volume three. tell you Saturday night is date night or maybe I do need to tell you that you're at home playing a computer game for crying out loud well all right how many dateless drips do we have playing uh, you can't see me like yeah, this. come on no, dude no, wanna... you know this is... it's no need to be this rude okay, okay Dandy, one player what's your name I think the audio input level should be at eight okay chief okay you want to set we're doing the long one again because yes 30 seconds Eh. That's B as in God damn it! That's right. That's I can the box. Like, Hello, Twenty seconds. No, no, yeah, the game is a bit loud. I'm gonna do this. Hi, there we go. Holy mackerel! Okay, uh, listen up. As soon as you think you know the answer to a question, buzz in. Then you have to hit the number that corresponds to the answer you want. You got that? It's Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Get rid of the desktop, please. Let's go to black. All right, folks. And here we go. Volume three. Three parents. Chemicates. Don't just play God. Be God. Daddy. Hell yeah. I love the jingle that they had. It's 
time for the show where high culture and pop culture Here's where we get our first big graphical update, yeah, at least. Yeah, this is it. You don't know Jack. It's Did Cookie. you get to sign your permission slip? Because, you know, I just can't let you on the bus without it. Okay, just check. This is it? Just you? Well, I get paid no matter what. Eh, okay, let's do it. Come on, Cookie. There's no need to do this. All right. I'm just, I'm just here to play a video game. Well, looks like this category is... I'll smoke your peace pipe. Get it right, I'm handing over 2K. Hey, be ready That's to buzz in an answer. Which historical figure might have placed this personal ad? Need guidance in old French territories? Single Native American female in search of two single white males. Enjoy exploring new things. Also threesomes, just ask Lewis and Clark. Not interested in being TP cleaning squaw. Who placed this ad? Matahari, Sacagawea, Sachi, and Little Feather, or Pocahontas? Hmm. Someone from the Superman comics, I'm assuming I don't know anything about those because Lewis and Clark can't. See, now, Wasn't it I like could've something? given you I don't some know. cash if you pick this. Ah! Sacagawea is the Native American guy to explore the lands acquired in the Louisiana Purchase with Lewis and Clark. Afterwards, I hear Lewis and Clark went down to New Orleans and made another or Louisiana Or something else, purchase. I have no idea. I am Mountain Man. Need a date? Category, please. For your enjoyment, playing Very Old Maid. $3,000 for this one. I know what and Old Maid is, it's a playing card game. Episode of the Brady Bunch. Oh, Brady God damn it. kids have broken the kitchen timer. Luckily, Alice is having hot flashes. If she's having hot flashes of average length, which activity can she time? A 10-second act of violence, a 4-minute poached egg, a 30-minute load of laundry, or a 6-hour refrigerator defrosting? I have literally no idea. Ah. For the curious, here's the right answer. The average hot flash lasts about four minutes, and Alice says that's twice as long as Sam lasts. Okay, pick a category. Well, what do we have here? Lightning struck his baton. This one's worth a grand. Okay, listen up. Y'all know Leonard Bernstein was a brilliant conductor, right? Say Leonard Bernstein also wanted to be the best conductor of electricity. What type of music should he have directed? Glam rock? Metal. Heavy metal, bl metal is the best conductor of electricity, so Bernstein should have hooked up with a heavy metal band. <laughs> or retired so he could golf in a thunderstorm. Hell yeah. I need a category. You can't stop at three. No, you gotta have four. Yeah. Let's see what we got going. I have Le Munchies. How does $2,000 sound? Je ne parle pas français. If you had to hunt for a bag of ruffles in the same way the French hunt for truffles, what would you need? A, a radar-equipped aircraft, a sonar-equipped... Yep. Truffles are an underground fungus often considered a delicacy and found with the aid of truffle-sniffing dogs or pigs. Sometimes. I am the smart. So get one of them police trained dogs. Not very often they can though, lead but you to the drugs and to the munchies. Yeah. Okay, I need a category. I'm going to pick the first one just because I disagree. Let's blow this time and head for number 5. And this one is nobody likes the licorice ones anyway. And you pocket 2000 bucks if you get this one. Licorice is Let's good. Rock. Because of the actual color of an airplane's black box, where would it be most difficult to find the Pumpkin black patch, box they in are a orange. plane? And that indestructible black box is actually orange. <laughs> hey, Paul, Smart. come here and look at this rectangular pumpkin. Okay, pick a category.
Here we have... It ain't selling out if you had no morals to begin with. Looks like this one's going for a thousand bucks. You know, these days Boner. it seems like no musician is safe from having one of their songs turned into an advertising jingle. Imagine Grand Funk sold their songs for advertising. Considering their previous name, for which of the following companies would Grand no Funk idea. be best suited? Amtrak, Princess Cruise, Greyhound, or TWA? And what was the day of the trip? It's now could have just planes from space that were formed for that oil. Huh. Interesting. Oh well. Let's take a look at the right answer. Grand Funk was once Grand Funk Railroad, just the image Amtrak needs. I hear the locomotion sleep. Anyways, cars uh, sold stay hydrated, out. gamers. It's very important. Category, please. Uh-oh, wet sucked its shine floor. Another one. It's time for a licorice espresso. Another one of those, huh? Let's see if you can make sense of this gibberish category. Broken bones and inopportune noises. Let's get the ball rolling at 5K for this gibberish question. Now, don't get nervous, but the more time you take, the less cash you get. All right, tell me, which film title does this rhyme with? Anything squish, stay splint. And don't think about that punctuation. Hmm. First clue, the story of a horribly burned man. Nightmare on Elm Street? I don't know. <laughs> the story of a horribly burned man that won the 1996 Best Picture Oscar. Last I don't clue, know. be patient. What are we, in the UK? British. And the Oscar goes to... God, I wish they'd make these easier to open. Me thing squish stay splint. Oh. Huh. The English Patient Never heard of is it. a very, very good movie. I haven't seen it, and I don't really plan to, but I can tell you that it's very, very good. Okay, cookie. Whatever you say. Okay, I need a category. Open wide and get ready for Big Man and Little Words. And it's worth $2,000 if you get this one right. Flex okay. those fingers, because here it comes. Taken literally, which of these would the giant and Jack and the Beanstalk not be referring to when shouting fee fi fo fum How much something costs, an expression of disapproval or annoyance, an enemy, or the name of a note on a musical scale? Hmm. I do literally don't know. The correct answer is... The notes on a scale are called Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do, not Fi, Fi, Fo, or Fum. So, a deer, a female, uh, can I move on to Ray? I need a category. Aloha. And wow. I believe this one's called. I love the questions that you send this entire series. They are very good. $2,000 says you don't know this one. You know what? I actually had to look this one up. Um, what's another word for thesaurus, thesis, threshold, treasury, or what? tracklement? What, what, what kind of question is this? Like, goddamn. <laughs> I thought a thesaurus was just a th th thesaurus. What are you, stupid, slow-witted, dull, obtuse? Roger lists treasury as another word for thesaurus. Don't believe me? Well, go ahead and look it up in your, uh, uh, you know, that, that big thing with all the words in it. God damn it. All right, hit me. All right, time to get hot and bothered, because you've been invited to a three-way. Well then. Fun fact, this one is pretty much exclusive to this, this title. Okay, this is simple, but hear me out anyway. You're gonna see a three-way like this one. When the correct three-way member is lit up, buzz in. If you make a match, you pack it a thousand bucks. But look out, it'll cost you a grand every time you're wrong. And be careful, individual answers don't necessarily have anything to do with the three-way as a group. Okay, party time. The category for this three-way is a nun in a blender. You've heard the old joke, right? Because this three-way is black and white and red all over. Looks like this is it. Here's your three-way. Mars is red. 
Obsidian is black. It's probably black lung, isn't it? Yep, it is. Good. And got his outfit. Probably white. Damn it. Fire engine. Those are red. That's white. British phone booth is red. And there we go. Okay, must stop. Oh hell yeah, it's a bot. Looks like we've reached our climax. Uh, now let's see how you scored. A little sloppy, but I still love you. Let's see what this earnest attempt did to your overall score. So, is it as good for you as it was for me? Probably better. Okay, let's Hell get yeah, on the game. One down, round two to go. Let's get on it. Every question in round two is worth twice as much, so we got some serious cash at stake here. Let's get to it. Mooner. Okay, pick a category. Don't look now. Don't look now. It's question 11. Shake hands with from bad to verse. Two thousand bucks for a correct answer. I kind of miss him, boss. We just don't want to become famous. Time for yeah. Off. Which of the following poets might have written this question? Carl Sandburg, Sylvia Plath, E. e. Cummings, or Walt Whitman? Walter. <laughs> Walter Whitman. I don't know. But that is just. Come on. Bet you wish you'd pick this. <laughs> E. E. Cummings was known for using only lowercase letters in his poems and sometimes placing the words in different places on the page. Huh. As if it weren't hard enough to read poetry. Interesting. Category, please. I'm getting a reading of 12. This one likes to go by my horse-headed dad, of course, of course. Set up straight. This one's worth six thousand dollars. That's a lot of moaner. Let's see how you handle this. Oh boy. Week. Which of the following might appear on a Father's Day card given to Mr. Ed, your loving signet, Wilbur Jr., to the best dad a burrow ever had, Eddie? Love you, Pop. Your mule, Edward. Or love on this special day, your hinny, Ted. Hmm. This would require knowledge of who, of who or what Mr. Ed is. Three followers, Ernan Dummy. Yeah, it's that simple. In case you're yeah, wondering, Mr. Ernan. A hinny is the offspring of a stallion father and a donkey mother. Yeah, Mr. Ed may be able to talk and read cards, but let's see him put on his new Father's Day tie. Okay, I need a category. Pucker up for hey, it's only the screen. Drain, but backwards. That is four thousand dollars grab you. Oh, you know what? I had this Moonish. song running through my head recently, and I oh, couldn't think of the it. name of the band. Help me out by typing it in when you know it. And you do know it. It was this Australian band. Mm -hmm. They were really popular back in the early 80s. Mm -hmm. They sang that song about eating Vegemite sandwiches. Oh yeah, the, the song was called <gasps> Down Under. What, what was their uh, name God again? damn it. I know exactly which band this is. I know exactly what song this is. I'm in pain. Uh... I come from the under where be just little minch under. That was the... that was the uh, song. The I don't remember this. the name. They come from a land down under. They're men at work, but huh. not lately. Men at work. I need a category. Say hello Look, I'm to trying over here. Be my my brain a bit smooth. For a favor? You get 4, but hey, I'm having for fun. One. All right, folks, listen up. It's time for a little political lesson, care of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Damn. Say King Friday gave Prince Tuesday a piece of land to rule. Then the new Lord Tuesday gave land to X the Owl and Bob Dog. What would be the most appropriate name for the new show? Mr. Marx's Neighborhood, Lady Elaine's Democracy Go Round, Mr. Rogers' Feudal System, or the Land of Machiavelli? Absolutely feudal system. A feudal system entails a king dividing his land among lords, who in turn divide that land among other subjects, all in exchange for political loyalty. Hell yeah. But let's face it, Queen Sarah holds the keys to this kingdom. Alright, hit me. 
You chose wisely, my friend. You just got your hands on a dis or dat. Oh boy, it's another dis or dat. The category for this dis or dat question is the Darth Continent. Let's do focus on the funny part of it. Yep. Uh, welcome, welcome to Yudano Jack. You have to tell me if That's it's how they an work. African nation or a character from the original Star Wars trilogy. Uh, you fool! If I know an these. Nation, you'll want to press I know the one. nations. If you think it's a character from question. Star Wars, you'll want to press two and press four if you want to skip. I'll give you a thousand dollars for a right answer, and you'll lose one thousand. I know the nations. Haha. <laughs> I think, all. probably. All right, let's put 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go in. Botswana, Africa. Wedge Antilles. Lando Calrissian. Arundi. Rito. Lesotho. One more. Oh. That's all she wrote. What can I say? Seven out of seven. I got nothing to criticize here. Hell yeah. Well, good things happen to good people, right? Okay, let's move on. Lots of money. Category, please. This one's called No Spuds I do know geography, at least kind of. Thousand big ones for a right answer here. Okay, what I've got here is an alien sociology textbook about Earth. Buzz in when you know what the hell these guys are talking about. Female leader of independent agrarian children's commune in which members represent specific produce via appearance and odor. What toy are the aliens writing about? Raggedy Ann, Holly Hobby, Strawberry Shortcake, or Hello hmm. Kitty? I literally don't know any of these. This. Strawberry Shortcake. She lived on a farm with a bunch of her smelly friends. And you think they smell fruity? Try having an intellectual conversation with one of them. Hmm. Okay, pick a category. On the big bayou in Louisiana, quest on 17. The category is one holiday at a time. Hello, we're talking six grand, so pay attention. That's right, another expensive one. Holiday God question. damn. What holiday best fits in this sequence? Mother's Day, Memorial Day, Election Day, Blank Day, Thanksgiving Day, President's Day, Good Friday, Ash Wednesday, or Labor Day? Ash Wednesday is in February. President's Day, I don't know. Good Friday, I don't think it exists. It's probably Labor Day. Labor Day? No, but it does look like your score just broke. Damn it. Well, I guess you gave up right answers for Lent. Uh, Mother's Day is always a Sunday. Memorial Day is Monday, Election Day Tuesday, and Thanksgiving on a Thursday. Meaning oh. the missing holiday is Ash Wednesday. So, that, so they meant... Ash from a hole in the ground. So that's what, so that's what I meant by that. That is... I need Damn it. Category. I thought it was when they were in the year and not what day of the week they are. Now it's time for some real trivia. You've got an impossible question coming your way. Oh no. Okay, give it up for It's Time to Know Jack. This very special question is going to be worth $20,000. All right, now I assume you bought a copy of every version of You Don't Know Jack, Oh right? boy, this if is one that I can answer probably. Get your loser Hold ass on. to the store and buy them all. Anyway, here's my impossible question. On the box cover of You Don't Know Jack Sports, what color eyes Damn it, that's the one I don't own. Have? Green, red, brown, or blue? Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm totally not cheating by tabbing out. <sighs> it's brown. Yes, the guy on the sports pack has brown eyes. <laughs> I think our marketing department was trying to reach the bald meditation. It's blue on all the other ones. Okay, I need a category. Because I know that it's blue on all the other ones. <laughs> Except for the first episode, except for the first one, 
where it's where the entire thing is in black and white. Known as lifestyles of the slimy. Hey, it's not cheating. Disgusting. How does two thousand dollars sound? Hope you brought your suit. It's time to get wet. If you have no proof. If an actual leech, what could he do to help I the just rich and famous on his show? It's that simple. Provide an alternate burglar alarm system, fill out their caviar supply, suck on their plastic surgery scars, or naturally clean their jewelry. Leeches are sometimes used to drain the excess blood around plastic surgery scars. Smart. Well, I suppose the good thing is there's a lot of breast augmentation surgery in Hollywood. All right, hit me. Now serving the rise and fall of small ugly creatures. One right answer and six thousand dollars head your way. Hey, remember David Bowie's alter ego Ziggy Stardust and his backup band the Spiders from Mars? Well, imagine Ziggy is planning a comeback but can't get the Spiders from Mars back together. If he wants another spidery band, which of these should he not choose? Tarantulas from Beyond Daddy Space? Long legs the aren't spiders, Daddy I long think. Long legs, the brown recluses, or black frosted widows? Daddy Long legs have six legs, if I remember correctly. Daddy long legs are not actually spiders, although they're closely related. Hell yeah. It's just as well. The dim lighting on stage is just a recipe for disaster. Guitar solo, Stig! Oops, I've stepped on Stig. Oh no. Okay, pick a category. And here we go again. You're about to embark on the attack. Hit your buzzer when you see two words on the Very screen. Very spooky. That match. But hey, that's how it is. Bucks if you're right. Two thousand off if you're wrong. It's not so hard as long as you remember this. Remember the clue. It's got to be a match that fits this clue. Where exactly would I find that? Well, allow me to point you in the right direction. Here you go. What? In the closet, probably. <laughs> Where else would you find a skeleton? Keys are in the pod. Oh, it's bull in the china shop from the... Because that's an idiom. Pig in a blanket. Wasn't that what it, what it was? Or pig in the fast thing would make sense. Wolf in sheep's clothing. There we go. Losing this guy with diamonds. That's what it was. This one I still don't know. Come on, give, give me, give me, the, give me the bird one again. Mud your eye, <laughs> of course, of course. Fifty-three K. Wow, you are the best guest we had this whole game. Really? Now do me a favor. Take a quick look to your left, now your right, and repeat after me. You don't know Beautiful Jack. people, I have not seen a Hell show yeah. this good since 1950. Uh, never mind, roll the credits. Hey Raul, are we playing again? Keep well, gaming. Currently are you don't know Jack Champ. First place, top score, number one, and it doesn't really mean much of anything. And there we go. Eh. It's number three. That's number three done. Eh. And of course, for some reason, now my Discord is exploding. Oh well. Eh. 
time to get things ready and set up for number four. But first, time to update the score, which is now 91,750 bucks. Next game is. Come on! Volume 4, the ride. And without much further ado, here we go. Oh boy. Maybe you're so much. It's, it's probably number one because I just picked the category for. I just picked the category for the 2011 one because it's a generic one. And here we go. We're on the ride. Get ready for a fun Saturday night because that's what we're here for to spread a little sunshine into your drab, wretched existence. How many contestants are there? It's just me. Oh, so there's only one of you. That's fine. There's only one I'm of you. I'm taking a sip. Is this the first time on the ride for you? Mm -hmm. Splendid. Glad you had the courage to play again. You should be typing in your name now. Wonderful. Thanks. Remember to be all you can be. Yeah. Enjoy the ride. See you at the bottom. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. The you Blam. Know Jack is brought to you by E. coli diet shakes. Drink a shake and flush the slush. And now, here's your host, Cookie. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the show. Hello again, now, Cookie. I'm no Red Baron, but things often get hot and greasy around here. Well, not really. More packs. Or I sit there. Well, I hope you didn't fill up on bread, because there's plenty of food here. Eat! Eat! But I do like bread. Bread is good. All right, bang your butt. You know, why don't, why don't you just punch yourself in the face for good measure? Well, anyway, here's your cat. Damn. Cut your food. Don't tear at it with your teeth. Hey, you remember all those crappy products advertised on TV that claim to even make julienne fries? Well, if you were to julienne Julia Child, what would you do to her? Cut her into short, thin strips, cut her lengthwise with jaggedy edges, cut her widthwise and around chunks, or cut her any old way. It's only a TV term. Hmm. Watch and learn. And now that I've given in her, we'll fry Julia with some ground beef for a few minutes. Until I'm going to drown. Yeah, I name right, was bad. For the cat. All right, that's all right. Okay, here's your cat. That's again. not much money. Need a quick and easy meal? Eat your young. Cannibalism. Let's get going. Wow. Anyway, if a headline reads, Mom gets death penalty for coddling kids, which of these did the mother most likely do to her children? She thawed them in alcohol, peeled them with a knife, kneaded them with prongs, or cooked them in water. Ow. <laughs> Dang it. All right, let's take a look at the right answer. We love you, Mom. I love you, too. Another way to coddle someone is to cook them in water that's almost boiling. And if you want to coddle who you're coddling, you should boil them in Evian water. Okay, hit your buzzer and try to... Coming up. Doc says I gotta eat this. You know, it's never a bad idea to get term? suggestions no on your diet from a doctor. Say you're a maggot living during the 1930s. If you're following doctor's orders, what kind of diet might you be living on? The infected wounds of his patients, the olive in his martini, the cough syrup he gives to kids, or the corsages his nurses wear. <laughs> doctors used to use maggots to eat away diseased tissue and help stop infection by bacteria. Yep. That's a real so thing. eat up. But remember, diet's only half the picture. Make sure you exercise. You know, walk around the block a few times after eating diseased tissue. Hey, buzz into selective value. Oh, 
Ooh, nice pickin'. Oh, get out of here. It's time for a diss or deck question. Hell yeah. And this diss or deck question's category is... They're just a couple of fruits. Okay, I'm gonna read off seven people or things, and for each one, I want you to tell me whether it's associated with apples or oranges. Ah, uh, damn. For each right answer, you get some cash. And you're gonna lose some for each one you get wrong or that you don't hey. get to. Hey. Okay, you got 30 seconds to nail all seven. And here we go. William Tallison. William and Mary. Syracuse. A county in California. Orange County. New York City. Big Apple. Miami Falls. Sir Isaac Newton. Apple fell on him. Oh, geez, this game is a bit loud on me. One, not too bad. I'm going to do one of these. There Let's we go. Your winnings to your total. There we go. That's what your current score looks like. Let's keep going. Hit your buzzer to choose the value of the next. Here's your category. 2,000-year-old leftovers. That's very old. And now the question. Say you want to serve the actual body and blood of Jesus at your next dinner party. Which of these would be the best name for your new entree? Assumption a la mode, consummation a naturel, transubstantiation souffle, or consubstantiation a la king? What? The correct answer is... According to the doctrine of transubstantiation, the bread and wine actually become the body and blood of Jesus during communion. It doesn't taste very fresh, though. Kind of like it's been hanging around somewhere for days. Huh. Interesting. Okay, select the value of the question. I like to call this category... French dining. This question is loaded and get it. Yep, sometimes these are incredibly and loaded. Right this way, please. Imagine that you want to cook a special meal for your lover. Because the French name for it is also a term of endearment, what should you make? Crab cakes, corn fritters, cabbage soup, or coconut macaroons? Uh, I have no idea. Probably cabbage, isn't it? You should have picked this. Yep. In France, cabbage, or chou, is a term of endearment like sweetheart. Look, honey, chou, chou. Hey, come back. Now select the highest. Okay, give it up for... When biblical tummies rumble. Guess the magic number here is 3565. Could be your lucky number. Let's find out. Say that while sailing Just check out, no Jack, arc, me neither. Noah stopped at a flooded diner oh, hi, and picked Pixel. up Adam and Eve on a raft. What would he have added to his cargo? Two eggs on toast, a bagel with lox and cream cheese, coffee with cream and sugar, or apple pie with two scoops of ice cream? I know that on a raft means means substitute for toast, so I'm gonna pick this. Adam and Eve on a raft is diner speak for two eggs on toast. Hell yeah. Two very naked and sinful eggs on toast. Because I know that saying on a raft okay, means substitute the burger buns the for toast, so... Hey, nothing to brag about. Okay, here's the category. Eh. Don't fight with your food. Sometimes I beat the smart hey, but that's not very often. Bull fight, they kill the bull. Oh, I I'm sorry, did I ruin it for you? Damn it. Suppose the bull, or Toro, were replaced by a Japanese Toro. What would the matador be fighting? A bloodthirsty octopus, a charging fatty tuna, an enraged wild cabbage, or a dangerous water chestnut? Hmm. I mean, octopus would be fitting for Japan, but that's probably not it. Here's the one you wanted. In Japanese, Toro means fatty tuna, and it's used in sushi. And after you take in the bullfight, make sure you stick around for the annual running of the puffer fish. <sighs> it's your buzzer to select. Oh, yeah. That is a Here's big the one. Category. I'm so drunk, I'll eat anything. Okay, don't panic, but you've been invited to a party, and you've been asked to bring the guacamole dip. Okay, deep breaths. 
Now listen up. Say that instead of using avocado in your guacamole, you use the avocado's namesake. What will you most likely say when someone compliments you on it? Thanks, I uh, drained the blood myself. I was worried nobody would eat brains. Yeah, I just love chips and testicles. Or you've uh, got some gizzard on your chin. I'm not even gonna attempt this because I don't wanna lose all my money. What is this game? You don't know Jack. Run for the ride. Well, what do we have here? I'm doing a big the marathon Aztecs of all of them. Bulbous avocado after their bulbous testicles. And this is the fourth volume. All right, it's time to choose the. It's dead. It's disgusting. It's roadkill. And we good night. Okay, see you after changes up and by. We appreciate it. Remember when you see the More item that correctly connects the pair, hit your buzzer. And don't forget, figure out the final bonus question, and I'll give you some extra cash. Are you ready to go a little bit crazy? Me too. Let's do it. Prostitution light and commie color. What Red. unites these two? Score. Punch to the back. And painful stone! Kidney? Score! Spotted horse! And exploding Ford car! That's oh, Space Pinto, isn't it? There we go. Score! Ozzy Sabbath! Rushes C. That's black. There we go. Four. Army's berets and Kato's hornet. Hmm. It's probably green, isn't it? Yep, it's green. Shade of blue and military branch. Navy. There we go. Score. Skippy bikini and silly flank. Score. There we go. All right, let's nab that bonus. What do all the correct answers have in common? I think I know this are one. They, all of beans? they are. You They're beans. Beans. They're all types of beans. And I would know. Who's Jack? Right, a great question. Is, I don't know him. Moving. Beans. Alright, buzz in for the cat. We're calling this one. Licking the platter clean. Hey, you know that rhyme about Jack Spratt who could eat no fat? Well, which of these could Jack Spratt eat? Crudite, schmaltz, suet, or tallow? Schmaltz and tallow are both fat. I know that. But I don't know which one between the other two. Oh, look what I have here. The correct answer. Jack hmm. Spratt could eat no fat, but he could eat crudite, which are just Frenchy raw vegetables. And his wife would just eat the onion dip with her fingers. Hmm. Welcome to the Jackathon. I mean, I'm, I'll be going okay, for a long so time more. The this one's called... Eat and die. Okay, you know those crazy okay. diets where you can only eat one type of food, like only grapefruit on. or only carbohydrates or only mammals that hop? Um, well, check this out. Breakfast, six ounces of paint, one bowl of chalk, and a two by four. Lunch, 12 ounces of floor wax, a colon clay sandwich, and two cups of dirt. Dinner, six ounces of suntan lotion, 2.7 ounces of deodorant, and three crayons. What diet plan does this menu most likely come from? The alpabulum diet, the esculent diet, the pica diet, or the ambrosia diet? All I know is, all I have seen is, first thing I heard is paint. Immediately think of Festo. He loves drinking paint. In case you're wondering, when you have the desire to eat stuff that isn't food, that's called pica. And after you eat all that indigestible fiber, well, that's called extremely painful. And here we go. Hit your buzzer to choose. Hungry for a clue? I bet you are. Here you go. Start with the pizza crust. 
And if I'm feeling naughty, we'll make our way to the sausage. Here we go. For booze. Yeah, it probably means sauce, doesn't it? Yep, it's sauce. What does this word even mean? It's probably cheese, isn't it? Where's the cheese? Or is this supposed to be beef? Yeah, it's beef. I just think where's the cheese would be funnier. Melodramatic person. Someone who's gone ham. Look out, Shade, that's a mushroom. Yummy. Yep, and that one was cheese. I have no idea. I'm just gonna let this one right out. And here we go. Let's see that final score! That's the story! Yep. And that's volume four done. So you think you know sushi? You and your other yuppie spawn friends think you know sushi? Well, you don't know sushi at all, not a wee bloody bit. Oh, oh, you can sit in your fancy $70 a plate sushi cafes and impress your other human scabby friends and order California roll and think you're the sheep's wool. Well, you're nothing. You're sushi juniors and you make me sick. Thank you for your very cool one. Scottish accent, but yes, that is. That was it with the, with the fourth one. Time to update the score. And we're up to... $114,207. And now... We get to the fun part. And that is the following. First, let me... Edit this so we know which which game we're on. And yeah, um you can see something right here on the screen. It's, it's very cool. It's goddamn Windows XP. This is did, did I mute this? I did mute this. Hold on. Hold on, I need to do this real quick. I need I need I need the noises. They are very important. There we go. Hell yeah. Beautiful. Eh. So. <laughs> and now time to get the fifth dementia running. Because that is the next one in the old time shuffle. Nah, I just have Windows XP. What are you talking about? I'm streaming this from Windows XP, of course. But yes, fifth dementia. Here it is. A stream script, hmm? You know what, I should probably check, double check the script again to see that I'm still following it. Okay, we're, we're fine. Everything's good. Make jokes or something, I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, right, that was the joke that I wanted to make, and that is... Um, Internet Explorer. Still exists. <laughs> Because yes, I figured there actually is still a fully, fully um, maintained browser for Windows XP, and it even works. Like, check this shit out. Come on, load. 
gonna mute this so uh, there is no pain. Come on, come on, load up. Please. There we go. Dirg. Is Dirg on Windows XP real? And now I close this before something bad happens. But yes, now it's time for next game in the series, Fifth Dementia. There we go. My name's Gerard, and you must be having quite the party to be breaking up. You don't know Jack. You know, it's, it's pretty pathetic when you have to rely on a computer game to try and keep the momentum going. What the fuck, man? I, I, I did not anticipate this. Look, I didn't come here to get roasted, okay? Just because it's a Saturday at almost 10 p.m., and I'm taking my time to play these old games. You don't have to disrespect me like this, okay? We clear on this? God damn it. Like, almost every single game has made fun of me for this. And honestly, I think that's amazing. Alright, are you gonna play on the network or at home? You know what? Let's try... You know what? For sake of demonstration... Super. Now I need your name. Great, got it. Real dirt. Now, once you're there, do you just want any game or a Great, when we get you online, we'll see who else wants to play. Now, before I get you online, do you need... No problem, you claim to know what you're doing. Okay, what's going on? Something's wrong. Okay, how do you want to handle this? Ah. But yeah, so this game is so old, the online does not work anymore. Let's play a home game. Hmm. I ain't gonna explain nothing to nobody. Is the servers are down? Yes, this game is so old. The servers have probably been down for a decade at least. Now this is a bit loud on my end. There we go. But yes. The outdoors is so great. Where's the fridge? You've reached a dimension where high culture and pop culture collide. Hello and welcome to the great outdoors Hi, episode. Written specifically for all those people out there who feel like we do. I hate that it's way too difficult to get the Volume of this just right. I'm in pain. There we go. That Bambi's mother really had it coming. Well, look at you playing Jack all by yourself. Isn't that sweet? Hey, you know what? I bet you win. Now then, I hope you get yes. to lunch because it's time to get started. Number one. Just give me a little buzzer action and I'll give you an amount. Here's what we're looking at. Five grand. This one's called semen. Flex Insert those joke here. here it comes. Which of these people is a master baiter? A popator, a mirador, a piscator, or a toreador? Piscator is what fishermen call each other when they want to feel a little better about themselves. You can make so many okay, jokes so about this. What you want to do there is uh, give that worm a little tug there. Yeah, just go on and uh, tug on that worm really hard till he, uh, <laughs> till he, uh, <clears throat> till the worm uh, <clears throat> fits on your hook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the humor of this game. <laughs> Here's the price tag: four thousand dollars. Money. This one's called. What color are your parachute pants? Think fast. Here it comes. If Jason of Greek mythology orders a fleece from the J. Crew catalog, what color will he probably choose? Posy, Heather, Oatmeal, or Golden? I think there was something about the Golden Fleece. 
Jason sought the Golden Fleece. Yes! Smart! Once Jason obtained the Golden Fleece, he and the Argonauts set sail on a quest for a new pair of khakis. Sometimes I am the smart. Amount. Let's see what this one's worth to you. Two grand. For your viewing pleasure, what's the Pope doing in the woods? Taking a shit, probably. Okay, so we all uh, have an idea of what a bear does in the woods, right? Well then, what does a shitta do in the woods? It stands there, it runs there, it makes nests there, or it works there. What? Well, here's your example of me not knowing Jack again. It's a tree. A really stinky tree. And when no one's around to hear it fall, this is the sound it makes. Oh, for the love of God, don't just stand there, you stupid squirrel! Somebody help me, I'm falling! Huh. Interesting. Money! For this one, I'll give you 4500 Here's a little something I call Never Gamble with Buffalo Chips. Okay, let's go. If a real estate agent wants to sell a home and needs to disguise the fact that buffalo constantly roam the yard and the deer and antelope always play in the basement, how should she list it? Two bedroom, two bath, omnivore friendly. Three bedroom, two bath, herbivore friendly. Four bedroom, two bath, carnivore friendly. They are all herbivores, bedroom, bath, I think. Carnivore friendly. Yep, all of those are herbivores. Buffalo, deer, and antelope are all plant eaters. Yes. Herbivores. Smart. And if you look in here, you'll see just a darling sun porch. <laughs> Time to pick a value. Okay, here's what you're looking at. 1250. Time to start swatting bugs. Plus two brain neurons. Yes. Big smarts. Get ready to bug out. Okay, listen up. This is really Fun fact, easy. bug out is exclusive to this is. game. Buzz in to squash the bugs that don't belong. For example, if the clue is red things, just hit your buzzer on the bug that doesn't belong, which in this case is the thing that is not red. If you're wrong, I'm gonna have to take away some cash. Mm-hmm. If you're right, well, then I'll give you some cash. Okay. And you'll be working up to a final round value of 1250. Okay, campers, let's see if you can earn a merit badge. States west of the Mississippi. Buzz in when you see one that isn't. Oklahoma. South Dakota. Damn it. The Jungle Book characters. Damn it, I don't know any of these. <laughs> Items on an explorer Swiss Army knife. Yep, that's one. That's also one. That's also one. That's not one. Actors in the movie Grand Canyon. I don't know any movies. Help. The python isn't poisonous, it strangles. The Pyrenees are in Europe. And those are in Europe. Well, they separate Europe from Asia. God damn it. Pain? Well, still walked away with some money. Not bad, not bad. Shall we move along here? 
Yeah, let's just move on from that. That was not perfect. I love the jingles in this game. They are very good. Let's see what the value of this question is. 2,500. Get yourself ready for Money. I have friends in institutional places. Hope you're hungry. It's question time. Suppose you want to spring your convict pen pal. <laughs> Who doesn't? If the only thing between him and the open sky is a set of metal bars, what kind of saw should you bake into his cake? A rip saw, a hack saw, a buck saw, or a crosscut saw? Make a hacksaw. Anybody who watches the Home and Garden Network can tell you that buck saws, rip saws, and crosscut saws are used on wood, while hacksaws cut through. Yes. Wood. Hey, perhaps your convict pen pal can also use the hacksaw to cut the prison soap into smaller, more manageable pieces, so as to be sure not to drop them in the shower. Smart. How about a value? Let's see how much you can win this time. 1750. The category? Allergic reactions to bad films. Okay, so you know that movie Poison Ivy, right? Mm-hmm. I've never heard God, of it. Help us all. If you treated your annoyance with the movie Poison Ivy, uh, the same way you treat a rash caused by actual poison ivy, what would you do? Gag yourself with Ipecac, blind yourself with calamine lotion, soak your head in ice water, or rub butter in your ears? Probably ice water, isn't it? Alright, cool down. Just cool down there. Or it's not. Damn. Here's a good answer. The best treatment for a case of poison ivy is a case of calamine lotion. However, if you're suffering from the sequel, Poison Ivy 2, starring Alyssa Milano, seek professional attention immediately. Ah. Value time. The total value for this question is... 2,500. Your category Money. would be... If a robot falls in the forest and nobody hears it... Okie doke, it's time for another episode of Robot Theater! Let's see what those metallic thespians have in store for us today. I went to the woods because I wish to live deliberately to front only the essential facts of life and see if I could not learn what it had to teach and not, when I came to die, discover that I had not lived. Wow. Okay, then what essay is this robot reciting? Walden, sinners in the hands of an angry god, self-reliance, or transcendentalism? I have literally no clue. I don't know any literature. <laughs> the only essays I could recite are video essays. The correct answer is... That's just a little taste of Henry David Thoreau's Walden. The robot was doing fine in the woods. Until an angry tree began throwing apples at him. Buzz in for the amount. Money! Well, I'll be gosh darn. 6250. What in the. I can't read this. It's time for. Oh no. We'll recite one video essay. <clears throat> TF2 in VR. What comes to mind when you think about it? Meet Fortress, an update released for Hot Dogs Scorch for <clears throat> an update for Hot Dogs Scorch for Rich Hand Grenades, which released on March 19th, 2019. Fights the hostage versions of the popular TF2 Mercs in large original map with the guns and gameplay you know and love. I think that was how it went. God damn it. I need to refresh my knowledge on this. But yes, that is the beginning of my of this script for one of for one of the video essays I made. Please don't double check. Please don't fact check me on this. I it has been a while since I since I was able to recite like the whole first couple minutes of this. But yes, yeah, a while back I was able to recite the like the first three minutes of that video essay. And a couple of clues. When you know what the answer is, buzz But in, oh boy, an anagram question. This one is oh, mostly exclusive to this game too. You, but the quicker you buzz in, I mean, it also the it all, they also show they also show up the in the uh, sequel, the sixth one. Okay, now take a look at this anagram. Okay, what's it gonna be? Scramble the letters and tell me what saying I'm looking for. Gunmen stow yoga. 
Anagrams, God damn it. Century. It's all about traveling, but not on a pogo stick. All right, how about this? Get a compass, little boy, and head in the right direction. I hate anagram questions. They are always way too difficult. All out of time. Well, let's see here. Gusto Gnome Yawn. Nah, that's not really famous anymore um gunmen all i can think of is the old west oh huh Wait a minute. interesting what, what the hell kind of advice is that go west go west and do what work at some kinkos in palo alto oh boy i can't wait pick any amount loader and this one's gonna be worth 2,500. May I introduce polypropylene for president? See if you can wrap your skull around this. During his presidential campaign, what could Al Gore-Tex promise? 100% natural fibers regardless of class. Gore-Tex is a brand of shoes, and it's water repellent, I think. repellent leadership or a down sleeping bag for every American. Yeah, Gore-Tex is a brand of shoes. Gore-Tex is a water repellent breathable fiber. Huh. Which claims it Interesting. The internet. I only know like Gore-Tex being advertised for like be the most shoes, so that's why. Okay, this one's worth twenty-seven fifty. Open wide and get ready for always be prepared to make some paperweights. Mm -hmm. Ah yes, my close personal friends at the Boy Scouts of America. Camping, hiking, and survival techniques in the great outdoors. Boys learning to become real men and live off the land. Which of these is not an actual merit badge that Boy Scouts can earn? Theater, dentistry, puppetry, or stamp collecting? You're talking to someone who has been a Boy Scout for 10 years. And I have no fucking clue because, because we didn't do any merit badges. Let me show you what I would have picked. Because they're Ameri the American the Boy ones. Scouts, there is the survival skill badge where you've got to kill a wild dog with a marionette. But that's called the I killed a wild dog with a marionette badge. Certified America moment. Grab that value. Your value is... 2,250 smackers. Alright, give it up for your wilderness guide to not being eaten. Let's go. Imagine a movie called Alligator Dundee starring Paul Hogan's younger, wimpier brother. If Dundee bumps into an alligator, what is the best way for him to run away screaming? In a straight line, in a zigzag, in a circle, or in hilarious slow motion? Wasn't well, in a zigzag because, you know, throw him off. You see, alligators aren't very agile, so if you run in a zigzag, you'll lose them every time. Yes! Badges with the original video game achievements, very understandable. He was indeed I heard that comparison before from a friend, and it makes sense, not gonna lie. Left us too soon. What? He's still alive? You're kidding me. Um, Paul, we love you. Here's to your versatility as an actor. Keep up the good work. <laughs> he is working, right? Oh, Check here we go. More moaner. Okay, keep cl I'm handing you a dissert at. Oh boy. And this that is very orange. This category is only you can prevent bad television. Oh no. Okay, what do you think? I'll read off seven names and for each one, perhaps you'd be so kind as to tell me if it's the name of a U.S. national park or the name of a soap opera character. Send help, I, I don't know any of these. Off, if you see a national park, press one. If I show you a character from a soap opera, press two. And to skip it, press four. You cash in for each one you get right, and you lose some cash for each one you get wrong or ah. don't get to. All right, give me 30 seconds on the clock, and we're off. Ridge Forester. River Carpet. Rice. Remy Wood. Lake Clark. Puck. One more. Joshua Tree. That'll make seven. Well, well, you missed three, but you got four. Wow, the thrill of average. Hell yeah. Score. 
I love, I love, I love it. Little help and that's exactly Fifty percent chance. Take a value. I love the the odds of guessing. It's this very good. Two grand. Peak trivia. Let's have a big warm welcome for who wants to marry an ape man. All right, let's suppose Tarzan loses his main squeeze Jane and wants to find a new girlfriend. Which Jane would Tarzan most likely find in the jungle studying chimpanzees? Jane Fossey, Jane Addams, Jane Austen, or Jane Goodall? Darn. I don't know any of these. Here's the one you didn't pick. Me, Tarzan. You, Jane Goodall, famous chimpanzee studying person. Oh, and by the way, ladies, when you do meet Tarzan, that actually is a banana in his pocket. Huh. And here we go. I hope you're strapped in, because here it comes. And here we are. Next, the next jack attack. Through, but first... The attack. Pay close attention They're good, to the good. Yes, on the I have cool well, sweater because you know it, it's, and I'll give you some it's December. If you're wrong, I'll take away some money. Every I'm just sitting here being cozy and, and vibing. Remember, remember the clue. And playing it's goddamn a trivia game. That fits this clue. Rated 3G13. This ought to be fun for the kids. That's Elm. I have no idea. Ah. Damn it. Why, why are these? Why? I'm in pain. I don't know movies. I don't know people. I don't know movies. I'm in pain. I only know Nightmare on Elm Street because of, uh... Couldn't they have just made, like, a Buddy Holly joke? But no, this game is too old for that, so... They could make the funny Weezer. Weezer. I'm actually Simon Birch. Yep, wrong one. Well, it didn't kill you, so I hope it made you stronger. Let's see if it killed your final score. Well, let's see how this one wins. There it is. Hey, way to go. Hey, nice. Who knew that playing with yourself could be so... I feel like that maybe cut out a bit early. There's 21.9 kids. That's so much I need. So we have a new final, a new score. Are you tired of Italian waiters always pushing the veal? I'll take the spaghetti. You should have tried the veal. Eh. Let me out of here. I wanna. There you go. We're back on goddamn Windows XP. <laughs> Time to update the scores, because now it is $135,107. That is a lot of money. Yep. Hey, remove the one at the front. I mean, hey, my goal for this entire thing was like maybe 150000 bucks because last year when I did this, I walked away with just a bit over 100 k So, uh, time to look at my... Uh, I actually have like a little... I actually have a little piece of paper here of, like, of the plan of the schedule. And next up is Volume 6. So for that, we're leaving Windows XP. We're, we're leaving Windows XP. Yes, I will do this every single time because I think it's important. And... Volume 6.
This one has a very long title for some reason. And here we go. Come on. Come on, please, 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 please launch. That would be nice. Ah. <gasps> yep. God damn. Snowballed. Thank you so much for gifting five subs. That is a lot. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. That is very progressive of you. Hell yeah. Eh, there we go. Game has showed up. And as a reward, uh... Arr, ahoy there! Drop anchor and come aboard! You get... And, uh, how many players be playing? Oh, come on. You get... Blip. Uh, hello? Uh, got your ears on, good buddy? Uh, tell me now, what do all your imaginary friends call you? Excellent! You buzz in with the letter B, as in brew ha ha Arr, now, here's how things are going to work. Arr, Th thank you. In to answer a question, and then you hit a one, two, three, or Huge shout-outs to goddamn you type your stream elements for having like skill issues all the time. Is true. Arr, and now me work is done. So off to thank you, stream elements. <laughs> Give me best to Schmitty. Bye. For some reason, stream elements always just play things. You're like, J Jack, Germany Volume 4, you're gonna love this game. We're gonna play that one later, actually. Like, that is true. I will play through all the German ones, too. Welcome, hi, hello there. This hi, is You Don't Know Jack. I'm Schmitty, and you're playing by yourself. Well, don't be embarrassed. It's probably just a phase. Now then, I hope you packed the lunch, because it's time to get started. How about picking a category? Are the German ones in English? No, they aren't. Which is why I'll swap the uh, stream language to German for those, but we still have a couple a couple more hours to go before then. I'm gonna lower the volume of this a little bit. And I believe this one's called Walking the Dog and Giving It a Bone. Get it right, I'm handing over 4,000 bucks. Money! One question coming right up. If you did an around the world with your yo-yo the way you do an around the world with your lover, what would be your technique? Wrap the yo-yo around his neck, refuse to give him the yo-yo, rub your yo-yo all over his body, or bounce the yo-yo off his head. Game, you're expecting me to know things that I don't know. You're talking to an aromantic asexual. I don't know how these things work. Time flies, don't it? Well, that'll make an exciting story, won't it? And around the world, sexually speaking, is to take your tongue and run it all over your lover's body. Actually, there is another version, but I just can't talk about it right now. Let's just say that if you tried that other version, the sun wouldn't shine on your yo-yo for quite some time. Go ahead, pick a category. Well then. Honestly, quite incredible. We call this one Search for Signs of Prurient Life. And you pocket 4,000 bucks if you get this one Money! Right. Oh, being a celebrity is tough. Think of the poor movie stars. You know, if they're not getting busted for drugs or reckless driving or talking to volleyballs, they're being hassled about their search for paid sex. If only they could find it some other way. Which city's lonely entertainers would have the shortest trip to the Hooker Telescope, Orlando, New York, Las Vegas, or Los Angeles? Why does this ed edition already have, like, two things that are vaguely sex-related? I'm just asking. <laughs> Out of time. Uh, does this ring a bell? The, uh, Hooker Telescope is in the San Gabriel Mountains. 
<laughs> of course it's near L.A. And thankfully for name withheld by request, it can spot that telltale Adam's apple from, oh, about 20 miles away. Time to choose a category. The greatest game show in hell. Well, what do we have here? The greatest show in hell. This one's worth 4,000 bucks. Let's see how you handle this one. Imagine if Barnum and Bailey's circus had as many rings as Dante's vision of hell. How many rings of demonic clowns would be performing at once? Three, six, nine, or thirteen? I think they were the nine circles of hell. There are nine circles of hell. Yes! And all of them are filled with elephant poo. Time to make a choice. What in the... I can't read this. Oh, no. Anagram question! Uh, no, another Let's one of those. Let's take a look at your category. Ah. Attention, boo-boo department. Right out of the gate, this one's gonna be worth ten grand. When you know what the answer is, buzz in and type it out. And listen to me, spelling counts. Oh, and not to put any more pressure on you, but the quicker you buzz in, the more cash you can make. Oh, boy. Okay, unscramble the letters in this to figure out what it's an anagram. What is this going to be? Are we clear? A pus fax. Hmm. Hey, I'll bet you it's a term that means mistake. Specifically a social... <gasps> All right, type the answer. It's a faux pas. You got it, faux pas. Yet another euphemism. That was a simple one. Luckily, it was a longer one. Want to pick a category? Shake hands with Sacco Pain. Four thousand bucks if you get this. More moaner. Now, have you ever been feeling so sorry for yourself that someone called you a sad sack? Well, suppose you sought counseling because you actually thought you were a sad sack. What would be your therapist's most appropriate diagnosis? Vintage automobile identifier, colostomy hmm. procedure fix. Share to your drinking ones with everyone. Obsessive. Yes, please do. Or comic strip soldier delusions. Yes, do it. Do it now. I don't have a gun that I can hold up. I have no idea what this is supposed to mean. On the winner's pick. Sad Sack was a 40s comic strip about a loser soldier. The strip huh. was a lot like Beetle Bailey. Only Interesting. All the highbrow humor and literary illusions. Time to select a category. And question six. Well, if it isn't my old friend, blast off in a woody wagon. Pay attention, because this one's worth $6,000. That's a lot of money. All right, tuck it in. We're moving. Yay! Astronaut Dad is taking his family on vacation to the moon. If the kids start in with their how much farther whining right after takeoff, what should Astronaut Dad say? It's number two. 238,000 miles. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, that's it. I'm unhooking this thing and coming back there. Uh, uh oh. Um, kids? Kids? Go ahead and pick one of these. This edition only has seven questions. You can't choose with this one. Keep an eye which, on makes, which makes see. Volume 6 the shortest one out of all of them. Only seven questions. If you're wrong, I'll take away some money. Every time you're wrong. And try not to forget. Remember the clue. Your match better fit this clue. Who's number one? Present Stefan Carlson. Excluded, of course. Roman Catholic Church, that is the Pope. Gregorian class. Uh. Pretty valedictorian, was it? Major League Baseball. 
the winner? I don't know. Damn it. Who's the highest? There we go, Admiral of the Fleet. United Nations. I have no idea. Come on. There we go. Okay, that's the commissioner. Hell yeah. The game. Way to go, my friend. Like I always say, it doesn't matter whether you win or lose as long as you get to play with yourself. Now get the hell away from the computer, will ya? Because... You don't know Jack! Now for the best theme in this entire series. Damn it. How you can fight premature ejaculate tonight. Damn it. Why did they cut it short? But yes, that pirate version of the Udon Jack theme is unironically the best one. And now, time to bring out my physical calculator to update the score. That was 25.7k. On top of that, that would be. Score, that is $161,607. And, if you know my normal streams, you know that I usually take a break after like two hours. And, I have it written here in my notes to take a break once I'm done with volume six. So, what I'm gonna do... Well, hey, Warrior Cat, I am incredibly sorry you just joined in right before I was about to go on a BRB. But, but, just so I update this, we'll return with British. Yeah. We will return with the British Udano Jack once, once this is done. But yes, I will go on a quick five minute break. And I highly suggest that in the, this five minute break, you go get up, do a stretch, get yourself some snacks, get yourself some water. And yeah, then we'll be, then we'll, we'll be back with the, the British. But yes, yeah. See you in a bit. That is more, more gaming time. Whoop.
Ah. Eh. Hello, it's me again. And I'm gonna double check if we're actually even still remotely on schedule because I don't think we are. Also, hi, May. Welcome to stream. Dirk. True. Ow. Uh, so apparently up next is UK. This one says 4 10 p.m. We are like 25 minutes behind. That's not a big deal. Oh well. But for this one, what we gotta do is the funny. That's right, we're booting up Windows XP again. Hell yeah. Can we find a switch? Oh, hell yeah, very nice. And also, now that I think about it, one thing that I didn't showcase earlier because I forgot about it is the Fifth Dementia actually has a has a is the only game that actually has a dedicated message if you don't have the disc in, inserted like this. Okay, here's where things stand. You want to play Jack, you have to insert Jack. See, in this case, the Fifth Dimension is the one you want to play. So go find the CD-ROM and stick it in the drive. And if you just hit escape and click start over, he gets really annoyed. Oh, hey, hey, slow down there, sport. You can't run with the ball before you can. Try that again. There is one where he gets un unreasonably angry. Hey, genius. What the hell are you doing? Okay, you just oh man, you people, you do this to me. You get me going. It's uh, but I'm not. It's not gonna work. Okay. Here's the thing. You want to play the fifth dimension, right? So, so here's the thought. Go get the actual fifth dimension CD-ROM and put it into your drive. See that way you can you can actually play it. Okay. If you can't follow this, then I fear for you. See, gets very upset, and I completely forgot to showcase this. But yeah, that's not the one we're gonna play. Because next up is the UK version. It's very British. Oi, what was all this then? <laughs> Bring out all your British jokes. We're gonna play the British version. Murray, can you get the names of the contestants? Thanks. Danny, have you got these questions for Jack? Hi, yes. 60 seconds. Right. Uh, yeah, look, I'm just Hello, I am finally Mr. here. Saturday. Congratulations, though. You made it perfectly in time for the UK for the UK version of You Don't Know Jack. You get to hear the British. Night against my will. My name is Murray. How many of you want to play tonight? It's just me. Ah, the loner type. Can you tell me what your name is, please? Can, can you check the? Feed, please, uh, one other thing, I also need to know if you had plans for a 21 question game or a 7 question tournament situation. The long Wise one. Choice. And stick it 30 seconds. Now, when you want to buzz in, hit the letter B. That's B as in bubble bars. <laughs> wow. British. 20 seconds. All right, now, pay attention. A two-year-old could do this, but people still seem to screw it up. As soon as you think you know the answer to a question, buzz in. Then you have to hit the number that corresponds mm -hmm. to the answer you want. Have you got that? Yes. Ten Keith, seconds. are you with me? Nine, Great. Okay, nice you hoodie, you got thanks. Yeah, put on, the, put on the hoodie because, you know, Already it's, in the booth. it's December, it's winter time. So I'm in my cozy hoodie. Lots of logos. It's really cool. I love this cozy hoodie. It's very cozy. If you good at other trivia games, it don't mean Jack now. Come, Louis. It's time for the show where pop culture and high culture collide. Hello, I am Jack. I am a nice man. I welcome you. All right, let's pretend. You're so popular, you decided to have a night off. Yes. Pick a category now. I love this groove in the background. It's so good. Let's have some fun. Here comes my 
proven. Categorically, this is the category of a uh, very late result just in. One thousand pounds for this little baby. The you can hear the British accent forward. in this one. Everything's so, very British. Androcles in the first by knockout, Lion by technical knockout, match abandoned or a draw, both dead. I have literally no idea. Hmm. It's probably four, but I'm not even gonna try. It's a shame you didn't say. Ah! The ah. contest was abandoned because the lion and Androcles refused to fight. The lion recognized Androcles, who had taken a thorn from his paw when the poor man was lost in the desert. Such an instance was unique in combat sports until 1996, when Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield resolved the WBA heavyweight title by nuzzling up together in the corner. Well, choose a category. Here comes question two. And the category is viewing habits of marine life. Give me a right answer. You got yourself 3,000 quid. Here's the question. Fingers ready. God, I wish Matt was here. Given he would think this is funny, probably. Attribute, what might be a goldfish's favorite children's TV show? Rainbow, Take Heart, Doobie Ducks, Disco Bus, or The Magic Roundabout? Hmm. I don't know any of these. I'm not British. Damn it. <laughs> I don't think there's a call friend joke on this one. And the answer is... The goldfish can see a greater range of colors than any other animal known to man, and so would appreciate all the colors of the rainbow. Well, you might think you're clever, Mr. Bloody Goldfish, in your little bowl, but let's see how long you last in a hot pan with fat. Damn, him, him and his Stop. Britishness being unable to be here, yeah. He is very British. Okay, pick a category. Put on your pants for the naked dance. Three. You have selected Jackus Interruptus. And I'll give you two thousand pounds if you get it right. Right. Now if I was a medieval ha ah, ah, ha what's on my hand? That's, what's on my hand? Work, Jesus Jack. Christ, get it off! Get it off! I've gotta get this bloody liver wart off my hand! Someone bloody call! A butcher, a painter, a botanist, or a dermatologist. Yes, yes, call a botanist. That's right, liverwort is a plant that grows in wet places. Have some cash and call a f***ing botanist. Hell yeah. Oh, uh, no, no, it's fallen off. No harm done. No problem. Thanks. Sorry. Keep the cash. Uh, on with the show. Welcome to You Don't Know Jack. Categorically speaking, I want one. Look, this is essentially what I'm doing, so I'm picking the one. Oh, it's my favorite. It's this or that. I'm literally doing a jackathon right now. Game. Thank you for being very self-aware. A 24-hour jackathon. Hey, here's the exciting scoop. Even though it's not 24 hours. Seven chopped up film titles. And you have to tell me whether there's a day or a night missing from the title. If you think there's a day missing, press one. If there's a night missing, press two. And press four to skip. I award correctness with 500 pounds sterling. And if you get it wrong or don't get to it, it'll cost you 500. Timekeeper, 30 seconds on the clock, now! Here do we go. Independence, what is it? Of the Living Dead. Mayor on Elm Street. Of the Jackal. On Earth. Of the Triffid. Last one, the Earth stood still. That's all Gaming. Yeah. Five. Hmm. Oh, I stick that on your score. Good That's news, I'm not awful. You got any categories on you, man? Come on, give us one. Number five. And you went for the one called. Your guess is as badass as mine. And this one's worth £2,000. Keen to resurrect a flagging career, credible white rapper Vanilla Ice has come on tour to Britain. Alluding to activities unseen in Britain this century, Ice has been refused entry. What has he probably said at immigration? I'll be hanging with my homeboys, I'll be illing in the place to be, I'll be dropping fat beats and rhymes, or I'll be dancing like an aerobics instructor. Hmm. I have no idea. This is the answer. 
Hanging hasn't been seen in public in Britain since 1866. Oh, that's what they meant. In Mr. Ice's case, we could make an exception, of course. Huh. Come on, let's have one. <laughs> oh, this is really big. This thing is huge. This one's called... A rhetorical question. 3,000 pounds mm -hmm. if... You can okay, we have the answers. Uh, well I'm probably not going to look at chat while an answer is in progress. Okay. If I but feel free to guess along. I don't mind. ...of the expanding tricolon to describe your mama, I would say she was... ...ugly as sin, not a little deformed, very, very stupid indeed, or fat, quite dry, and exceedingly hairy. Probably four. An expanding tricolon is a rhetorical device that comprises three separate parts, each one longer than the last. Yes! <laughs> Now let me show you some other rhetorical devices I've picked up over the years. Your mother sucks in hell, you sucking. Wow. From the list of categories, pick a category. Okay, we have one called Immortal Footwear. We got one thousand quids because it's a little bit peasy. Who am I? Once this goddess was the symbol of her victory, today she's the logo for quality athletic footwear. Who is she? Shawl, Reebok, Nike, or Adidas? What? Four does not seem like one. A middle class contestant would have said Nike's the correct answer. Do I get my free trainers now? Do I? Damn. Choose a category. Here's why we hate number eight. Next up. No, I'm not happy to see you. Two thousand pounds ready and waiting for the right answer. Hey, remember that western mm. high noon with all that guns and shooting and stuff? What would happen if the climax of high noon happened at the time that is the literal translation of the Latin root noon? Bruce Willis kicks a guy's ass at one o'clock, Charles Bronson kills street scum at midnight, Clint Eastwood makes his day at ten o'clock, or Gary Cooper shoots varmints at 9pm. Latin. Probably nine, because that would make sense. In Latin, nonus means nine, so Gary Cooper would have his show down at nine o'clock. Hell yeah. Okay, boys, now it's time for pancakes. <laughs> pancakes! Please yes! Select. It's party time. Here comes number nine. And the category is... Nannies and the ingredients of cider. 1K uh, on offer for this one. Top children's nanny, Mary Poppins, decides she's had quite a number of perky kids and Dick Van Dyke's fantastic cocktail accent. <gasps> if Mary decided to take her awesome. guarding an orchard, what would be a good new name for her? Mary Poppers, Mary Pippins, Mary Popeye, or Mary Papaya? Papaya because that's a fruit. <laughs> the man's a fool. No. If you'd have got it right, you'd have said this. Cox's Orange Pippins is type of an apple, and they're super califragilistic XP bloody marvelous. Damn. Using your brain, pick a cat prick. Hey, Agua. Okay, I'm gonna take a sip of water. In the category or is... an energetic beverage, because I need to be streaming for at least five more hours, probably. Are you calling me a liar? Well, looks like it could be tricky. So three thousand pounds for this one. Hey, you're not gonna believe what happened to me, right? On the way to the studio today, man. Yeah, I was out on the show, right, with my mates Nolan Liam. Yeah, when suddenly, right, I was chased up to the top of Europe's highest mountain by a herd of man-eating elephants. Yeah, really freaked me out, like. But luckily, a family of yeti, yeah, they gave me some feathers, which I used to hang glide down out the mountain, right. But unfortunately, right, real bummer, I landed in a secret French nuclear test site near Bombay, yeah, and had to take shelter in a giant anthill. But then, right. Right, the clever ants, yeah, they saved me by forming a supersonic helicopter with their bodies, yeah. They were really bright ants, really with it, yeah. But when they was eaten, right, by a flock of flying anteaters, I glided down on a thermal into the DKJ car park, right? What really pissed me off, man. Really freaked me out, yeah. I swear it's all true, man. But which historical figure does my psychologist claim that I am impersonating? Briar Roos, Baron Munchausen, Robert Munchaus, or Scarlet Pimpernail? I remember Baron Munchausen was flying, was the one flying on a cannonball, I think. So I have no idea. This British guy just keeps going and going. 
Just like our favorite British guy named Matt. If you're He's very British. The is... <laughs> Baron Munchausen is the Damn celebrated it. teller of tall tales to whom my psychiatrist has compared me. Incidentally, right, I met him and John Redwood on this spaceship Pain? the other week. Yeah, Independence Day space. Give us up, yes. Snowboard was very, very generous and gifted five subs, and that is very, very epic. Well, that's the end now of you can one. look at him rotate. It's very important because of rotation. British Matt's brother streaming Roblox, awesome. Choose a category. Rotation. Your choice is New Scotland Lord, and this question's worth four thousand pounds. Fun fact, that one is very new. I just recently put that one up because rotation is funny. If John Nettles is a fine French wine and Tom Selleck is a powerful handgun, what does that make Robbie Coltrane? A type of hairspray, inventor of the flushable toilet, a solid derivative of cocaine, or Christmas party gimmick? Hmm. You know, I feel like it would help if I knew who Robbie Coltrane even was. Damn it. Lots of British. The correct answer is... John Nettles is to a nice bottle of Bergerac, and Tom Selleck is to a Magnum what Robbie Coltrane is to a cracker. Okay, pick a category. Twelve. The one you chose was... Big lizards, night out. You could be getting yourself 2,000. Reesh! Listen, Godzilla, Gorgo, and Godzuki get together for a nice quiet night out. Uh, screen dinosaurs only. They decide to invite one more pal along to share a cow. Who would Godzilla and chums invite for a screen dinosaurs only night out? Lynn Perry, Mothra, Mighty Joe Young, or Moss Chops? Hmm. I don't know any of these. Damn it. Uh, I mean, why didn't you pick? Maybe Moss Tops. He's a dinosaur, right? Eh? But being like the herbivorous Stegosaurus, he might not want to go for kebab afterwards. <laughs> you know. Pick a category now. Fun fact, we're already completely off schedule because I took a bit longer than expected. And now. Oh, wake me up when it's all over. 6,000 notes if you get it right. Brace yourselves, here's the question. Which opera actually ends with a fat lady singing? Weber's Jesus Christ Superstar, Wagner's Die Valkyrie, Puccini's La Boheme, or Mozart's Don Giovanni? Gee, thanks. I feel like I've picked the, di the difficult ones, just... Ah. Damn. Now here's what someone intelligent would have said. Ah! Wagner's Die Valkyrie, or an Alison Moyer gig. She's a huge, huge star. Not I don't know any operas. The, the only opera, opera I know is Opera GX, you know. today's sponsor. You got any categories on you, man? Can't this one. Insert sponsorship here. Ow. Now, Indiana Jones in the Temple of Groom. If, if, if I were, if I got a sponsorship, that would be pretty cool. But no. Answer. Okay then. Indiana Jones, intrepid explorer, decides that it's time to take a wife. Being a history teacher, he of course goes for the historical type. Now, bearing in mind his very special phobia, which of these mythological figures would Indiana Jones be least likely to marry? Medusa? Cerberus, what is he Helena even? Troy, what is he even scared of? I have no idea what Indiana Jones is even scared of. Medusa would make sense, probably. Medusa Everyone would be scared of Medusa. Of living snakes for hair, and Indy is mortally afraid of these snakes, so he would not take her hand. Ah. Yeah, and anyway, she can turn a man to stone with a single glance. Do you see it snakes? Ah. Very unfair advantage I didn't in an know. argument over who left the cap of the toothpaste. They thought it's better petrification, because <laughs> everyone would be scared of that. Speaking, what is you. money? Aha! Chest butt sits Grimehaw. Oh no, not again. It's time for a Tinkerlick Test Run. There's a gibberish category for ya. 
the secret of eternal happiness. There's a possible maximum of 10 so Jones and Jones defense with Lego games. Lego and Indiana Jones was one of my first games that I ever played. The quicker you solve this, the more money. And it was, was pretty good, but I was very bad at it. And buzz in and start typing when you know which famous song title this sentence rhymes with. Ride bike, screw creature, herd poo, swing, and don't be joked by the pump to it. Oh jeez. It was in a Coca-Cola advert. Coke? I need God damn it. Coke. And sounds remarkably like Shake Maker by Oasis. And while we're on the subject... This game is from the 90s. It's about a huge session of vocal tuition. Oh dear, 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 You can stop now, please. I'm fully aware that I'm bad at this. Me. I'd like to teach the world to sing by the new seekers. Charming sentiments, but did they carry it through? Of course not. Wankers. This game is from the 90s. It's older than me. In your brain, pick a cat, right? In categorical terms, you have chosen. Dude, I'm from the 90s. Congratulations. Television. You that makes you more likely to know some of these. <laughs> it's British. Yeah, that's true. Okay, here it comes. I mean, hey, after this, we're back to the U.S. releases. Dennis the donkey and Maggie the mare, Jackie the jackal and Roger the ass, David the donkey and Claudia the cow, or Gare the gelding and Crawford the cow. It's one. The mule is a crossbreed of the donkey and the mare. Hell yeah. Although that does confuse me, because I've always found Maggie and Dennis's offspring more ass-like than mule-like. Money! Choose a category. Okay, let's have one called Satisfaction Guaranteed with warranty. And this one with warranty. Hell yeah. Pounds. Who would be most likely to have placed this personal ad? Single white female widowed is seeking stable relationship with stallion for empire building, home furnishing, and horseplay. Any stud will do. Elizabeth the First, Bodicea, Catherine the Great, or Lady Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher? I don't know. It's probably not more with that shirt. The is... Russian super vixen Catherine the Great enjoyed empire building and horse riding, if you know what I mean. So I got the perfect guy for her, Muffin the Mule. Or hey, what about Mark Thatcher? Come on, this said one. <coughs> This mm -hmm. one's called... But what did you really think? This is a £6,000 question. That's an expensive one, so it's a difficult one. All your Damn friends, it. You want them to say how nice it was. If you wanted your guests to be absolutely truthful when they told you what they thought of your meal, what should you add? Monosodium glutamate, sodium chloride, amphetamine sulfate, or sodium pentothal? Meth? I'm not giving them meth. It's for sodium pentothal is the truth drug. Because monosodium glutamate, flavor enhancer. The second one, sodium chloride, that's table salt. The third one was just meth. I really love the food, but yeah, the MSG. Makes you look really fat MSG, and ugly, and also I'm known as that one, that one thing that furries are very obsessed with. I don't know why. Select. And this one's called Shotguns and Potatoes. Two thousand pounds for this little baby. Picture a picnic in the countryside. You're tucking into your sandwiches when you find yourself staring into the barrel of a gun. Unfortunately for you, you never heard of that. Uh... The land of Mrs. Farmer Palmer, and he's not pleased. If Farmer Palmer tells you to get off my sugar beet field, cause next spring, right, I'll be farming barley in her, and and come autumn, I'll be farming taters in her. What is he advocating? Crop, Crop rotation. rotation. Crop rotation. Is the process of growing a sequence of different crops on the same ground yeah. to increase its fertility. You know, Jackie, they see cool? Probably, yes. Not to be I don't know. with crap rotation, which is the process of allowing your dog to shit on different pavements and playgrounds every day to avoid prosecution by your local council. 
the list of categories, pick a category. Superstar. You're special. 20. So, you picked 20. this one. Sounds like an average Scottish Premier game to me. And it's a £4,000 question. Listen to this prospective Rish. film producer pitch you his idea. When you think you know what an apt title for it would be, buzz your buzz buzz. It's an action film about a Scottish football team who somersault about in tight suits, defeating monsters with their martial arts skills. They shout, go, go, a lot. Mighty Morphin Glasgow Rangers, Aberdeen... It's the goddamn Glasgow Rangers because that is Power Rangers. Morton Combat. The Mighty Morphin Glasgow Rangers. Another apt name for Glaswegian superheroes could be Mighty Morphine Power Rangers, surely. Of course, morphine. Morbid type! Now. And here we go. It's time for the attack. When you see two words on the screen that go together, buzz in and you've got 2,000 pounds. Buzz in when there isn't a match and you lose 2,000. And don't forget, remember the clue. Not any old match will do. It's Reesh. going to be the one that fits this clue. See if you like an 80s television ad, this game is from the 90s. It's a funny job. I think this one was from 1997? Good luck, Frank. I think. Probably 1997 or 1996. I don't know who this guy is. Damn it. I should, I should, I should not have picked something that would have been involving people because I don't know any of these. Who are these British people? Who, who are they? Okay, that one you could have guessed because father. Goddamn breach! That guy sounds like an actor, not gonna lie. <laughs> Damn it. Goddamn British people. I could just sit here and wait this one out. But that would be, um... Damn it. Meh, whatever. Enjoy the goddamn music because I have no clue who these British people are. They are. They are British. They were probably famous in the 90s. Which means. They are probably dead. Insert ad to like and subscribe right now here. Like the hoodie on the metal, by the way, thanks. I spent a lot of time on it because, you know, it's winter. Y you gotta have a nice little comfy hoodie. So yeah, I've got myself a nice comfy hoodie. Very comfortable, very epic. Also, the music in this game is just really good. I mean, hey, this one is based on the, uh, this one is based on the, um, second US version. And that one has a really good soundtrack. Come on, game. I would like to continue to the next game, please. Nice, you got some bang tunes? Absolutely. They are great. Because next up, we're going back to the, uh... We're going back to the US releases. Next up is offline. Oh, is it not done yet? I don't know. There we go. Oh my stuff. god, that round hummed like a badger. Let's see how it destroyed your score. That's the game! Oh, your score is through the roof. And you better patch it up before anyone notices, because I've already noticed that. You don't know Jack! Very good show, everybody. Okay, we're going to go to a commercial break. Murray, what's happening with the contestants? Can you find out, Malone? And now... Here we go.
Well, Editing this. looky, 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 you've made it onto the high scoreboard. Bravo. I'm sure there's no coincidence in the fact that the scoreboard was completely empty anyway. Look, Gee, if you want to play a game, you just let me know, all right? I've got better things to do. Thanks. Very, very nice. That means we're selling our finest mahogany caskets and concrete. But yes, uh, cool and epic. <gasps> More pets. Awesome. Self-aware that it's from the 90s? Well, it's self-aware that it is a game that is old. So, yes. And now, let me quickly insert my real disc into my real Windows XP machine. You can tell that it's mine because it has my name up there. Yes. Seeing this computer student is giving me real nostalgia, I mean, hey. These games were so old, a lot of these literally do not work on Windows 10, even with compatibility mode. But yeah, let me quickly do this, because the next one is... Offline. And now... There we go. Should now be the correct one. Come on, please, please, please function. There we go. Offline. We're back with the American releases. Thank God for VMs. Yep. Anybody could go out on a Saturday night and have fun. It takes guts to stay home and play a computer game. No place I'd rather be. Okay, tell me how many people are playing before I throw up. Dude. Come on. Why you gotta do this to me? That's kinda rude. And only like the seventh game today to do this. And be an asshole to me because I'm playing a video game on a Saturday. One player, that's fine. Means you can't use the car. America! Yo, one got you cut. 30 seconds. No problem. Your buzzer is the letter B as in Babbage, which is something that rhymes with cabbage. 20 seconds. Mm hmm. Oh, holy mackerel. Okay, uh, listen up. As soon as you think you know the answer to a question, buzz in. Then you have to hit the number that corresponds to the answer you want. You got that? It's simple. Have a good game. And here we go. Gaming. If you think you know offline trivia, doesn't mean telephone jack now. <gasps> Wow. More pets. Awesome. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Welcome, welcome. Hi, hello. This is You Don't Know Jack. I'm Cookie, and you're pathetic. Playing by yourself? Ow. Go read a book. Oh, Murder. Right, whatever. Hey, all by yourself today? Okay, let's see if you also, can Also, this game is very much used the color teal a lot, and I like let's that. Rock. It's very cool. Okay, I need a category. It's only a game until some British people get hurt. Trivia of emergency. course. Call Let's see what we got going. It's only a game British. until some British people get hurt. This one can net you a grand. Just step up and take a swing at this one. Imagine while playing London Bridge is falling down in orchestra practice, your bridge falls down. What instrument are you most likely holding? A droopy drum, a trash trumpet, a broken bassoon, or a valueless violin? That was probably the bassoon, isn't it? You'll want to put some ice on that. Damn it! The correct answer is... The bridge is the support that holds up the violin strings. Yeah, uh, those nursery rhymes can get pretty violent. Yep. Oh, wait. I thought it was called the neck. Limbs? Category, please. This is the end of the tape. Turn it over to play side two. This little number's known as is that a harp or are you Ready just happy to see me? Real? That would be we awesome. Three thousand bucks in the pot. Sure, it's maybe one day I'll have my own edition an of this. Angel, but Probably not though. Suppose you're inappropriately touched by an angel in a business situation. Because he's considered the leader of the angels, to whom should you make a report of the incident? Uriel, Michael, Daniel, I think Uriel or Gabriel. Was the one. 
Uriel? No, he's the angel in charge of Russia only. Dang it! In case you're wondering... The Archangel Michael heads up the whole angel establishment, so he gets the report. Hey. It says here you, uh, incited the situation by praying. Well, I was praying, yes, but... And I... you were wearing a nightgown at the time? I was in bed, and In I... bed? I don't believe this! I need a category. Son, you best be out of town before I count to three! May I introduce... All you need to pack is a swimsuit and a spoon. How does $2,000 sound? Money! Let's see how you handle this one. If you vacation on a floating island, which of the following would you be able to do? <gasps> Swim in egg whites and custard, awesome. sail in pecans and sweetened cheese, ski in meringue and marshmallows, or snorkel in phyllo dough and honey? <laughs> I'm not going to take a chance on this one, but I think it's one. For the curious, here's the right answer. <laughs> floating Dang it. Island is a dessert made of egg whites poached in milk that are floating in custard. Mmm, honey, this floating island's great, but what are the crunchy things in it? Oh, those are the tourists. Wow. Okay, pick a category. Murder. Shake hands with vegetarians avoid us cause we're jerky. And you pocket two thousand bucks if you get this one. She's pissed. He's pissed. We're pissed. pissed. So pissed, pissed about, about a question. We're pissed about. All righty, this extremely pissed about a question letter is about a net show announcement we made in our April Fool's Day episode. Hello? Joke ahead. We said that the next You Don't Know Jack CD-ROM would be about meat. Meat, for crying out loud. Anyway, Diana H. of Wellesley College didn't catch the subtle hilarity of our humor. And Diana H. writes, I think it is extremely inconsiderate that you're making an addition <laughs> about meat. I don't really see the attraction of centering an addition of your game <laughs> around the dismembered, <laughs> mutilated body parts of unnecessarily tortured hey. and murdered individuals. It is no game to them. Signed, blah, blah, blah. Well, thanks, Diana. Also, hi, Luna. And again, happy April Fool's Day. But, you know, now you've got me thinking about meat. Nice, big, thick, juicy steaks. Mm. No, you're right, you're right. Eating meat can be can be cruel, but just tell me this. Say a butcher slaughters some poor little calf's mommy. Because it is the only possible mother listed, cutting into which of the following would be the cruelest cut of all? A bull, a steer, a cow, or a heifer? In butchery terms, a cow is defined as having had at least one calf. Hell yeah. Definitely cruel. Cruel in a nicely marble. Oh, Saloon, in case you didn't realize, way. you got well, gifted a sub. Again for your letter, Diana. Hey, anyone you else can now do it, lose the spin. Alright, hit me. And other funky emotes, because yes. Hey, alright, guess what you just picked? It's time to play Dis or Dat. Hell yeah. The category for this dissertation. Rotation! Is, who says vegans are humorless? Okay, I'm gonna list the names of seven brands of meat substitutes, and you tell me if each one is a real, real? brand yeah. of fake meat or a made up brand. As each one comes up, if it's a real kind of fake meat, press one. If it's a silly sounding brand of fake meat that I just made up, press two. And press four to skip. You get 500 for each right answer, and 500 will be taken away if you get it wrong or don't get to it. Ah. Okay, Heavy, you can have 30 seconds on the clock, please. But now and I have to concentrate on this. Oops. Tofu pops, real good. Not dogs. Fake and bacon. Phony baloney. Turkey, not. Sausage. One more tofu. All of them were real. Wow. Whoop de do. All right, let's see your new total. Oh, At least I got some much, money out of it. But it's not much. Let's keep going. Owner. Okay, I need a category. Okay, Dude, thank you very much, Heavy from Team Ford. So I really appreciate it. Sense. 
Well, what do we have here? It got you drunk and does enjoy your, your enjoy your funny emotes, bucks for a including rotation, answer. because rotation is funny. And here it comes. What is a floor wax and a dessert topping? Cool Whip, Shimmer, Flubber, or so fine? Flubber is a movie. That's all I know from this list. Let's take a look at the right answer. It's a floor wax. It's a design topping. Wait a minute, you two. It's a Saturday Night Live sketch. Yeah, it may have been just a sketch, but at least it wasn't a ripoff like that video toaster I bought. It didn't even make the bread brown. Yeah, it's a Terraria fluid. Damn. This My game God, is far what? older than Terraria. But to you and me, that's... And I believe this one's called Philosophy is a Buzzkill. Get it right, I'm handing over 2K. Okay, Real? remember how Thomas Hobbes said that the life of man is nasty, brutish, and short? Right, of course you do. Who doesn't remember that? Well, if Hobbes were inspired by champagne and said that life was nasty, brute, and short, what would he most likely mean? Life is nasty, very sweet, and short. Hmm. Life is nasty, very expensive, and short. Life is nasty, very old, Sadly, and short. Sadly, I don't speak French, nasty, otherwise it would be easier. Probably dry. It's good. <laughs> yes. Brute is a term for champagne that is very dry, kind of like Hobbs, you know, because he's dead. Okay, pick a category. And Hell this yeah. one is That's a Mr. Mooner. Simpson, stop eating the evidence. Thousand bucks if you get it. Hey, I was watching Judge Judy the other day, and this is a quote from one of the plaintiffs. Your Honor, the defendant has been repeatedly warned through commercials, specifically with Simpsons characters, to avoid the handling of the aforementioned product. What product is this guy talking about? Three Musketeers, Butterfinger, Snickers, or Mr. Goodbar? What? I don't know what any of these even are. I mean, I'm guessing they're like chocolate bars or something. Hey, got a minute? Take a look at a right answer. As the commercials huh. say, nobody better lay a finger on my Butterfinger. Yeah, right. Everybody's all concerned about the rights of the Butterfinger. What about me? The Where candy are bars? My uh, when I've got all that orange crap None of those exist over here, teeth. so yeah. I'm at a disadvantage. I need a category. Yeah, none of the no, none of the sir, four that yeah, were the, that were there exist over here. Two thousand dollars says you don't know this one. But we do okay, have Snickers over here this. and the Mars Bar. And Timothy Hutton had the same characteristics as investment firm E. F. Hutton claimed to have in their commercials from the 1980s. What would be true? Tim makes movies the old-fashioned way. Help! When this Tim game talks, assumes I'm old. The cast listens. Tim would be known as the quiet actor, or Tim measures his ah. success one film at a time. Help, this game is old, and assumes I'm even older. Send help. Should have picked this. When E.F. Hutton talks, people listen. When Timothy Hutton talks, it goes straight to cable. All right, hit me. Coming at you. Be glad you oh, took well, that that's English lit course. One thousand dollars at stake on this one. Heads up, here it comes. Based on his actual middle name, which of the following could you say of poet Henry Longfellow? You get your words worth with Henry. They got better poems at Woolworth. He shot his Wadsworth on poetry. Or he's quite a wordsmith, that Longfellow. Whomstiver. I'm so good at you trivia. Wish you'd pick this. Ah! He's famous for the poems Hiawatha and Paul Revere's Ride. He's poet Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Man, Wadsworth Longfellow. I, I don't even know where to start with this one. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Wadsworth. <laughs> That's it for round one. Let's go to round two. Every question in round two is worth twice as much, so we got some serious cash at stake here. Let's get Money. to it. Category, please. Hey, honey, how many 
many eggs do we have? We got 12! Oh. Pucker up for head gum. That is $4,000 grab you. Sure, you money. chewed hubba bubba when you were little, but the super smart kids had a different gum. Say you're chewing a chunk of Hubble bubble. Considering Edwin Hubble's theories, what is the big I've luscious bubble you blow best represent? The increase of greenhouse yeah. gases, the growth of the middle class, the swelling of six it's cells, or the, the expansion universe, of the universe. Edwin Hubble was an astronomer Hell whose yeah. research proved that the universe is expanding. Hubble telescope. Of course, unlike I gum, the universe doesn't lose all its flavor I mean, after water. five minutes. And Pat's awesome. Okay, I need a category. All right, angry men, party of. Whoa. This one Whoa. likes to go by seesaw. Wow. Well. Play your cards right, you win four thousand bucks. Okay, we all know what a saw is. It's one of those long ridge sharp things that those hunky lumberjacks use. But mm -hmm. tell me this. In the sentence, what I saw was too nauseating to recount, what do the words what I saw make up? A verbal, an indirect object, a predicate, or a noun clause? I mean, it's an object and it's indirect, so... How do I say this indirectly? Dang it. Okay, got it. You are so not right. Pain. See, now, I could have given you some cash if you pick this. In this sentence, what I saw is a noun clause, a dependent clause that acts as the subject. And what I saw was two... Damn. Okay, pick a category. I finally conquered my Triskaidekaphobia. Thirteen! Well, looks like this category is... She looks like a cheap sausage in that dress. And it's worth $2,000 if you get this one Money. right. Hey, everyone wants to wear something special to the Oscars, right? Say you're going to the Oscars dressed as a huge Oscar Mayer wiener. According to the Oscar Mayer jingle, why might you have chosen that ensemble? So better than the rest I'll always be, so everyone will be in love with me, so I'll be America's wiener, yes siree, or so I'll be the tasty best from sea to sea. God damn you Americans in your commercials. Damn. Here's what you should have picked. Because if I were an Oscar Mayer wiener, everyone would be in love with me. It's true, you know, uh, Susan Sarandon has been wearing a wiener suit under her dress for years. Oh, where? I need a category. Going up. 10, 11, 12, 14. Say hello to... Shut up already, I can't feel my legs. 4,000 big ones for a right answer here. Okay, the Oscars are exciting, but after the fifth or sixth hour, you have to get a little stir-crazy. Suppose all the men in tuxedos get bored and start pretending they're penguins. Which of the following would they most likely do? Fly away, hold their breath for hours, keep their eggs warm, it's or three. eat each other? Male penguins keep the eggs warm for months without moving. Because penguins can't fly. Well, that's harsh. At least we get commercials so we can go to the bathroom. All right, hit me. The selection is don't drink and roll dice. Get a right answer. You're walking away with four grand. Let's rock. If you leave your Candyland board out so long that it ferments, what could you distill the molasses swamp into? The swamp of gin, the whiskey swamp, the swamp of rum, or the vodka swamp? Hmm. I have no idea. Because I know that vodka is from potato made from potatoes, and I don't know the rest. The correct answer is. Rum is made from fermented molasses. And just don't go from there to the ice cream sea too quickly or you'll be really sick. <laughs> Category, please. You chose wisely, my friend. You just got your hands on a diss or dat. Another one! Yeah! This diss or dat's category name is... The City of Marrow. Alrighty, I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's the name of a bone in your body or the name of a European capital city. You fool. If it's a bone, press I know one. both of these. If it's a European city, press two. And if you want to skip one, press four. 
Each correct answer will net you one thousand. I should be able to get most of these right, if not all of them. Each one you miss or any that you just don't get to. All right, I'll start you off with thirty seconds. Because I'm from Europe, I know the cities. Let's go in. Alma, bone or your bone in your arm. Uh, capital of Latvia. Great. Capital of Tibia. One of them. That is one of your bone. Uh, capital of Croatia. That's this one of them. Vilnius. That one's the capital of Lithuania. You are a very smart person, and I want to see your new score. You fool! There you go. I work no at a hospital. Three. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, I need a category. The category Easy is moaner. Willard Scott in a fur coat. And get this one right, you got 4K coming your way. Okay, get out your calendar and answer this. If Punxsutawney Phil sees his shadow on Groundhog Day, through what day will the winter weather last? February 2nd, February 29th, March 16th, or April 1st? I don't even know when Groundhog Day is. And honestly, I don't want to guess. For the curious, here's the right answer. Six wintry weeks from February 2nd is March 16th. It hmm. takes us all the way from little dancing rodents to little dancing leprechauns. Which, come to think of it, look a lot like rodents wearing uh, little green derbies on their heads. Hmm. All right, hit me. Open wide and get ready for... Where will he pop up next? 2,000 bucks for a correct Money. answer. Oh no, looks like the groundhog wandered into the road and got hit. But don't worry, a rendering plant truck will stop and pick him up in a day or two and melt him down with all the other roadkill. Considering the industry which uses rendering plant byproducts, where might you see that groundhog next? Among the sausages on your plate, as lipstick smeared on your lips, Ow. between the pages of the Bible, or in the tread of your new tire. Huh. In case you're wondering, many cosmetic companies use tallow from rendered animals and their products. And if there's groundhog in your lipstick, it usually means it'll be six weeks until your next date. Well, damn. <laughs> I need a category. Okay, give it up for We're almost done with this game. Me where it hurts. Think you can handle six thousand one dollar bills? Put your tray in the upright position. It's time for takeoff. If the Hertz rental car company created an ad campaign around the weight measurement called Hertz, what would be the most appropriate slogan? We satisfy Hertz is a frequency. frequency. Hertz is the unit of measurement for wave frequency. Yep, one Hertz means one per second. A megahertz is like a stretch limo. Okay, pick a category. I ain't no science! Yeah! This category's known as Happiness is a Warm Cannon. You get 4,000 clams for this one. So get this, the Roman Catholic Church has a St. John, a St. Paul, and a St. George. What must the Beatles drummer do to be canonized as St. Ringo? Twist and shout prayers all day, work at least two magical mystery miracles, give all his money to Lady Madonna, or prove he is the walrus. Uh. Let's take a look at the right answer. <laughs> Two attested miracles, and the Catholic Church will nominate you for sainthood. Um, does raising Paul from the dead count? Okay, I need a category. And here we go. The end of this game. You're about 
about to embark on the attack. Hit your buzzer when you see two words on the screen that match. 2,000 bucks if you're right, 2,000 off if you're wrong. It's not so hard as long as you remember this. Remember the clue. It's got to be a match that fits this clue. Special delivery. Can you sign for the package? Good luck. Well, damn. What? I feel like I'm just gonna lose all my money with this because this appears to be all just movies. I don't know movies at all. All I can do is make educated guesses. Damn it, that one isn't meth either. That one's probably the shard, isn't it? That one sounds like a military operation, so. Or not? Hmm. Is that one meth? I don't know. Jesser, we need to cook the mythy. I don't know. I'm just gonna let, t let time run out on this one. I don't want to lose all my money. Because uh, I am not very good at this. And yet I still decided to do a stream going through the entire franchise, because yes. I love how one of the choices is literally just your mom. <laughs> yes, sir. We need to cookie the mythy. It is kind of funny. And for this one, I'm gonna go for the shard if it pops up again. Ah! Who would guessed? And that was actually elephant because of Dumbo. Not bad. Wow, you were the best guest we had this whole game. Really? Now do me a favor. Take a quick look to your left, now your right, and repeat after me. You don't know Jack! Damn. But you know what this means? Congratulations, player. You got the high score. Imagine how great you'd feel if you had actually beaten the pants off somebody else. Maybe you'd like to play again. Let me know. We broke 200k. I'm a better I'm a better husband. Good news. Yeah, we managed we managed to break two thousand dollars two hundred K dollars. Money. Sadly I cannot keep that money because it's not real. But it would be funny. And now next one. Which is louder, faster, funnier. Now I just need to do one of these. And do one of this. I probably don't need to remind you that it's a Saturday night and you're playing a computer game, do I? No? You're fully aware of this, huh? Okay, well, let me do my job then. How many players are there? Stop judging me. I thought this was a great way to spend my Saturday. Simple. Come on. Ah, poor you. You don't have any friends today. Oh, well, what's your name? Ah. First things first, pick which episode you want to play. 
see, do we have something interesting here? I'm not gonna pick the love one because I don't know this kind of stuff. You're talking to an aromantic asexual. Hey, stove. This one's for it's you. Not gonna pick itself, so you gotta hit return if you want to play this one. Now I clown car of trivia. Two, about time. Thirty he, he, seconds. Look, I had to make one old joke, okay? B, as in booty. It's important. Twenty seconds. All right, listen up. Take notes. As soon as you think you know the answer to a question, buzz in. Then you have to hit the number that corresponds. Can't believe the best of reference you know, Jack. True. All right, now get out of here. Here comes again, the good jingle. They should have kept this jingle when they when they came back as Jackbox games. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Okay, yeah, well, ah. Yeah. Okay, welcome to our Clown Car of Trivia episode. We got the facts just pouring and pouring out of the this car Is this the Jackbox? Here. Yes. Well, I gotta tell you, I hope they knock it off. Okay, it's good. Okay, then. Let's get to the game before they start up again. This is, this is what Jackbox <laughs> games did be before they became one, Jackbox huh? games. All right, pick a category. Well, what do we have here? Get it out of me! I'm gonna make this one a thousand bucks. Get the wax out of your ears, it's question time. Money. Which of these sentences demonstrates someone using contractions while having contractions? Get the car, honey! My water is- When two words really love each other, like I am and it is, and they get together and make new words, like I'm and it's, that's where contractions come from. Smart! People use them all the time. As in, you're not the father, Schmitty, and you'd better I mean, hey, you, you will recognize some of these, the these, Honey, these people like Schmitty. I love you, just give me another This guy's also the host of the Quiplash games. Give me a category. Open wide and get ready for Of Mouse and Men. I got $2,000 says you don't know this one. So, looks like the mouse has got a little competition down there in Florida. What with this Universal theme park? Which attraction might you expect from the owner of the Universal Studios Escape theme parks? The Oscar Mayer Meat Grindo World, the Philip Morris Rock and Roll Review, what? Seagram's Drunken Bumper Cars, or Ted Turner's Loopy Locomotive? Excuse me, what? I have no idea. So you don't lose any sleep over it. Universal Studios theme park is owned by my very close personal friends at Seagram's. Should be a lot of fun. I hear they're going to hire actors to walk around the park dressed like seven and sevens. Throw me a Seagram category. question I feel comfortable with. Understandable. Let's have a okay. big warm welcome Enjoy for if you married your cousin, you'd have problems too. How does two thousand dollars sound? So everyone Very here good, knows yes. Edgar Allan Poe's Give me the moon Raven, right? Creepy bird keeps mumbling nevermore. Well, considering what the narrator was about to do before the raven came gently tapping at his door, which of these products had he probably just taken? Advil, Viagra, Maalox, or Nitol? Before we ask, no, I'm not gonna pick option two. I'm not doing it. It would be funny, but I'm not doing it. Well, a little bird just told me, you stink. The narrator was nodding off to sleep when the raven came knocking on his door, so he might have just taken some Nitol. In fact, I'm sure it's in the original version of the poem. All I know is that if a freaking bird woke me up from a nice nap, the only words flying around the room would be original recipe or extra crispy. Category, please. We're calling this one. How to overtake the Earth? How to yeah. give away three thousand bucks some this time? Put it in it gear. Would be funny. Here we go. If the group of animals with the greatest sheer numbers on Earth were to rise up and conquer, what phrase would we Those shout to our plants, animals, you name it? Insects outnumber them all. 
smart. I am your new insect overlord. Take me to your leader. Or the nearest garbage dump. Hear me? Smart. All right, I need a category. Hey, bless smut with dime store. God damn it, it's another one of those. It's time for a Fiver Wish Press Fun. Let's see if you can make some sense out of this gibberish category. Warm hands. What do you say to 5,000 bucks to start this gibberish question off? Now here's the deal. The more time you take, the less cash you get. Okay, all you Wookiees. What does this rhyme with? Chewie's the man to search us. Hmm. First clue, it doubled the size of the United States. Ben Franklin's all right, type the answer and hit return. The Louisiana Purchase. Yep, the whole deal got rolling when Thomas Jefferson overheard some yeah. French official making some offhand remark about, and if you believe that, we have some swampland in Louisiana we'd like to sell you. Time to pick a category. For your viewing pleasure, Money. first ladies of beer. You get it right, you get 2K. See if you can wrap your skull around this. Because she was famous for refusing to serve alcohol in the White House, which first lady would make a great spokeswoman for O'Doul's? Mary Todd Lincoln, Eleanor Roosevelt, Lucy Hayes, or Nancy Reagan? Thank you, game, for being very American. Very cool. Sadly, I'm not. Let me show you what I would have picked. Lucy Hayes was referred to as Lemonade Lucy because she refused to serve alcoholic beverages at the White House. Hello, I'm Lucy Hayes. Even though I've been dead and buried for a hundred years, the stress of being the first lady still gets to me. That's when I like to kick back and relax with a nice frosty O'Doul. Throw me a category. May I introduce, the bright lights are freaking me out. You get it right, I'm putting mm -hmm. you up $2,000. Heads up, here it comes. Imagine a remake of the movie Bright Lights Big I City won. called Bright Lights Biggest City in Europe. Water. Where would you see Michael J. Fox's character snorting coke? Moscow, Berlin, Prague, or London? Hmm. You know that Berlin is like three million? Wait, I think out of those, I think it's London. London Bridge is falling down. Damn it, it wasn't. Oh, wait a minute, that's me falling down. <laughs> Why didn't you pick this one? Yeah, it's well Moscow. Eight and a half but yes, stay hydrated, gamers. Moscow Very important. Is the most populated European city, and it's a much funnier backdrop for a story about cocaine abuse than New York. I don't know why the producers didn't think of that. All right, pick a category. You know, this one's almost like I'm gonna finish my beverage. The category is, sometimes you feel like a moron. This one can get you $6,000. Okay, according to the folks at Home Enjoy, sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't, right? Well, if you sometimes feel like Newt, what do you feel like? An Egyptian goddess, an eel, a Mongolian clay hut, or a Chinese dog? Ha. Huh. I have no idea. Lots of trippy here today. Who would have guessed that in a trippy okay, game? Okay, now here's a good answer. In Egyptian mythology, Newt was a sky goddess who married the earth and produced a bunch of other gods. And if you sometimes feel like her, well then you're nuts. Category please. Hey, not bad. You chose a when did happen. Oh boy. Fun fact, this one is, I think, even exclusive to this game. All right, I'm going to show you an event, like this. A man first walks on the moon, then I'm going to list off seven other events, like this one. All you got to do for each one is tell me whether it happened before or after man first walked on the moon, or if it never happened at all. Buzz in when the correct answer is lit, you'll get $1,000. But be careful, if you buzz in when the incorrect answer is lit, you lose 1000 each time you're wrong. Hope you got all that. Let's do it. This when did happen is called Don't Hate Me Because I'm Beautiful. Well, look what we have here. A perfect when did happen for a doll like you.
Speaking of dolls, you must be familiar with this event. Mattel introduces Barbie. So, did this happen before Barbie hit the stores, after that, or did it never happen at all? That is way before. I have no idea what that is. I was going to time run on this one. Damn it. It was after. God damn it. That is absolutely before. Uh No idea. Well, I tried. Oh, okay, let's take a look at the damage. Well, that was kind of a lukewarm showing. Let's see what that does to your score. Not much. All right, then. Let's get back to the game. All right, I need a category. I believe this one is called Dum D Dum Dum. Two thousand bucks for a correct answer. All right, listen carefully and tell me mm -hmm. if you ask a dum dum what a dum dum is, what will his stupid answer be? A type of bullet, duh. A city in India, duh. A brand of lollipop, duh. Or a type of weightlifting equipment, duh. That's a dumb one. I think it's number three. Smart people know that Dum Dums is a brand of little lollipop, sucker. Yeah! A Dum Dum or is no. all of these things except weightlifting equipment. That's a dumbbell. Duh. The idea here was to pick oh. the stupid answer. Man, you just can't win for losing. Win. Look. What? Nothing. I'm incredibly dumb sometimes. Time to pick a category. Well. I guess that's what I get. Here's a question for you. Shake hands with philosophers in blue jeans. Heads up, this one's gonna be six thousand bucks. Forward. That's a lot March. of dollars. If Plato had entered a tight jeans contest, what would he have most likely said to his adoring onlookers? My butt is like Crisco, fat in the can. The unexamined butt is not worth shaking. When a butt comes along, you must whip it. Or I think, therefore I strut. God damn Greek philosophers. Ah. Here's the one you didn't pick. It was Plato who said the unexamined life is not worth living. To find out more about Plato's teachings or his ass, visit your local library. Give me a category. For your enjoyment, you're watching Pope TV. You want 6,000 bucks? Give me your right answer. All right, give me your best shot. a lot of moaners. According to Canonical Hours, which of the following shows could be a primetime hit? News at sunrise at 6 a.m., Days of Our Lives at 1 p.m., Just Shoot Me at 8 p.m., or The Tonight Show at 12 a.m.? Canonical Hours? What? Oh, it's 1 p.m. Canonical hours, prime is the first yeah. hour of the day, or 6 a.m. I want to hit the, the other button. But apparently there's quite a ratings battle. So, a uh, fun fact. I only got this question right because I accidentally hit the wrong button. <laughs> because I wanted to hit number two, because 1 p.m. is the 13th hour in the day, and that's a prime number. God damn it. This is what I get for... Being a dumbass. 10 out of 10. Between news at sunrise we'll take and it. world's scariest Absolutely. morning news over on Fox. All right, pick a category. We take those. This category is known as candy on the tip of your tongue. If you know this one, you're getting 4,000 bucks. All righty, seeing as this is a fill-in-the-blank, you're going to have to do some typing. So oh buzz in and please tell me, what's the name of this product? 
It's a candy bar that came out in the 80s. It's got a chocolatey outside and a crispy peanutty center. The name's weird, like thingamajiggy or something. What do you call it? Wasn't there like one that was really, that had like a, such a stupidly long name, like whatchamacallits or something? Even then I didn't know how to spell that, so. Oh man, no idea, huh? Ah, oh, this is gonna kill me. I'm gonna be up all night. Oh, come on. Whatchamacallit, I can see it right in Damn front it. of me. It's on the tip of my tongue. Ah, forget it. I have, I have no idea how to spell that, to be honest. Throw me a category. All right, give it up for girls are scary. We're talking 6K here, so pay attention. Flex those fingers, here it comes. Mm -hmm. Which of these is not the title of an actual hit song? Evil Woman, Bad News Woman, Black Magic Woman, or Witchy Woman? I've never heard of any of these. Yeah. So I'm not even gonna try. I wanna keep at least some dollars. You say we check out the right answer yeah i made this one up and i'll tell you it seems to me like there are some guys out there who have issues with powerful women not me though i'm completely comfortable with my hey uh schmitty can you speak up a little oh please don't hurt me please don't hurt me and here it is question 15. Welcome to the Jack Attack. When you see two words on the screen that match, hit your buzzer. If you're right, I'll give you 2,000 bucks. If you're wrong, you're going down 2,000. But don't forget, remember the clue. Mm -hmm. Not any old word's gonna do it. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Animals kids love. As opposed to the animals certain adults love. Hell yeah, that went well. Whoa, you jacked that attack! Let's see how you jacked up your final score! That's it! Hell yeah! Wow, that was an exciting game. It was a real thrill. You were the best player we've had by far. Now do me a favor, will you? Look to your left, now look to your right, now repeat after me. You don't know Jack! True. You're the number one name Money. on the high scoreboard. Think you can handle the responsibilities? You know, it's a lot like Miss America, except I'm not going to sing to you. If you'd like to play again while practicing your wave... No thanks, because we're done with Louder, Faster, Funnier. And that actually means we're done with all, with all the ones that I need Windows XP for. And that means... First of all, I'm going to... Thanks, Windows XP, for being epic. First off, gonna gonna edit this because we're going to the PlayStation, and I get to play this beautiful noise because yes, hell yeah. Goodbye, Windows XP. Time to power on my controller and grab my. Grab my beautiful chart because I don't know PlayStation buttons because I've never had a PlayStation in my life. But yes, here we go.
You know Jack, PS1. Nostalgia hitting me like a fucking train? You're very welcome. I mean, hey, this one, this one's from 1999. These, all of these games are old. Well, at least for now. Gordy, I thought you were gonna talk to the sponsors about this. 60 seconds. They should know. Kiss my... I'm sorry. Hey there, uh, let's see how you score on this first question. How many people are playing the game? Number one, one player. Hey, don't sweat it. One is better me. than nothing, right? Uh, all right, so you want the seven question the tournament? The long one. Thanks, you're a real peach there, babe. Okay, when you know an answer, buzz in. If you don't, don't. But if you buzz, you only got a few seconds to pick one of the choices or you're going to lose cash, okay? All right. Now watch carefully. You hit one of these buttons to buzz in. Then make your answer choice with one of these four buttons here. Okie dokie. Groovy. Ten seconds. Let's go to nine. Play. Okay, All right, we're rolling. graphics are good Seven. to go. Bring in the logo. Six. Five. Four. Three. My Little Doppelganger. Also available, My Little Split Personality and My Little Addiction. Hell yeah. I love these logos. They are so good. Spreading a little sunshine. And your drop wretched life. Damn. That's a bit rude. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Well, look at you playing Jack by yourself. Hey, Can I let you in on a little secret? You're gonna win. Now then. Well, there is one advantage to playing alone. You have plenty of room with a controller. You ready to go? Let's do it. Okay, pick a category. Hell yeah. This one's called Minor Characters in the Major Leagues. Thousand bucks if you get it. Heads up, here it comes. If the Los Angeles Dodgers baseball team signed literary character the Artful Dodger, at which aspect of the game would he excel? Rushing off home plate, batting cleanup, stealing bases? The Artful Dodger is one of Fagan's crew of young thieves in Oliver Twist. Hell yeah. He'd Smart. probably also be good at the pickoff and pinch hitting. Category, please. For your enjoyment, my horse-headed dad, of course, of course. You give me a I right think we literally answer, had this exact question earlier. Bucks. Let's oh, see God. how you handle this one. Which of the following might appear on a Father's Day card given to Mr. Ed? Your loving signet, Wilbur Jr., to the best dad a burrow ever had. We literally Eddie, had this question you, Pop, earlier. Your mule, Edward, or love on this special day, your hinny, Ted. I am in pain. I know we had this exact question earlier when we were on volume three. But that was a couple hours ago, so I have no clue. Bet you wish you'd pick this. A henny is the offspring of a stallion father and a donkey mother. Yeah, Mr. Red may be able to talk and read cards, but Brain let's see smooth. him put on his new Father's Day oh, well. tie. Okay, I need a category. And I believe this one's called I Learned to Give Hickeys from Pez. And it's worth $2,000 if you get this one That's right. That's quite some Flex those fingers, because here it comes. Which of these has never been a flavor for Pez? Chlorophyll, eucalyptus, menthol, or tobacco? Absolutely tobacco. Tobacco has never been a flavor for Pez. <laughs> Thank God. I mean, aren't those cute little Pez dispensers addictive enough? Fair point. I need a category. You can't stop at three. No, you gotta have four. Yeah. 
This category is known as, I'm going to kick your ass into space, and you pocket 2,000 bucks if you get this one. Hope you brought your suit. It's time to get wet. Oh, great. The signs of the Zodiac are brawling again. Based on how they're typically represented, which of these signs is best equipped to fight in a battle? Gemini, Sagittarius, Libra, or Aquarius? Didn't Sagittarius have, like, a bow or something? Sagittarius is the archer, and he's got a bow and arrow. Hell yeah. And hi, team. Welcome he to the stream. He some serious damage with that bow and arrow. He's also practical and romantic with just a touch of a temper. All right, hit me. I'm just going to pick this one because it's funny. May I introduce... What? Get it right, what? I'm handing over 2K. Okay, most of us are aware of the hearing loss suffered by the composer Ludwig van Beethoven. But did you know he's back and playing in your community orchestra? Say during a concert, Beethoven mishears the conductor and plays a chicken instead of a cello. If the music says for him to play pizzicato, what will he do to the chicken? He'll rub it lightly, he'll pluck it, he'll hit it with great force, or he'll pass a bow across it. Yeah, pizzicato is plucking, I think. Pizzicato is the plucking of strings yes. on an instrument. In pets. Awesome. Good thing you see, Heavy, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. That would have gotten him arrested. Okay, pick a category. I'm constantly crossing things. It's just a note that I have on my desk of where the buttons are on the PlayStation controller. Say hello to... Blame it on Thing. How does $2,000 sound? Think fast. If Pugsley from the Adams family started leaving pug marks around the mansion, what would be true? He should use a coaster, he needs mm. to wear a diaper, he's turned into a tiger, or Gomez will have to post bail. I have no idea. Let's take a look at the right answer. Pug marks are another name for tiger tracks. The other clue that Pugsley has mm. turned into a tiger is that he stalked, ambushed, and disemboweled Wednesday. Again. Category, please. Open wide and get ready for... The fifth little piggy has a bladder problem. $1,000 at stake on this one. Hey, you know that children's nursery rhyme about this little piggy? Well, what did the third little piggy do? Eat roast beef, go to market, squeal all the way home, or had none. I have literally never heard of that nursery rhyme, so, uh, yeah. I have no idea. My brain is incredibly smooth. Hey, got a minute? Take a look at a right answer. The third little piggy ate roast beef. Yeah, in a lesser known nursery rhyme sequel, a bunch of little cows exact revenge by holding a pork chop feast. Okay, I need a category. And wow, been going for four hours already. That's a long time. I'm but wondering somebody I don't have anything here right now. The translation. Looks like this one's going My for a posture thousand is bucks. fine. Okay, listen up. Imagine Actually, the Greek mathematician Archimedes was your high school principal. If Principal Archimedes yeah. wanted to test how dense his students were, which experiment might calculate their density? Having them pass gas into balloons, slicing them in half to measure their width, submerging them in water and weighing them, or dropping them from a cliff and timing them. According to Archimedes' principle, the Pets. density of an object can awesome. be calculated by seeing how much water it displaces in order to measure its volume, then Yay. weighing it. I don't think I want to be around when he's inserting the thermometers to find out how cool the kids are. I need a category. Aloha, question number nine. Hell yeah. Okay, give it up for... Hey now, keep it clean. $3,000 for this one. Let's rock. If Comet Cleanser really could be used to clean comets, what might their slogan be? Keeps your Coronas looking stellar. Puts the light in lithosphere. Makes non-luminous chunks of rock shine. Or turns dirty snowballs into clean snowballs. That would only help if you wanted to put a shine on the buckle of your asteroid belt. Darn. Here's what you should have picked. 
The bulk of a comet is made up of ice, dust, and rocks, and is commonly referred to by astronomers as a dirty snowball. So what is the big deal about comets, then? My mom always told me to stay away from the dirty snowballs. All right, hit me. Yeah, I knew there was something about you I liked. You just chose a three-way. Well, damn. Okay, listen up. This is pretty simple. You're going to see a three-way like this one. When the correct three-way member is lit up, buzz in. If you make a match, you pack in a thousand bucks. Money. But watch out. If you're wrong, you'll lose a grand every time you're wrong. All right, let's get this party rolling. This lovely three-way goes by the category of You win some, you handsome. Your three-way involves the delightful handsome lads Isaac, Taylor, and Zach. Time to bust uh, a move. Damn it. Good luck. Ow. Damn it. I don't know any of these. I'm just guessing. <laughs> I'm just guessing at this point. Damn it. I don't know any other presidents. Except Obama. Wow. That's all. Now catch your breath while we see how you did. Hey, uh, you do know that the concept was to make more matches than misses, right? Well, I know. Let's the damage I'm not good at this. Score. Okay, either you finished round one, or you have another round to go. You know, depending on how you look at these things. Now remember, everything in round two is worth double, so heads up. More motor for me. Hopefully. Okay, pick a category. Yeah. Now serving big letters. This one can net you $6,000. That's a okay, lot. Okay, let's suppose that in an attempt to attract more film studios, every American city decides to construct a large white sign near their city, like the one that looms over Hollywood. If each of the new signs suffered the same fate as the original Hollywood sign, which one of the following might you see outside a major U.S. city? Honolulu, Das, York, or Cleve? Let me guess, one of the one of the letters just fell off. I don't know. The correct answer is <laughs> the original sign actually said Hollywood Land. The part of the sign that said land was destroyed in a mudslide and was never replaced. So you would see a sign reading Cleve looming over the city of Cleveland. However, if the town were known as Cleve, it would attract a slew of illiterate serial killers. Category please. The selection is pains in the neck. Hello, we're talking six grand, so pay attention. Put your Another expensive in the one, position. wow. It's time for takeoff. If you've got a crick in your neck, it'll hurt. If you've got Francis Crick in your neck, what'll he do? Plug your trachea with a hockey puck, make a documentary about your larynx, analyze the, the DNA in, the in your spine, or make string art out of your jugular. You'll want to put some ice on that. Damn it! See, now, I could have given you some cash if you pick this. Francis Crick was one of the co-discoverers of the double helix structure of DNA. So oh, so that's what they meant. Yours. He should at God least give you a quick shiatsu massage while he's back there. Okay, I need a category. Swing your partner one in three. A do si do for the big 13. 
shake hands with. Maybe they should put soda machines in the morgue. Two thousand mm-hmm. bucks for a correct answer. Hey, That'd be I good. hate to be the one who brings Thank up you childhood myself a traumas, but imagine you came home one day to find your goldfish floating belly up in the bowl. Given their 70s advertising slogan, what would be the best drink to pour into the bowl to revive your dead goldfish? The high Dr. Pepper 7-Up or Coca-Cola? What? Excuse me? Snow. Bet you wish you'd do not. In the 70s, the advertising for Coca-Cola was Coke adds life. So if this is true, it might bring your goldfish back from its watery grave. Although with their uh, 90s slogan, always Coca-Cola, well, I don't know, I'm, I'm a little freaked out about a goldfish having eternal life. Well, I guess so, and that's how be. You might be able to tell that I've been live for over four hours. This one likes to go by toys you want to throw against the wall. You get 4,000 oh, well. clams for this one. Just step up and take a swing at this one. If the makers of Rubik's Cube were to branch out and make a Rubik's dodecahedron, how many colors would the new toy have? Three, seven, ten, I have one of those. It's called a Mega Minx, and they have 12 sides. The dodecahedron has 12 sides. <laughs> Man, I bet it'll be a bitch telling the mauve side from the lavender side. I All never right, actually learned how to me. solve the Mega Minx, but yes, that's a real puzzle, and I have one of those. They're pretty cool. I got some good news for you. You're about to move into a dis or dad. Hell yeah. This dis or dad's category name is Fire Breathing Politicians. Okay, I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one, I need you to tell me whether it's the name of a famous world leader or one of Godzilla's enemies. As the names appear, if it's oh, a famous geez. world leader, hit the square. If it's an enemy of Godzilla, press the circle. And press the triangle button if you want to skip. Each correct answer will net you 1,000 bucks. And you'll lose 1,000 if you get it wrong or if you oh, don't geez, get I'm gonna try my all. best, but yeah, this all game is old. Right, let's put 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go in. Rodan, world leader. Gandhi. Hirohito. Mothra. Gidra. Khrushchev. One more. Thatcher. Oh, yes, you rock. Check it out. I'm honestly surprised okay, that I boss, aced that. Holy shit. On. Okay, pick a category. Like, damn. That went way better than expected. This little number is known as buying a Jack Lemon. $2,000 says you don't know this one. Okay, see if you can solve this wacky mathematical equation. Wisecracking crime fighter plus late model Pontiac equals the Brett Maverick Maverick, the pink Cadillac Cadillac, the Ace Ventura Ventura, or the Ford Fairlane Fairlane. I don't know cars. In case you're wondering, the Ventura is a car made by Pontiac. Ace Ventura is a smart ass detective. And for $20 million, you better hope the Ace Ventura gets great gas mileage. Category, please. On the big bayou in Louisiana, quest on 17. I love this. The category is, you're so vain. How does $4,000 grab you? Put it in gear, because here we go. If Bonfire of the Vanities author Tom Wolfe had been present at the historical event after which the book is named, Pain. what could he have experienced? Seeing someone being burned at the stake, having copies of his book burned, putting out a fire at the Vanity Mansion, or roasting marshmallows with Queen Victoria. Damn it. We're back at questions that I don't know how to answer. Oh well. Let's take a look at the right answer. In the 15th century, the people of Florence were urged by the cleric Savonarola to burn all their books and other worldly trappings in an event known as the Bonfire of the Vanities. And if a certain hmm. female co-star went back in time with him, maybe there would have been another roast called the Bonfire of the Melanies. Okay, I need a category. A 
18. Here we have We're getting close to done with this game. Hell yeah. $2. One right answer and $6,000 head your way. Uh, let's see if you can wrap your head around this. Look, honey, it's that great video about the brave Scottish guy in the sport his ancestors invented. What video is this couple renting? Turf on golf, the curling, bobsled Roy, or brave charts? You know, it wasn't charts like a long darts. No, it wasn't. It's was probably golf. But I'm not sure. Hey, got a minute? Take a look at a right answer. Yeah, we're already way off golf, schedule. Dirf is a Scottish word I mean, hey, it was only a very rough one to begin with. Which leads me to my next question. What is the word for, I'm gonna shoot my television if I have to watch Tim Conway do that dwarf bit one more time? Oh, well, at least I'll tell you what order we'll do these. I need a category. Yeah, that's where you don't know, Jack. That's true. The category, I don't. One holiday at a time. But hey, arcade. Up straight. This one's worth six. How many of these games you've already gone through? Yep, right, it's quite a few. Time for a holiday question. What holiday best fits in this sequence? Mother's Day, Memorial Day, We literally Day, had Election this earlier. Day, Day, Thanksgiving so Day, this is a free one. Presidents. Mother's Day is always a Sunday. Memorial Day is Monday. Election Day Tuesday, and Thanksgiving. We literally had this question Thursday, earlier when you mentioned know, Volume Three. Ash Wednesday. <laughs> We take nice those. Nice job. Guess you know your ash from a hole in the ground. All right, hit me. Let's see how many you have to go. Have to go. After this, we still have Coming eight more games you. to go. Saturday morning physics lessons. So we're more than it's halfway done. That's pretty cool. If you get this one right, heads up, here it comes. Assuming Speed Racer wasn't just talking trash when he named his car, how fast could the Mach 5 go? Five times the speed of light? Mach 1 is the speed of sound, Mach 2 yes. is twice the speed of sound, and so on. The I mean, hey, the projected time for this was six and a half hours, so... Cool ch -ch 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 ...sound it makes when it jumps. God, I love that. And here we go. Okay, pick a category. Time for the attack. When you see two words that match, hit your buzzer. You get it right, you get 2,000 in the bank. Get it wrong, I'm making a withdrawal of 2,000. Just one more thing to remember. Remember the clue. The two words that match have to fit this clue. Kiss my base. No, really, kiss it. You know, for good luck. Oh, come on. All right, fine. Now I need now I need no musicians or what? God damn it. Ah! Anyway, call, Paul McCartney was the Beatles. There we go. Uh, I don't know music. I don't know no musicians. I'm in pain. <laughs> More pets. Or I sim agua. So yeah, I might just sit back and drink some water because I have no idea. <laughs> like I literally know no basically no musicians. But consider the following. Stay hydrated, gamers. It's very important. Damn it! Eh. You cannot contain me, you fool! You should be valid answers. You should be valid answers for having more guitar here. I mean, yeah. But I don't know any of, the, of these musicians. Literally the only... Literally the only bass player I know is Adam Neely. That's it. I only know Adam Neely. 
Also, I don't think Unleashed Anemia works on this because uh, that one is on this, not on this scene because I made a whole new scene for this. Wait, welcome back, Snowbolt. And thank you again for those gift subs because I really appreciate it. Anyways. Ah! Damn it! That was the only one with the name Van, Van Halen that I saw. Because it wasn't Van Halen like that band where every single one was called Van Halen. I guess I'm misremembering stuff. Is it for some fun streams? Yay. Guess we get to vibe to the music until the game decides, fuck it, this is over. How there we go. So bad when you're playing by yourself? Let's see where you ended up. That's Damn. The game. Player, I couldn't have done a better job myself. Wow. Then, I wasn't playing by myself, was I? But seriously, player, and I Come don't on. say this to just everybody. Come on, dude. Just come on. I tried, okay? I tried my best. Damn it. Very nice work, people. Let's get those commercials 16, going. Sixteen thousand. Raul, hon, we doing this again? Empty scoreboard. You know what that means? You get to feel good about yourself until somebody else plays the game. Enter your handle, homeboy. Me. Ah, oh, gosh, that's a pretty name. Hey, if you want to play again, just let me know whenever and you're ready, all right? Next up is Mach 2, Our and the new total score is... Well, not anymore. Now there's Chemikids, the new parenting alternative... $240,607. What, what is Chemikids? Chemikids is a state of... And now we power off the, the console and pick the next one. Mach 2. Also for the PlayStation. This one is actually a fully original one, not just a port, uh, no, 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 not just enhanced, enhanced port of You Know Jack Volume 3. So this one actually has its own questions. <laughs> and has a cool aesthetic. 60 seconds. How many people are we playing today? This one has a super futuristic aesthetic and I love it. Player. Thank you. Gameplay functions as follows. When you have located the correct answer to a question, buzz in to indicate your desire to answer. Then choose the button that corresponds. I refuse to, to skip these instructions answer. in all the games because I like them. These buttons serve as your buzzers. And here they even have the 3D model the answer, of the goddamn the PlayStation right. controller. Five. Now loading. And because it skips like the intro cinematic, and that is important. Like, look at this. Th th this is a cool futuristic aesthetic. How can you not love this? Hell yeah. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Hey, everybody, welcome to You Don't... Oh. It's just you. You know, if you invested in another controller or two, you might have a few more friends. Come hey! In the backyard. Come on, Schmitty. Hey, from a dead me. Two electric bikes. Wow. Hey, Jaden. This category is a clean toilet joke. $1,000 at stake on this one. Money! Well, 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 the toilet humor episode. One of my favorites, and I'm sure you're all excited. But let's savor this, shall we? Let's start out nice and easy. What did the toilet bowl say to the toilet tank? It's, making not, it's not making fun of me for playing on a Saturday night, that's true. For showers and showers. Your ball cocks up, I feel you draining. Or, you're full of crap. The toilet tank contains the water that rinses the bowl on each flush. People who I mean, hey, the PlayStation the games, they don't know what day it is. So they can't make those jokes. Five minutes of work. Now that's funny. Two. The category's gonna be photographers. With me on the John, get my good side. You get it right, I'm putting you up $2,000. Money! Okay, remember that ad for Candy's shoes? 
The one with Jenny McCarthy sitting on Damn the Damn it, toilet. now they're playing on it. Yeah, they, they're not walk, a very talking shy about ads gal, again. That Jenny McCarthy, huh? Anyway, tell me this. Considering her famous Rolling Stone cover, what's most likely in Jenny McCarthy's colon? A bunch of carrots, a hot dog with mustard, a baked banana, or a pickle with chocolate syrup? What? So you don't lose any sleep over it. Rolling Stone featured Miss McCarthy squirting mustard on a hot dog, crowning her the girl with the most mustard. Boy, isn't it really lame to have to resort to toilet humor to make a joke? I'll tell you if... Hey, who left this fudge on my desk? Gee, thanks, guys. I have no idea who that is. Mm, it's... Oh, my God! No! Three. I'm calling this one. Oh, that was one heck of a download. You get this one, you pocket 2,000 money. Here's the question. Suppose your 2,000 flushes does what we feared computer applications would do. Oh, the Y2K 2000. bug. What will happen when your toilet reaches the crisis of Y2K? Yep, we all freaked out. Can't wait for the crisis of, 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 of Y2K38. As instead of 2,000. So, I guess that means I'd get an extra 99 or so flushes to use, huh? It's a good thing, too, because with this new burrito place around the corner, my trips to the bathroom are double, hell, sometimes triple flushers. Congratulations, Schmitty. Get ready, because you're going to play a When Did Happen. All right, I'm going to show you an event like this. Then I'm going to list off seven other events, like this one. All you got to do for each one is tell me whether it happened before or after man first walked on the moon. I love the aesthetics of this game. At all. It's very buzz nice. In when the correct answer is lit, you'll get $1,000. But be careful. If you buzz in when the incorrect answer is lit, you lose 1000 Each time you're wrong. All right, let's get this party rolling. The category for this when it happened is my rectum, tis of thee. Okay, nobody can say we're not well, free with the farts around here, but it wasn't always so that. much toilet For humor. For example, maybe you remember this horrific event from 1974 when OPEC made oil crazy expensive. The United States suffers through dramatic gas shortage. All right, tell me if this happened before the U.S. gas crisis, after the crisis, or did it never happen at all? Damn it! If the Southwest Airlines even exist, I don't know. This one doesn't exist. Huh. Money! Hey, Aaron. Welcome to stream. Oh, Money. Wow, that was a lot of fun, huh? Let's see what happens. Yeah, not bad. Not exactly stellar. Let's see what that does for you. Well, I don't know about you, but I really enjoyed that. Shall we get back to the game? Five. This one's called, I go faster with splitters in my butt. You get it right, you get 2K. Hey, have you seen these wooden toilet seats? They feel kind of weird and give you splitters? Considering the sport John Wooden was known for, in what place should they honor his memory by installing Wooden John? A professional football stadium, an Olympic swimming pool. John Wooden, I only know John Madden. Basketball arena. John Madden. Football. But yes, I'm going to take a sip of water. I could have given you some cash if you picked this one. John Wooden was a legendary coach of the UCLA basketball program, and get this, won the NCAA championship seven years in a row. Hey, you think an honorary outhouse is bad? You should have seen what they handed out at the final performance of figure skater Dick Buttons. Oh, no. Six. 
Coming at you when the mafia blows up your toilet. $3,000 for this one. All right, give me your best shot. Considering the events in the film The Godfather, what would be most appropriate to ask Godfather to be Michael Corleone when he comes out of the bathroom? Find your pistol okay? How's the old bone? Did you drain your pipe or were you mm -hmm. able to handle your hose? I don't know the film The Godfather. I know that it exists, but that's it. Uh, does this ring a bell? In the movie The Godfather, young Michael Corleone gets a gun that's hidden behind a toilet tank in a restaurant, and then he uses it on the head waiter. Hey, that's what they hmm. get for running out of toilet paper. Interesting. Seven. Up next, mmm, corn. How does $2,000 sound? Put it in gear, because here we go. What gasoline additive could you make from the corn in your poop? Ammonia, tetramethyl lead, ethanol, or propane? Absolutely ethanol. Ethanol is a gasoline additive made from corn. <laughs> Fuel from corn in your poop. Heck, why don't we all just go grazing in the Midwest for a while, and then we don't have to worry about OPEC jacking up the price on fuel anymore. Because you can make ethanol from literally any plant oh, stuff. I call, I love this urinal. 2,000 bucks for a correct answer. See if you can wrap your skull around this. If hockey rules also applied to conduct in the men's room, what could you not do with the urinal puck? Shoot it in the air, kick it, hit it with your stick, or close your fist around it. In hockey, you can knock the puck down with your hand, but you can't clench it in your fist. Now, goalies can grab it for a little while, but even they gotta let go of it real quick. Yeah, that makes sense. Hey, but don't fret. Fortunately, this is just a made-up scenario. Legally, we can still hold urinal pucks nice and tight for as long as we want. Nine. The category is, what an unusually fragrant commode you have. I'm, gonna I'm give concerned. Away 3, bucks this time. I mean, hey. Heads up, here it comes. If you want the toilet water, this is the toilet bathroom, humor episode, like Schmitty said at the beginning. Is the perfume called toilet water? With what should you fill the bowl? Seven percent fragrant spit, seventeen percent fragrant urine, twenty-five percent fragrant feces. This is this is this is the toilet humor episode. So uh, yeah, lots of toilet humor. Okay, now here's a good answer. Toilet water has a 15 to 18 percent concentration of fragrance. Makes you wonder what kind of moron came up with the idea of calling perfume toilet water. Hey everyone, I got an idea. Let's name it after a bowl full of pee. Hey, look at me. I'm a marketing genius. How about crap water or whiz juice? Poo drippings? Damn. All right, sit up straight. It's time oh. for a kawinky dink. <laughs> okay, here's how you play the game. I'm gonna show you different pairs that are connected somehow. And there's gonna be a series of items whipping by that may or may not. Oh hey, it's roadkill. But now with a different name. The item correctly joins the two. You'll get a thousand bucks if you're correct. But choose wisely. Every mistake is gonna cost you a grand. When this is bath and water. Yep, that's true. Shot at winning some bonus cash. If you want a shot at that bonus, pay attention to all the correct. That would be more more category for more accurate translation in the sense of the word. Let her rip. You got it? I hope so, because we're rolling. Prostitution light and comedy color. What have they got in oh. common? Is this the exact same we got from the other one? Punch to the back and painful stone. This is literally the exact same that we had in the ride. God damn. They were recycling stuff. This is literally a recycled question from earlier. Spotted horse and exploding Ford car. Yeah. Come on. There we go. Ozzy Sabbath and Russia Sea. Yep, time to make a lot of money. Lots of money. Shade of blue and military branch. Come on. There we go. Skippy bikini and novelty item silly blank.
There we all go. All right, let's take a shot at the bonus. What do all the correct answers have in common? Are They're they beans. Party on Grab the toilet paper. They're all beans. beans. Yep. Oh yeah, rack it up. It's yep. musical fruit to my ears. Perfect. Now see if you can top it off with a bonus. Player one, you're a winner all around. How about that? Let's get out of here. Yeah, that was literally one that we had in the right earlier. Eleven. Can't believe they would recycle questions like this. Sanitary Roman emperors. I'm gonna make this one a thousand insert, bucks. Insert Let's beans see how you this one. related thing here. Actions in the Bible. Which bathroom reminder would Pontius Pilate not need? Close the door. Lift the seat. Give it a shake or wash your hands. I have no idea. Why didn't you pick this one? When he condemned Jesus to crucifixion, Pontius Pilate literally washed his hands in front of the mob. Actually, the Gospels vary a bit on this one. You see, in Matthew, he washes his hands, but in John, he shaves his face. And of course, in Luke, he flosses and rinses with a... Twelve. Twelve. Category's gonna be me, 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 like to break wind. Get this one right, you get a grand. Okay, so maybe your parents frown on bathroom sounds. Hey, that's how parents are. But if you have a gift, for God's sakes, go for it. Say you have a wonderfully clear, resonant fart. If the three tenors invite you to join them in concert, who will not smell your vibrato? Plus, Damn it. Domingo, Luigi Perandello, Luciano. I Pavarotti, don't know who those are. Ferreris. I don't know any of these. So I'm not even gonna try. Whoa, you stink. Next time light a match or something, huh? Luigi Perandello is a famous writer. The three tenors are Domingo, Pavarotti, and Carreras. And now, ladies and gentlemen, my own three tenors. <laughs> Thank you, Schmitty. Very cool. I'm calling this one. Hold your nose and bear it. Let's see what you'll do for a thousand bucks. Money. Okay, I think it's been pretty well established what the proverbial bear does in the proverbial woods, right? Okay, then. If that proverbial bear were to sh on your woods, what would have the heady funk of bear? Sh your golf clubs, your pool cues, your badminton rackets, or your swim trunks? Huh. I, I don't know. What do you say we check out the right answer? As any golfer could tell you, you got your irons and you've got your woods. But I say if you're that far in the rough that hmm. a bear is all over your golf clubs, f it. Drop another ball. Number 14. This one's called Butt Jokes Throughout History. You give me a right answer, I'll give you 3,000 bucks. Okay, so you say you're a little constipated, and nothing the doctor gives you seems to be unplugging you. Because he was able to solve the riddle of the Sphinx, who might be able to solve the riddle of your sphincter? Agamemnon, Sophocles, Prometheus, or Oedipus? God damn it. So much toilet humor. Ah. You want to see what the smart money says? As a young man, Oedipus solved the legendary riddle of the Sphinx. And he'll probably solve your riddle with a bran muffin and an extra tall glass of Metamucil. And here we go. Welcome to the Jack Attack. When you see two words on the screen that match, hit your buzzer. If you're right, I'll give you 2,000 bucks. If you're wrong, you're going down 2,000. But don't forget, remember the clue. Not any old word's gonna do it. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Different kinds of BMs. You mean there are other BMs besides slow and painful? Don't forget to flush. Help. <laughs> That's a Bloody Mary. There we go. Uh, the Boston Marathon, I guess.
I have no idea. Yeah. I'm guessing sometimes works. There we go. More Mona for me. Bunch. And that should be it. Probably. Or not. There we go. Nicely done, huh? Let's see what you did to your score. Ooh, that's good. Way to go, my friend. Like I always say, it doesn't matter whether you win or lose as long as you get to play with yourself. Now turn off the freaking PlayStation and write this down somewhere. You don't know, Jack! True. So we're at 272k. That's pretty good. Eh. And close to five hours. The high school board was human only. Congratulations on being the first to enter. Please enter your name. Okay. It's me! Perfect. Hi, Your name I'm Steel Dakota, President of the National Gun Please Association, and I'm here to, to tell you about yet another reason why you desire. need to protect your right to bear arms. Harry. Consider this all too familiar scenario. Well, yes. Eh. Yeah, nice kitty. You're a good kitty cat. Now that we have this done. Where, where, where'd you get that AK-47? Huh? Hey, hey, don't be crazy! Hey, hey, put that down! Wait! <laughs> Whether it's a dangerous home invader or a heavily armed house cat, America, protect your rights and protect yourself. Cool. Cat with Mr. gun. Mr. Anyways, time to power off the PlayStation and go for another break. But most importantly, before we go on this break, important announcement. We've reached the part of the stream where the language is going to shift. Because we have reached the, we've reached the part where it's time to play the four German versions, which means for those stream language will swap to German, because that would make sense. Now that I think about it, that was probably an awful idea because it's almost 1am. But anyways, that's what I'm gonna do, because that was the plan. So, let me quickly edit the stream info to reflect that. There we go. But yes, I'll I'll go on like a on like a five minute five minute break, maybe a little bit longer because it's been four hours. I'm gonna grant myself a little bit of something to eat. If in life the close to five hours, I need a little a little snack, and you should grab yourself a snack too. And then we'll be back with more you don't know Jack in German that time. Feel free to not understand anything. <laughs> but yeah, see you in a bit. Whoop.
Ja, moin. Da bin ich wieder. Und jetzt auf Deutsch. Wer hätte es gedacht? Herzlichen Glückwunsch, ihr habt jetzt absolut keinen Plan, wovon ich rede. And with that, I'm just gonna say this again in English, because, yes. Since we're about to dive into the four German editions, I will also just be talking in German because it makes sense. So yes, uh, feel free to return in, uh, like an hour or so, because then we'll be done with these and then we'll be moving on to the Mordek titles. And we'll be back in English then. But yes, until then, I'll be swapping to German. So, dann wollen wir mal. Ah ja, der erste deutsche Titel. Der einzige deutsche Titel, von dem ich keine Version, physische Version da habe. Ich habe die, ich habe die physische Version von 2, 3 und 4 bei mir auf dem Regal stehen. Ist ziemlich cool. Aber ja, dann wollen wir mal. Ja, nur kurz. Ich meine, mir ist es wurscht. 60 Sekunden. Oh. Ähm, Cookie? Ich bin hier. Besorgst ja. du mir die Namen? Oh, ist so, dann wollen wir mal, ne? Naja, in jedem Fall. Äh, es gibt Leute, die meinen, dass Morgenstund Gold im Mund hat. Ich gehöre nicht zu denen. Alles klar? Wie viele Spieler haben wir denn? Es ist fast 1 Uhr morgens. <lacht> äh, Sie spielen allein, sehe ich das richtig? Ja, yep, das bin ich. Können Sie uns nicht Ihren Namen verraten? Okay, noch was. Und die okay, lange okay. Nummer. Auf geht's. Die Spielertaste ist der Buchstabe B, wie äh, Bauchansatz. Immer wieder toll, <lacht> diese Einleitung. Und zwar sofort, es gibt kein 20 Sekunden. Okay, 20 Sekunden noch. Schön aufpassen jetzt und nicht vergessen. Wenn Sie mhm. denken, Sie wissen die Antwort auf eine Frage, drücken Sie erst Ihre Spielertaste und dann die Nummer der betreffenden Antwort. Alles klar? Das kriege ich hin. 10 Sekunden. Okay, Leute, seid ihr bereit? Desktop weg. Also, ich bin bereit, glaube ich. Es ist so verdammt ungewohnt, Deutsch, und Deutsch zu sprechen, während ich streame. Das passiert fast nie. BMG. Ja, nice. Wann machen die denn hier? Sie haben auf alles eine Antwort? Damit ist jetzt Schluss. You don't know Jack. Und hier ist sie wieder, die Quizshow bei der Hochkultur. Das Spiel ist so alt, das ist, das ist alles noch ein Mark. Hallo, Ach, du Kacke. herzlich willkommen bei unserer Show. Sie spielen allein? Sehr gut, dann haben wir keine Zeugen. Ja, keine Zeugen. Außer die 14 Leute, die gerade okay, zugucken. Eine Kategorie bitte. Und diese Kategorie heißt Hanuta und das Übersinnliche. 2000 Mark ist unser Angebot für die richtige Antwort. Das Wussten ist eine Menge. Sie, dass Hanuta für Haselnuss-Tafel steht? Ja. Angenommen, ein Hanuta hätte die Kräfte, die Haselnussholz zugeschrieben werden. Was könnte man damit machen? Verborgene Schätze orten, Golfbälle 500 Meter weit schlagen, unterirdische Wasserläufe finden oder nach Verzehr ewig leben. Ja, das ist die Wünschelroute, ne? Man könnte unterirdisches Wasser finden. Jawohl! Und das wäre sehr praktisch, um die klebrigen Waffelreste aus dem Mund zu kriegen. Eine Kategorie bitte. Und die Kategorie für diese Frage heißt Hässliche kleine Männchen. 2000 Merker gibt es für die richtige Antwort. Tja, ich komme mal wieder nicht auf den Namen. Vielleicht können Sie mir ja helfen. Wenn ja, Knöpfchen drücken, Lösung eintippen und Return-Taste betätigen. Alles klar? Verdammt. Tja, der Typ, den ich meine, war so klein und schrumpelig. Mhm. Und er war ein Außerirdischer und wollte eigentlich hier Pflanzen sammeln. Ja, und ab und zu, wenn ihn was aufgeregt hat, dann fing irgendwas in ihm an zu leuchten. Ja, und dann wollte er immer telefonieren. Tja, wie hieß jetzt dieser Typ? Okay, hopp jetzt. Tipp. E.T. Der war's. E.T. Ich frage mich manchmal, ob der mit diesem Leuchtfinger noch andere Sachen drauf hatte, als Wunden zu heilen. Wahrscheinlich schon. Welche Kategorie darf sein? 
Frage 3. Und die Frage läuft unter der Kategorie Kapitel 1 Stirb. Für die richtige Antwort winken nee, 3000 Nee, da habe ich gar keine Mal. Lust drauf. Vielleicht später. Hier ist die Frage. Stellen Sie sich vor, die Autoren des Totenbuches würden in einer Buchhandlung ihr Werk signieren. Wer würde wohl für ein Autogramm Schlange stehen? Katholische Exorzisten aus Italien, Ägypter aus der Pharaonenzeit, Totengräber aus dem Mittelalter oder Voodoo-Priester aus Akte X? Ich bin mir ziemlich sicher, dass das hier nichts mit Death Note zu tun hat. Also, ja gut, ich habe keine Ahnung. Weniger hirntote Kandidaten hätten das getippt. Hey. Das Totenbuch war im alten Ägypten eine Art Reiseführer ins Jenseits. Muss ja gleich so gemein sein. Kategorie wählen bitte. Na gut, dann machen wir mal. Und hier unsere Kategorie. Eigenheim und kalter Krieg. Okay, allzu schwer wird's nicht. 1000 Mark gibt's für die richtige Antwort. Okay, yeah. aufgepasst. Sagen wir mal, Sie sind ein verrückter Chemieprofessor. Sie ziehen um und möchten, dass alles in Ihrem neuen Haus den Namen von chemischen Elementen trägt. Was kaufen Sie sich nicht? Den eisernen Vorhang Messing. Messing. Messing Tür klinken. Messing ist eine Legierung. Messing ist eine Legierung aus den Elementen Kupfer und Zink. Ha. Welche Kategorie darf's denn sein? Diese Kategorie trägt den Namen Holzauge sei wachsam. Und dafür gibt es 2000 Mark. Sie kennen vielleicht den Ausdruck mit Argusaugen wachen. Wenn Sie Argusaugen im ursprünglichen Sinne des Wortes hätten, welche Aussage über Sie würde dann zutreffen? Dass Sie einen Röntgenblick haben, dass Sie in die Zukunft sehen können, dass Sie 100 Augen haben oder dass Sie Argusadleraugen haben? Hm. Das ist eine verdammt gute Frage. Ich habe keine Ahnung. Also, hi, Warrior Cat. I'm just gonna say this in English real quick. Hi. You've joined while I'm playing the German game, so I will speak German too. Das wäre die Antwort gewesen. Oops. Der mythologische Riese Argus hatte 100 Augen. <lacht> Was glauben Sie, wie sich seine Krankenkasse gefreut hat, als er eine Brille brauchte? Dann wählen Sie mal eine Kategorie. Wir wünschen dir alles Gute mit der Frage Nummer 6. Und die Kategorie wäre, das riecht Wunderbar. auch nach Blasphemie. Für die richtige Antwort gibt es 2000 Mark. Okay, Finger aufs Knöpfchen, hier kommt die Frage. Mal angenommen, im Garten Eden wäre damals ausschließlich Mohn gewachsen. Welche Opium. Der Doch, Opium wird aus Mohn gewonnen. Die ja, Frage bleibt, verdammt. wie viel man davon rauchen muss, um mit Schlangen zu reden. Ich habe die Frage Leider nicht richtig gelesen. Nicht dafür entschieden. Aua. Kokain, denn das wird aus der Coca-Pflanze gewonnen. War auch gut so, dass es das nicht gab, denn wo hätte Adam eine künstliche Nasenscheidewand hernehmen wollen? Okay, wählen Sie eine Kategorie. Aha, es ist wieder Reimtime. Och nee. Und jetzt ist es Zeit für Ritschmalz lechts Oro. Die Kategorie für diese Schnickschnackfrage? Fußball und das Ende der Zeit. Und der maximale Gewinn für diese Schnickschnackfrage beträgt 5000 Mark. Sie haben 30 Sekunden Zeit, um das Rätsel zu lösen, aber alle eineinhalb Sekunden ziehe ich ein bisschen Geld ab. Also antworten Sie so schnell Sie können. Achtung, lassen Sie sich nicht von der Interpunktion ablenken. Mit welcher Liedzeile reimt sich dieser Stoßseufzer? Oh, Pein, mag so untergehen die Meute? Hm. Man hört das Lied oft in Stadien, vorzugsweise in Fußballstadien. Och nee, nicht, nicht noch Fußball. Ich habe keine Ahnung von Fußball. Dort singen es die Anhänger der Leute. Mannschaft. Dritter und letzter Tipp. Es geht um den Stillstand der Zeit. Jetzt werden Sie gleich sagen, oh Mann, natürlich. Aber es wird zu spät sein. Musik? Ja. Ah. Das so habe ich gefühlt seit Ewigkeit nicht mehr gehört. Heute. Für Sie nicht ganz so schön. Na ja, gut, ich habe keine Ahnung von Fußball. Also, was soll's. Hey, hey, abgewacht, geht gut ab, Frage 8. Und so lautet unsere Kategorie ja, Menschenhandel und Märchen. Für die richtige Antwort gibt es 1000 Mark. Ich fröne mal kurz meinem liebsten Hobby und blättere in den Krankenunterlagen eines Psychiaters. Ähm, ja, was haben wir denn hier? 
Patient, sehr gut situiert, neigt zur Veranstaltung sadistischer Ratespiele, zeigt keinerlei Reue über versuchte illegale Adoption eines Kindes. Wer ist der Patient? Der Biber, Butzemann, Rübezahl, Rumpelstilzchen oder Alibaba? Hm. Ich hätte gesagt so, aber das Spiel hier ist alt. Und hier die richtige Antwort. Ich habe gehört, der Giftswerk soll sich vor Ärger über die Rechnung des Psychiaters zerrissen haben. Suchen Sie sich eine Kategorie aus. Nummer 9. Du, 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 Nummer 9. Die Kategorie Marschbefehle und Hitparade. Und für die richtige Antwort winken 2000 Merker. Sie sind soweit, Geld? ich bin soweit. Das ist 9000 Euro. Einfach los. Geißlein, Zwerge, Samurai, Weltwunder. Welcher der folgenden Begriffe könnte diese Aufzählung komplett... <lacht> Das ist sehr kritisch. Diese dieses Spiel ist sehr schlecht gealtert, wie man sieht. Aua. Sie hätten das nehmen sollen. Brücken. Denn aller guten Dinge sind in diesem Falle sieben. Sie kennen doch das Lied. Das ist sehr belastend. Brücken musst du gehen, hä? Na, also los. Aber, dass Sie mir bis zur nächsten Frage zurück sind. Kategorie bitte. Und die folgende Frage läuft unter der Kategorie. Ich freue mich jetzt schon auf den, den Bot runterzunehmen, weil äh, für die richtige Antwort. Okay, das ist bereit? sehr kritisch. Ist die Frage. Angenommen, Barbie wäre ein richtiger Mensch. Was wären ihre Maße? 101, 88, 96, 67, 39, 64, 84, 46, 71 oder 84, 58, 84. Ich habe absolut keine Ahnung. Und die richtige Antwort lautet 84, 46, 71. Und da heißt es, Barbie sei nicht realistisch. Alles klar, das war die erste Runde. Und nun zu Runde 2. In Runde 2 verdoppeln wir die Einsätze. Das heißt, es kann mehr Kohle gemacht, aber auch mehr verloren werden. Kategorie wählen, bitte. Ich muss mal kurz was googeln, das ist wirklich wichtig. Okay, we should be good. Wir machen die Kategorie Lustige Spiele mit dem Entsafter. Und bei dieser Frage winken 4000 Möpse. Sitzen Sie bequem? Dann kann es ja losgehen. Okay, sehr bequem. Sie haben sich gerade einen neuen Entsafter gekauft und wollen ihn gleich ausprobieren. Welches der folgenden Dinge liefert Ihnen beim Testlauf die meiste Flüssigkeit? Ein Glas Nutella, ein Kopfsalat, das Gehirn eines Erwachsenen oder fünf Guppies? Das Gehirn eines ausgewachsenen Menschen. Das ist fast nur Wasser. Es wiegt rund 1300 Gramm und besteht zu 80 Prozent aus Wasser. Äh, mag noch jemand was von meinem Großhirncocktail? Nicht gerade lecker. Eine Kategorie bitte. Die Kategorie lautet Dinosaurier und Grenzkontrollen. 2000 Mark zahlen wir für die richtige Antwort. Sie wollen ihren mhm. eigenen Jurassic Park eröffnen und schmuggeln deshalb Saurier-DNS ins Land. Wenn diese Dino-DNS wie im Film aus prähistorischen Mücken stammt, die in Bernstein eingeschlossen sind, was schmuggeln sie dann? Fossiles das Baumharz? Ist Baumharz. Bernstein ist versteinertes Baumharz. Jawohl. Äh, hey, sag mal, drückt dich der Bernstein auch immer so unangenehm im Darm? Hey Mann, klar, ich sage dir, ich hätte auch viel lieber wieder diese weichen Kokstürchen hinten drin. Welche Kategorie darf's denn sein? Frage 30. Und diese Frage fällt unter die Kategorie James Bond und alternative Fortbewegungsmittel. Und für die richtige Antwort zahlen wir Ihnen 6000 deutsche Merker. Dann wollen wir mal. 
Gegen welches Filmgefährt hätte James Bond in einem seiner Filme seinen Sportwagen eintauschen können, weil beide Streifen aus der Feder des gleichen Autoren stammen? Gegen das Chitty Chitty das ist eine gute Frage. Oh gegen Gott. Och nee. Gegen Hi. <laughs> Muffy, thank you so much for the rate. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm just going to do this little stuff in English because uh, stream language is German right now because I'm playing the German games from the series. <laughs> but yes. But hi. Welcome to your stream. Thank you so much for the rate, Muffy. I really appreciate it. But yes, uh, what I'm doing today is I'm doing an entire marathon of one of my favorite game franchises. That being You Don't Know Jack. And there were four German titles, and we have reached that part in the stream where I'm playing the German ones. So, yes. <laughs> the German one, the German people can stay. The rest can also stay if they want to. But, yeah. We won't be back to, to the English titles for, like, at least another hour. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops, didn't know that. Didn't know that. That's fine. Don't worry about it. I did not put it, like, at the start of the, of, at the, start of, like, the stream title or anything. But we're fine. You're making understand some of it? Well, maybe you will understand some stuff. But yes, without further ado, back to German. Dann wollen wir mal. Als Autokit oder gegen das Raumschiff Orion? Aue. Ich hab keine Ahnung. <laughs> Aber die Musik ist gut. Okay, see you. Have a good sleep. Na, so schwer war's auch nicht. Sehen Sie mal. Gegen das Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, das fliegende Auto. Mein Name ist Bonn. Ich hab dich immer so sprechen Chitty gehört. Bond, ja, gut. Bond. Das passiert auch nicht gerade oft. Welche Kategorie darf sein? Vielleicht bist du reich, vielleicht bist du schön. Durch Frage 14. Und das ist die Kategorie. Auf dem Highway to Hell. 2000 Merkel gibt es für die richtige Antwort. Das Spiel ist so okay, verdammt alt. Sie rasen mit ihrem das ist noch ein Markt. Los durch Europa und prompt überfahren sie jemanden. Sie bemerken zwar, dass ihr Opfer vorne an ihrem Kühlergrill festhängt, das lässt sie aber völlig kalt und sie brettern einfach weiter, ohne anzuhalten. Als mhm. sie durch Italien kommen, deuten die Leute auf ihr Auto und rufen Babbo Natale. In Frankreich schreit man entsetzt Père Noël. Wer klebt vorne auf ihrem Kühlergrill? Der das Osterhase, ist der Weihnachtsmann. Der Weihnachtsmann fehlt in Front. Oh, das riecht nach Geld. Jawoll! Das wird Knecht Ruprecht aber gar nicht gefallen, dass sie seinen Chef überfahren haben. Wunderbar. Okay, eine Kategorie bitte. Kohle sehen, nichts verstehen, baden gehen, man wird sehen. Die Frage 15. Die Kategorie lautet diesmal, es werde Lichtgeschwindigkeit. Und diesmal sind vier Riesen zu holen. Kennen Sie die Filme Speed und Speed 2 mit hey, Sandra Bullock? Hi. Einer rasant oh, als der andere? Stellen Sie sich eine Vorstellung vor, bei der alles noch rasanter zugehen soll. Die kleine süße Maus wird darin auf Lichtgeschwindigkeit, die größtmögliche Geschwindigkeit überhaupt beschleunigt. Was wird mit ihr passieren? Sie wird materielos, sie fängt an zu strahlen, ihre Masse wird unendlich groß oder es entsteht ein schwarzes Loch. Sandra Bullocks Masse wird unendlich groß. Wow. Man hört, sie hat nach den Dreharbeiten eine Hollywood-Diät angefangen. Suchen Sie sich Wunderbar. eine Kategorie aus. Eine traumhafte Wahl, denn jetzt heißt es Sekt oder Selters. Jawohl! Oh, we got the German version, yes. The Thema first German version of four. Which is why the stream is in German for now. Feel free to return in an hour when we're back to the English ones. Oh god. Ich kenn keine von denen. Schwierig. Minimal belastend. Jede richtige Antwort bringt Ihnen 1000 Mark. Bei jedem falsch oder gar nicht zugeordneten Begriff verlieren Sie 1000 Mark. So, Sie haben 30 Sekunden Zeit. Wir stellen die Uhr. Und schon kann's losgehen. Karl Carstens, Reporter oder... Rolf Töpperwien. Werner Hansch. Gustav Heinemann. Theodor Heuss. Gerd Rubenbauer. Der Letzte. Dieter Kürten. Jawoll. 
Just the old Germans just eat like, a little bit, bit more trivia. Yep. Yes, that's how it is. So is this how it is? Und weiter geht's. Kategorie bitte. Die Frage ist, gibt's das bei Aldi? Die Kategorie für diese Frage lautet, gibt's das bei Aldi? Die richtige Antwort bringt 4000 Mark. Und hier ist die Frage. Sagen wir, Ihre Frau hat Sie losgeschickt, um Kaaba zu holen, und Sie kommen mit der Kaaba nach Hause. Was haben Sie mit Das ist das islamische Heiligtum. Die Kaaba ist ein heiliges Bauwerk des Islam in Mekka. Jawoll! Und wenn Sie die versuchen, in Milch aufzulösen, werden Sie sicher Ärger kriegen. Okay, wählen Sie eine Kategorie. Wundervoll. Die aktuelle Kategorie? Gefährliche Violinkonzerte. Und dafür gibt es 4000 Mark. Angenommen, Sie sind bei einem Konzert von Ann sophie Mutter. Nach dem letzten Stück spenden Sie frenetischen Applaus. Aber was geschehe mit Ihnen, wenn Sie selbst in diesem Moment frenetisch würden? Sie würden den Verstand verlieren, Sie bekämen Fieber, Ihr Sexualtrieb hm. würde sich melden oder Sie bekämen rote Ohren. Ich habe absolut keine Ahnung. Es ist aber auf jeden Fall nicht drei. Glaube ich. Hoffe ich zumindest. Keine Ahnung. <lacht> Und irgendjemand hat Ein mich in Discord gepinkt. Hätte sich dafür Wundervoll. <lacht> Frenetisch heißt wahnsinnig. Ergo? Ergo würden sie den Verstand verlieren. Und das, nachdem sie schon einen Batzen Geld an der Abendkasse verloren haben. Oha. Dann wählen sie mal eine Kategorie. Und hier die Kategorie für diese Frage. An der zweiten Lunge links. 2000 Mark ist unser Angebot für die richtige Antwort. Erinnern Sie sich an den Film Die Fantastische Reise, in dem einige Wissenschaftler und ein U-Boot zuerst geschrumpft und dann in den Blutkreislauf eines Gelehrten injiziert werden, um ein Blutgerinnsel in dessen Gehirn zu beseitigen? Stellen Sie sich eine Fortsetzung des Films vor, in der die Wissenschaftler das Herz des Patienten erreichen müssen. Welches Blutgefäß bringt Ihr U-Boot am schnellsten dorthin? Eine Kapillare, eine Vene, ein Korpuskel oder eine Arterie? Yep. Die Vene geht hin zum Herz. Wenn die Wissenschaftler vom die Herzen Arterie weg wollen, davon. Sie eine Arterie, wenn sie zum Herzen hin wollen, eine Vene. Aber Vorsicht, nicht im Leberstau stecken bleiben. Alles klar. Dann lassen Sie uns mal die Kategorie wissen. Warte. Wundervoll. Wir kommen zu der Kategorie Mathematik und verfressene Bibliotheksbenutzer. Und dafür gibt es 6000 Mark. Okay, gut zu hören jetzt und messerscharf nachdenken. Angenommen, Sie sind ein Bücherwurm und werden zu einem Festmahl eingeladen. Auf der Speisekarte steht der große Brockhaus in zehn Bänden. Jeder Band hat 100 Seiten. Die Bücher stehen im Regal wohlgeordnet von links nach rechts. Durch wie viele Seiten müssen Sie sich durchfressen, um von Seite 1 Band Band 1 bis Seite 100, Band 10 zu gelangen. Die Umschläge nicht mitgerechnet. Durch 802 Seiten, durch 100 Seiten, durch 1000 Seiten oder durch 900 Seiten. Ich habe das Gefühl, dass es, ist, dass es eine beschissene Frankfrage sein soll. Wahrscheinlich durch gar keine, ne? Ich zeige Ihnen, was ich getippt hätte. Durch 802 Seiten. Die Einbände weggerechnet sind es von Seite 1, Band 1 bis Seite 100, Band 10, genau 802 Seiten. Prüfen Sie es nach, falls Sie Bücher zu Hause haben. Hm. Welche Kategorie darf es denn sein? Und da haben wir es. Die Jack Attack. Away. Jack Attack Time. Wenn Sie zwei Begriffe vor sich sehen, die zusammengehören, drücken Sie Ihren Buchstaben. Für jede richtige Antwort gibt es 2000 Mark. Jede falsche kostet 2000. Und denken Sie immer daran. Nicht alles, was richtig scheint, ist auch richtig. Das Wortpaar muss zu dieser Vorgabe passen. Wie viele wart ihr doch gleich? Mindestens drei. Ah, verdammt nochmal. Dieses Spiel ist beschissen gealtert. Nummer 12. Verdammt. Ja, 
Ich habe keine Ahnung. Mehr gut. Das waren 10.000. Oder 1.000 Meilen. Das waren 20.000. Da sind wir noch zwei. Oder eben nicht. Verdammt. Ach, ich geb's auf. Warten wir es einfach ab. Also, was kann sonst noch passieren? Ja, wird schon schief gehen. Aber die Musik ist verdammt gut. Also darüber kann man sich nicht beschweren. Komm schon. So, jetzt aber. Das war ja wohl ein total kalter. Wird sich nicht gut machen bei der Endabrechnung. Und ja, das stimmt. war's. Hey. Das war alles andere als übel. Aber sie hatten ja auch keine Konkurrenz, hä? Naja, und ja, nicht, dass ich Ihnen die Freude vermiesen will. Aber ich glaube, die Sache wird schon bald ganz anders für Sie aussehen. Das nächste Mal bei... You don't know Jack! Wundervoll. Okay, wunderbar. Das wär's dann mit dem ersten von denen. So, mehr Geld für mich. Und kurz in meine Dateien gehen und dann kann es weitergehen. Nein, Astrid, ich habe Jacks Bühnenzocken nicht weggenommen. Wunderbar. Ich wohl mit Jacks Bühnenzocken anfangen. Hm? Cookie, Schätzchen. Kriege ich dann die Namen? Aber klar doch, Helen, Schätzchen. Einen wunderschönen guten... Nur ich bin's. Eine Solo-Nummer. Warum auch nicht? Dann lassen Sie uns doch mal den werten Namen wissen. Okay. Und die 21. Danke, das ist alles, was ich Sekunden. wissen wollte. Wunderbar. Das ist ein herrliches Wort. Ruhe am Set. 20 Sekunden bis zur Sendung. Was? 20? Okay, hören Sie mir jetzt gut zu. Es ist wirklich ganz simpel. Wenn Sie auf eine Frage antworten wollen, müssen Sie Ihre Spielertaste drücken, dann 1, 2, 3 oder 4, je nachdem, was Sie für die richtige Antwort halten. Kapische? 10 Sekunden. Ich glaube, das Spiel ist ein bisschen leise. Achtung jetzt. Wunderbar. Dann wollen wir mal, ne? Auf geht's. Blätter, die ganze Kraft von Tierabfällen. Es ist minimal laut. Wundervoll. So, jetzt, das sollte aber gehen. Oh, dieses wunderschöne take to it Das ist einfach wundervoll. Hm. Da schreit einfach nur frühe 2000er. Montiert ihr auf Festplatte? Och nee. Hey, gut, dass es nicht funktioniert. Das wäre auch nicht gerade sehr toll. Und hier ist sie wieder, die Quizshow, bei der Hochkultur und Popkultur aufeinanderprallen. Okay, willkommen.
willkommen bei unserer Show und so weiter und so fort. Tja, diesmal spielen sie also ganz alleine, was? Naja, sie brauchen sich nicht zu schämen, aber äh, dass mir das nicht nochmal vorkommt, ja? Also, das wird nochmal vorkommen. Okay, eine Kategorie. Wunderbar. Die Kategorie lautet diesmal wirklich katastrophales Essen. 2000 Euro gibt's für die Und jetzt sind wir bei Euros. Wunderbar. Dann wollen wir mal. Sie gehen in ein Sushi-Restaurant und bestellen Tsunami, weil sie das irrtümlich für ein japanisches Gericht halten. Was passiert, wenn man ihnen tatsächlich Tsunami... Tsunamis sind riesige, von Seebeben ausgelöste Flutwellen. Sie werden also weggeschwemmt. Wunderbar. Und genau um solche Katastrophen zu vermeiden, ist es in asiatischen Lokalen eben üblich, die Gerichte nach Nummern zu bestellen. Welche Kategorie darf es sein? Und hier unsere Kategorie. Schrille Vergiss nicht, genug Wasser zu trinken. Stinkende Männer. Das ist verdammt wichtig. Winken 2000 Euro. Ach, das sind eine Menge Euros. Jetzt fällt mir wieder ein Name nicht ein. Och, Wenn nee. Sie mir helfen können, drücken Sie Ihre Spielertaste und tippen Sie den gesuchten Namen ein. Also, ich suche den Namen einer Mutter in einer amerikanischen TV-Familie. Ist es Marge ja, Simpson? Und äh, diese Mutter ist ein ziemlich schriller Vamp. Und ab und zu erpresst sie ihren Mann regelrecht zum Sex. Ach, und äh, hm. apropos Ehemann, der ist Schuhverkäufer. Hm, wie heißt Keine sie Ahnung. Denn nur? Aber während wir warten, ein cooler Fun Fact, den viele Leute nicht wissen. Kai Taschner, welcher hier, hier dem Jack spricht, den Quizmaster, spricht, der spricht einfach Rick aus Rick und Morty. Das ist wundervoll. Bandy Bandy aus einer schrecklich nette Familie. Schrill, ordinär und die Mutter einer Tochter, für die ich ohne zu zögern meinen rechten Arm... Aber lassen wir das. Dann wählen Sie mal eine Kategorie. Wunderbar. Und das ist die Kategorie Indianer und eklige Edelmetalle. Und 3000 Euro gibt es für die richtige Antwort. Sitzen Sie komod, dann ja, kann es losgehen. Bedenkt man, wofür die Inkas Gold hielten, was hätten sie tun können, um die Quelle des Goldes zu ehren? Einen Spucknapf hm. zum Mond schießen, der Erde Wundverbände auflegen, Schweißbänder für die Sonne weben oder einen Nachttopf für die Götter schmieden. Ich habe keine Ahnung. Vier wäre lustig und würde auch vielleicht so ein bisschen Sinn ergeben. Aber ja, wie vorhin gesagt, Kai Taschner spricht Rick aus Rick und Morty. Und das finde ich wundervoll. Für die Neugierigen unter Ihnen, das ist die richtige Antwort. Schweißbänder für die Sonne hätten sie weben können. Interessant. Die glaubten, Gold sei der Schweiß der Sonne. Sie sollten mal hören, was die glaubten, wo die Schokolade herkommt. Okay, wählen Sie eine Kategorie. Ich brauch keinen Sex, nein, ich brauche die Frage 4. Die Kategorie wow. lautet, muss man sowas wirklich sehen? Und bei dieser Frage gibt es 1000 Euro zu verdienen. Okay, start klar? Hier kommt die Frage. Wenn die Manager der Popgruppe Salt and Pepper eine Nachfolgeband mit dem Namen Basalt and Pepper auf die Bühne stellen, was werden die Konzertbesucher dann sehen? Vulkangestein. Rockendes Vulkangestein. Eine rockendes Vulkangestein. Wunderbar. Das hat Basalt doch funktioniert. Ist ein hartes Gestein vulkanischen Ursprungs. Auch die Rolling Stones sollen ja aus diesem Material sein. Naja, wenn man sich die Gesichter so ansieht. <lacht> Welche Kategorie darf es denn sein? Ich war jung und schön, doch dann kam Frage 5. Oh. Und die Frage läuft unter der Kategorie haarige Felle und riesige Skalpelle. Und dafür gibt es 2000 Euro. 
Das ist eine Menge Euros. Ach nee. Nicht schon wieder so eine. Eines Gerichtsmediziners. Wen hat der da bloß zerlegt? Die Leiche wies Einschüsse von Maschinengewehren auf, wie sie auf Doppeldeckern montiert sind. Die eigentliche mhm. Todesursache waren aber multiple Brüche durch einen Sturz von einem sehr hohen Gebäude. Wer ist der Tote? Ich habe keine Ahnung. Klingt nach irgendwas aus einem Actionfilm. Nee, eh, kein Plan. Ich gucke keine Filme. Wohl zumindest so gut wie keine Filme. Und hier die richtige Antwort. Der Obduktionsbefund oh. beschreibt die Leiche von King Kong. Interessant. Der Arzt wollte dann noch nach das, das Verletzungen ja. suchen, hat sich aber in King Kongs Darm verirrt. Kategorie bitte. Du weißt du schon, jetzt kommt die voll fette, total abgefahrene Pokrasse. Und diese Kategorie mm -hmm. heißt biblische Männer und alberne Sportarten. 2000 Euro zahlen wir für die richtige Antwort. So, dann wollen wir doch mal sehen, was bei Ihnen vom Religionsunterricht so hängen geblieben Nix. ist. Wenn der biblische Jakob eine Karriere als Profi-Wrestler startet, wer wäre dann vermutlich sein Lieblingsgegner im Ring, weil er Jakob schon einmal bei einer Prügelei nicht besiegen konnte? Der Erzengel Gabriel, Satan, Gomorra oder Gott? Hm. Ich habe absolut keine Ahnung. Minimal belastend. Falls es Sie interessiert, hier die richtige Antwort. Gott hat mit hm. Jakob gerauft, konnte ihn aber nicht besiegen. Beim nächsten Kampf der beiden wird Jakob aber Pech haben, denn ich höre, Gott hat mittlerweile Nachhilfestunden bei Hulk Hogan genommen. Oh Gott. Das kann ja noch Eine interessant Kategorie, werden. Bitte. Heißer! Rhyme Time! Das ist fein! Oh Gott, nicht schon wieder. Kategorie für diese Schnickschnack-Frage. Angeschimmelte Leichen unterm Christbaum. Maximal 5000 Euro. Also das will man nicht unterm Christbaum sehen. Da steht schon mal fest. Zu gewinnen. Sie haben 30 Sekunden Zeit, um das Rätsel zu lösen. Aber alle eineinhalb Sekunden ziehe ich ein bisschen Geld ab. Also antworten Sie so schnell Sie können. Okay, die restlichen Gehirnzellen zusammenkratzen und nicht auf die Satzzeichen achten. Womit reimt sich dies? Tom schimmelt doch. Bah, Tom riecht sehr. Hm. Erster dezenter Tipp, es ist ein Lied. Ja, das ergibt schon mal Sinn. Es ist ein Weihnachtslied über einen, der von oben kommt. Und dieser jemand bringt eine Mär. Ich habe keine Ahnung, was das überhaupt bedeuten soll. Schade, schade, die Zeit ist um. Und das wär's gewesen. Tom schimmelt doch, wach, Tom riecht sehr. Drum bring den Sarg doch endlich her. Ah. Vom Himmel hoch, da komm ich her. Wir dagegen kommen zur nächsten Das habe ich seit Ewigkeit nicht mehr gehört, um ehrlich zu sein. Dann lassen Sie uns mal die Kategorie wissen. Die aktuelle Kategorie. Hollywood-Stars und erhöhte Darmaktivität. Für die richtige Antwort gibt es 2000 Euro. Das ist eine Menge wow. Geld. Und jetzt darf ich Ihnen eine Sensation ankündigen, denn wir haben heute einen absoluten Weltstar bei uns zu Gast. Oh und Gott. er wird sogar eine Frage für uns moderieren. Meine Damen und Herren, direkt aus Hollywood in unser Studio. Hier ist Arnold Schwarzenegger. Äh, Herr Schwarzenegger? Herr, Herr, Herr Schwarzenegger? Ich kann nicht, ich muss aufs Heise. Was? Oh, ich hab einen Durchfall im Ohr. Wo ist denn einer Heise? Ähm, äh, die, 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 die Studiotür raus und, und dann links. Oh, Jäckerl, oh, Jäckerl. Herr, Herr Schwarzenegger, da, äh, es, ja, äh, es, also das, äh, jetzt weiß ich auch nicht. Äh, das hat jetzt so gar nicht funktioniert. Das parat, ähm, ei, da ist der Herr Schwarzenegger was aus der Tasche gefallen. Was ist denn das? Flitzo prompt gegen Durchfall. 
Aue. Oh, na da fällt mir doch Flitzopor. Ja, moin, Heim, ein. Also. Wovon könnte Arnold Schwarzenegger Durchfall bekommen haben? Von Gelosil, Lack, Salpetersäure, Glaubersalz oder Spasmorektol? Hm. Ich habe keine Ahnung. Salpetersäure wäre, glaube ich, ein bisschen schlimmer als nur Durchfall. Sehen Sie mal, so sieht eine richtige Antwort aus. Von Glaubersalz hätte Arni Durchfall bekommen können, denn das wirkt abführend. Haha, hm. jetzt hoffe ich nur, dass es Herrn Schwarzenegger wieder gut geht, denn... Bei Wolli die Dreckshaut hab ich dir mir das Abführmittel gegeben hat. Den hau ich Windel weg, aus dem mach ich einen Strudel. Es geht ihm wieder blenden und wir machen schnell weiter, solange es uns auch noch blenden geht. Klingt nach dem Plan. Ja, moin. Kategorie wählen, bitte. Hallo, du schöne Frage neun. Die Wundervoll. Kategorie wäre diesmal Pulpopern und Seifenfiction. Die wird ein bisschen schwerer. Und dafür gibt es 3000 Ich kenne nichts von beiden. Ich habe nie Pulp Fiction gesehen. Wussten Sie dass Regisseur Quentin Tarantino vor Reservoir Dogs und Pulp Fiction einen einmaligen Auftritt in einer TV-Serie hatte? Hätte Quentin Tarantino für die Folge der Serie, in der er auftrat, auch das Drehbuch geschrieben und die Regie geführt? Welche Szene hätten wir dann möglicherweise zu sehen bekommen? Hm. J.R. wäscht ein blutbesudeltes Auto. Roseanne hat einen Masochisten im Keller. Die Golden Girls sterben bei einem Bankraub oder El Bandi rammt Pack eine Spritze ins Herz. Ich habe keinen Plan. Also werde ich es gar nicht erst versuchen. Mein Aber Gehirn ist komplett leer. Menschen hätten das getippt. Ich meine, hey, ich sitze hier schon seit fünfeinhalb Stunden. Dino spielte einmal einen Elvis-Imitator bei den Golden Girls. Wow. Suchen Sie sich eine Kategorie raus. Okay, noch kurz das Deo aufgefrischt, denn jetzt wird's intim. Bei einem oh Gott. flotten Dreier. Och nee. Okay, Sie sehen jetzt gleich einen verbalen flotten Dreier, so wie diesen hier. Wenn der zugehörige Begriff des flotten Dreiers aufleuchtet, drücken Sie Ihre Spielertaste. Wenn es stimmt, gibt's Geld. Aber Vorsicht! Jedes Mal, wenn Sie es versaubeuteln, ziehe ich Ihnen 1000 Euro ab. Jedes Mal. Also, dann wollen wir mal. Wir machen die ja, Kategorie. Gucken wir mal, wie es wird. Fun mit inneren Organen. Und das bedeutet, wir haben die Ehre mit Herz, Leber, Lunge. Okay, es geht los, aber sachte und vorsichtig, bitte. Mm -hmm. oh. Jep. Das ist die Leber. Oh. Herz hat Kammern, vier Stück. Leber hat Lappen. Oh. Wunderbar. Die Lunge hat Flügel. Hm. Ich hab keine Ahnung. Ex-Verteidigungsminister. Das Spiel ist aus den frühen 2000ern. Ich hab keine Ahnung. Okay, mehr haben wir nicht. Mal sehen, was unterm Strich bleibt. Tja, so gerne ich noch kuscheln würde. Wir müssen weitermachen. Tja, Runde 1 hätten wir hinter uns. Wir kommen zu Runde 2. In der nächsten Runde verdoppeln wir die Einsätze. Es kann also noch mehr Kohle gemacht, aber auch mehr verloren werden. Geld. Wunderbar. Dann wählen Sie mal eine Kategorie. Ich bin dein Und die Kategorie lautet 
Stinkfaule Kollegen und göttliche Gnade. Die richtige Antwort bringt 4000 Euro. Kennen Sie das? Es ist ein so richtig langweiliger Tag in der Arbeit und die Zeit will und will nicht vergehen. Mhm. Nun, hier kann ein kleiner Stoßseufzer oft Wunder wirken. Ihr Kollege seufzt, Herrgott, lass es Abend werden. Sie fügen ein Amen hinzu. Wenn Gott das Wörtchen Amen wörtlich nimmt und sofort reagiert, was wird dann geschehen? Es wird sofort Abend, der jüngste Tag bricht an, sie werden von allen Krankheiten geheilt oder es passiert gar nichts. Ich habe keinen Plan. Ich kann kein Latein. Also werde ich auch gar nicht erst so tun, als ob ich es könnte. Sie hätten vielleicht das nehmen sollen. Es wird sofort Abend. Keine Lust drauf. Amen heißt einfach, es geschehe. Kleiner Tipp, hm. wenn Sie statt nur einmal gleich, sagen wir 50 Mal Amen sagen, vergeht die Zeit bis zum nächsten Urlaub schneller. Was für ein toller Lifehack. Okay. Die Kategorie Eigenartige Ermahnungen am Ich habe keine Ahnung, wie man das, sagt, wie man das sagen würde. Es 4000 Euro. Wie oft haben wir nicht alle bei Tisch von unseren Müttern die Ermahnung gehört? Ist damit du groß und stark wirst. Aber was könnten Spinnenmütter ihren Kindern außer, dass sie essen sollen, noch einbläuen, damit die Kleinen kräftig wachsen? Streck dich, damit du groß und stark wirst. Paare dich, damit du groß und stark wirst. Häute dich, damit du groß und stark wirst. Oder spinne, damit du groß und stark wirst. Hm. Ich habe auch keine Ahnung. Ich weiß nur, dass Spinnen so gut wie nur pure Hydraulik sind. Und hier die Antwort, die Sie leider nicht gewählt haben. Spinnen haben ein sogenanntes Außenskelett und müssen sich, um weiter wachsen zu können, jedes Mal häuten. Sehr hm. praktisch, gerade in der Pubertät. Man streift seine alte Haut ab und ist mit einem Schlag seine ganzen Pickel los. Welche Kategorie darf sein? Und so lautet unsere Kategorie. Kräuterlikör Muss man nicht gleich so schreien? Hm? Mit komischen Namen. Wenn Sie richtig antworten, gibt es 4000 Euro. Also, bestimmt sind Sie ab und zu mal blau, oder? Und bestimmt kennen Sie doch auch die Jägermeisterwerbung, oder? Sehr gut, dann kommt jetzt Ihr Auftritt. Welchen Jägermeister-Slogan könnten Sie sprechen, wenn Sie an Blausucht leiden würden? Ich trinke Jägermeister, weil ich an einer seltenen Gehirnerkrankung leide, hm. absoluter Alkoholiker bin, zu wenig Sauerstoff im Blut habe oder im Körper blaue Blutkörperchen bilde. Dieses Spiel, dieses Spiel lässt mich einfach nur realisieren, wie verdammt wenig ich überhaupt weiß. Aua. Und ich merke es definitiv, dass ich seit fünfeinhalb Stunden hier bereits sitze. Oh, ich hätte Ihnen einen Haufen Geld gegeben, wenn Sie das getippt hätten. Ich trinke Jägermeister, weil ich zu wenig Sauerstoff im Blut habe. Aber ob Jägermeister da die passende Medizin ist... Ist glaube ich nicht. Okay, eine Kategorie bitte. Beten Sie, solange Sie noch können. Och nee. Hier kommt eine total unmögliche Frage. Och nee. Diese Kategorie trägt den Namen, was man nicht unbedingt im Duden vermuten würde. Heilige Hochpreispolitik. Für diese Frage gibt es 10.000 Euro. Das ist eine Menge okay, Geld. Es geht um 10.000 Steine, da wird es natürlich ein bisschen schwerer. Sie wissen ja vielleicht, dass Wörterbücher oft eine Kopfzeile auf jeder Seite mhm. haben, die dasjenige Wort anzeigt, das auf der betreffenden Seite als letztes steht, okay? Welches der folgenden Wörter steht nicht in einer Kopfzeile der zweiten Auflage des deutschen Universalwörterbuchs von Duden aus dem Jahr 19? 1989. Oralverkehr, Juckeln, Poppen oder Lutschfleck. Ach du heilige Scheiße, das ist wirklich eine unmögliche Frage. Falls Sie sich fragen, wie die richtige Antwort lautet... 
Poppen steht nicht in einer Kopfzeile. Tatsächlich ist Poppen überhaupt nicht in dem Buch aufgeführt. Dabei kommt es in so elementaren Sätzen vor, wie ähm, etwa einmal gepoppt, nie mehr gestoppt. Ha. Was für eine total unmögliche Frage. Welche Kategorie darf denn sein? Besser hätten sie es nicht treffen können, denn jetzt spielen wir eine Runde Sekt oder Selters. Wundervoll. Und hier die Kategorie für diese Sekt- oder Selters-Frage. Geht Meister Propper morgens Brötchen holen? Okay, aufgepasst. Ich lese jetzt die Namen von sieben Berühmtheiten aus der Fernsehwerbung vor. Oh Gott. Sie sagen mir jeweils, handelt es sich um eine echte Person oder ist die Figur erfunden? Wenn Sie glauben, es handelt sich um eine echte Person, drücken Sie die Axt. Wenn die Figur sowohl echt als auch erfunden ist, drücken Sie die... <lacht> War nur Spaß. Und um den Begriff auszulassen, drücken Sie die 4. Für jede richtige Antwort kriegen Sie 1000 Euro. Bei jedem falsch oder gar nicht zugeordneten Begriff verlieren Sie 1000 mhm. Euro. Ich glaube, das kriege ich hin. So, Vielleicht. Wir die Hoffentlich. Auf 30 Sekunden. Und es geht los. Herr Kaiser, echt oder erfunden? Herr Maggi. Tante Tilly. Dr. Edgar. Josef Neckermann. Frau Sommer. Der Letzte. Aua. Das... Das, ist natürlich das hat nicht geklappt. Aua. Nicht verzagen, die nächste Frage kommt bestimmt. Und zwar jetzt. Dann wollen wir mal. Kategorie bitte. Die Kategorie für diese Frage lautet weniger berühmte letzte Worte. Bei dieser Frage stehen 6000 Euro im Raum. Tja, man weiß ja, große Denker werden ob ihrer Ideen gerne mal um die Ecke gebracht. Mhm. Eine schöne Gelegenheit für den Betroffenen, um berühmte letzte Worte zu prägen. Bedenkt man Leben und Lebenswerk von Sokrates, was konnten definitiv nicht seine letzten Worte sein? Igitt, Schierling, bäh. Oder hätte ich bloß keine Bücher geschrieben? Oder wäre ich doch Soldat geblieben? Oder ich habe wohl zu viel gefragt. Hm. Ich bin mir nicht sicher, ob Sokrates jemals über Bücher geschrieben hat. Ich meine... Hm. Gute Frage. Jede Wette, Sie hätten gern darauf getippt. Ja. Yep. Hätte ich Verdammt. bloß keine Bücher geschrieben. Sokrates hat tatsächlich nie etwas aufgeschrieben. Das hat später Plato Verdammt nochmal. Weswegen Sokrates wahre letzte Worte waren. Plato, schreib bloß keinen Scheiß über mich. Wundervoll. Dann lassen Sie uns mal die Kategorie wissen. Und hier die Kategorie für diese Frage. Abgebissene Ohren und blaue Augen. 4000 Euro gibt's für die richtige Antwort. Das ist eine Menge Geld. Erinnern Sie sich, was für einen Aufstand Boxchampion Mike Tyson machte, als man ihn lebenslang sperren wollte, nur weil er einem Gegner ein Stück Ohr abgebissen hatte? Wenn Mike Tyson bei seinem Aufstand Hilfe von den Beteiligten des berühmten Boxeraufstandes bekommen hätte, wer hätte ihm dann zur Seite gestanden? Ein chinesischer Geheimbund, Max Schmeling und Muhammad Ali, eine Horde von Hunden oder Martin Luther und die deutschen Bauern? Ich habe absolut keine Ahnung. Äh, aber hey. Ich habe so das. Ich bin so so, 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 so schon fast bei 300.000. Was schon mehr ist, als ich erwartet hatte. Ich könnte wohl die richtige Antwort lauten. Zum Beispiel so. Ein chinesischer Geheimbund. Die Boxer starteten im Jahr 1900 in China einen Aufstand, um die ausländischen Mächte rauszuwerfen. Und da kein Ringrichter anwesend war, gab es Schläge unter die Gürtellinie ohne Ende. Hm. Kategorie wählen, bitte. Und jetzt TV-Hunde im Drogenrausch. 
Und diesmal sind vier Riesen zu holen. Das ist eine Menge Geld. Stellen wir kurz eine nie gezeigte Folge von Lassie vor. Darin hat Lassie LSD geschluckt und hat dann im Drogenrausch oh den kleinen Timmy zerfleischt und gefressen. Wieder ausgenüchtert will Lassie Timmys Knochen vergraben, um die Gräueltat zu vertuschen. Wenn Lassie jeden Knochen von Timmy vergraben will, das sind 206. Knochen muss der Lassie muss 206 Knochen vergraben, denn so viele Knochen hat ein Mensch. Haha. <lacht> Naja, die Szene mit dem Knochen vergraben ist ein bisschen lang geraten, aber sonst war das eine recht gute Folge. Eine Kategorie bitte. Oh ja, gib's mir, stell mir Frage 19. Die Kategorie wäre dann geheimnisvolle Zeichen das klang schmerzhaft. Und, Programmierer. und bei dieser Frage winken 4000 Mäuse. Tja, und wieder einmal fällt mir ums Verrecken etwas Och, nee. nicht ein. <lacht> Wenn Sie die richtige Antwort wissen, tippen Sie sie ein und drücken Sie dann Return. Also, was ich suche, sind drei Zeichen auf der Tastatur. Und mhm. diese drei Zeichen gehören zu jeder Internetadresse. Und, äh, ach ja, die drei Zeichen sind aber keine Buchstaben. Genau, und sie stehen zwischen den beiden Abkürzungen ja, HTTP hier. und WWW. Was waren das jetzt wieder für Zeichen? Und äh, bitte nur die Zeichen selbst eingeben, ja? Legen Sie... Äh. Doppelpunkt, Slash, Slash. Jawohl! <lacht> So, was kriege ich hin? Würde mich mal interessieren, wieso man für sowas Zeichen nimmt, wo man sich jedes Mal halb den Finger brechen muss, um sie einzutippen. Gute Frage. Suchen Sie sich eine Kategorie raus. Frage 20. Ich darf mich bewerben. Und dies ist die Kategorie für diese Frage. Morgenmuffel und Chemieunfälle. Und für die richtige Antwort zahlen wir Ihnen 6000 Euro. Nun denn, die grauen Zellen aktivieren. Hier kommt die Frage. Mhm. Wenn Sie sich eines Morgens statt mit Eau de Cologne aus Versehen mit Eau de Javel einsprühen, was könnte dann die Folge sein? Sie werden radioaktiv, Sie werden knallrot, Sie fliegen in die Luft oder Sie werden bleich geätzt. Ich habe absolut keine Ahnung. Ich habe davon noch nie gehört. Aber jawohl, Eau de Cologne. Kölnisch Wasser. Aus Köln. Sie mal, so sieht eine richtige Antwort aus. Ah, Sie werden vermutlich bleich geätzt, denn Eau de Chavel ist eine aggressive Chlorbleiche. Mein Tipp, hm. benutzen Sie lieber Eau de Toilette, aber drücken Sie sicherheitshalber immer zuerst nochmal die Klospülung. <lacht> Natürlich. Welche Kategorie darf denn sein? Das sollte nicht allzu schwer werden. Und hier ist sie wieder, die Jack Attack. Wunderbar. Jack Attack. Wenn Sie zwei zusammengehörige Begriffe sehen, drücken Sie Ihren Buchstaben. Eine richtige Antwort bringt 2000 Euro. Eine falsche Viel Gift. 2000. Aber das Wichtigste. Ein Wortpaar passt nur dann zusammen, wenn folgender Fingerzeig zutrifft. Comic-Helden und wer ihnen das Leben schwer macht. Natürlich, Dagobert Duck. Wer hätt's gedacht? Da habe ich absolut keine Ahnung. Obwohl Tweety würde Sinn ergeben. Jawoll! Von dem habe ich noch nie gehört. Hm. Da ist es der Joker. Jawoll! Das ist Gargamel. Das sind die Daltons. Ich 
Das ist gar nicht, dass der Karl im Deutschen heißt. Jawohl. selbst gespielt und auch noch souverän gewonnen. Jawohl! Das Problem ist nur, dass Ihnen das keiner glauben wird, denn ich werde natürlich überall rum erzählen, dass Sie ein totaler Loser sind bei... Okay. Wunderbar. Erstklassige Arbeit, Leute. Das äh, ist ein bisschen gemein. Von vorn los, oder wie sieht's aus? Komm schon. Ach, komm schon. Wow. Sie haben den Highscore geknackt. Vielleicht wollen Sie ja noch mal spielen, nur um rauszufinden, dass das reiner Dusel war. Also was ist? Äh, na gut. Na dann. Zeit den, Zeit den Score. Bisschen besser zu machen. Wunderbar. Und jetzt. Das war die falsche Taste, bei Aussehen F F11 gedrückt. Wunderbar. So, und jetzt geht's abwärts. Ja. Ja, aber sie sehen furchtbar aus. Ach, komm schon. Ach, komm schon. Das muss mir doch nicht antun, oder? Oh, oh, nun. Ich müsste lügen, würde ich sagen, dass ich mir für diese Uhrzeit nichts Besseres vorstellen könnte, als hier mit Ihnen herumzuhängen. Aber Ach, komm trotzdem, schon. herzlich willkommen. Dürfte ich erfahren, wie... Sie sind allein? Ja, ich bin das allein hier. Das macht nichts. Sind wir nicht alle irgendwie allein? Spielen Sie zum ersten Mal abwärts? Nö. Wunderbar. Schön, dass Sie den Mut aufgebracht haben, es noch einmal zu versuchen. Wenn ich nun Ihren Namen erfahren dürfte. Sehr nett. Danke. Das bin ich. Wie Sie sich vermutlich erinnern, ist Ihre Spielertaste das B. Und sollte jo. während des Spiels die Nase glänzen, rufen sie einfach nach der Maskenbildnerin. Ja? Okay. Das kriege ich hin. Und hier ist sie wieder, die Quizshow, bei der Hochkultur und Popkultur aufeinanderprallen. Hey, hey, hallo und herzlich willkommen. Moin. Und achten Sie bitte auf unsere Modetipps im Spiel. Ich meine, Ihnen mag gefallen, was Sie da anhaben, aber ich würde so nicht mal aufs Klo gehen. Ach komm schon. Okay, Reißverschluss zu und den BH zurechtgezurrt. Willkommen in der Welt des Glamours. Ich hab keine Ahnung. Drücken Sie Ihren Buchstaben um den... Und hier unsere Kategorie. Wirklich heiße Bademoden. Wissen Sie, wer den Bikini erfunden hat? Ein Maschinenbauingenieur. Aber damit nicht genug. Bedenkt man, warum Bikini-Erfinder Louis Riard seine Erfindung Bikini nannte, wie hätte man Bikini der erste toll. Werbeslogan für das Produkt lauten können? Verführer. Riard nannte den Bikini Bikini, weil zu dieser Zeit die Atomtests auf dem Bikini-Atoll durch die Presse Wunderbar. gingen. Und das Gut. war noch ein Glück. Stellen Sie sich vor, die Zeitungen hätten da gerade über Stalingrad berichtet. Oh Gott. Spielertaste im richtigen Moment. Und die Kategorie für diese Frage lautet... Was heißt hier Trottel? Knappe 5000, wenn Sie die richtig beantworten. Mhm. Wenn Sie mit Ihrer Kleidung ausdrücken wollen, dass Sie ein totaler Versager sind, was können Sie dann nicht tragen, weil es dieses Kleidungsstück nicht gibt? Eine Nietenhose, ein Sackkleid, Pfeifenkopfabsätze oder eine Flaschenmütze? Ich habe absolut keinen Plan. Ich kenne keine Mode. Ich meine, ich trage den verdammten Hoodie. Das ist der absolute Standard. Dafür entschieden. 
Es gibt keine Flaschenmütze. Aber nehmen Sie doch stattdessen einfach eine Narrenkappe. Ba, 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 ba. Verdammt. Wenn ein verlockender Betrag. Na, dafür schämt man sich wenigstens nicht aus dem Bett aufzustehen. Die Kategorie. Ja, stimmt. Poesie und fiese Mode. Stellen Sie sich kurz vor, Sie leiden an Bindegewebsschwäche an den Schenkeln. Oder brauchen Sie sich das gar nicht erst vorzustellen? Ähm, egal. Wenn Sie bedenken, an wen sich die Zeilen wenden, die da lauten, Deine Zauber binden wieder, was die Mode streng geteilt. Wer könnte dann Ihr Bindegewebe festigen? Jesus Christus, der Tod, die Freude oder der Zauberer Merlin? Freude, schöner Götterfunken. Die Zeilen stammen aus Schillers Gedicht an die wow. Freude. Kopfstreichler. Das finde ich super. Ich also, vielleicht hilft's. Was ich nur nicht kapiere, ist, dass ausgerechnet die Mode an ihrer Bindegewebsschwäche schuld sein soll. Drücken Sie Ihren Buchstaben, wenn ein möglichst hoher Geldbetrag erscheint. Na, dafür lohnt es sich doch hey, wenigstens anzutreten. Die Kategorie. Willkommen zum Stream. Trugen die Uhr. And just to say it in English, because, you know. As far as I'm aware, you don't speak German. Because we're currently in the uh, in the in the segment where where I'm playing through the German titles, the stream language has well the German. I mean, hey, after this one, which now is question th was question three or four, I literally did not pay attention. We have one more game, and then we're back to English ones. So yeah, feel free to return in I don't know, like half an hour or so, and then we'll be back to English. But yes, back back to German because that is what is going on. Menschen Bomberjacken. Okay, start klar. Hier ist die Frage. Angenommen, Sie kaufen sich statt einer Chevignon Jacke zur Abwechslung mal eine Cromagnon Jacke. Woraus könnte diese Eingedenk Ihres Namens bestehen? Aus Bronze, aus Eisen, aus Stein oder aus Chromangan? Hm. Ich habe keine Ahnung. Thanks. Great. Great, great joke. The <laughs> German talk is romantic. Very understandable. But yeah, like I said, in half an hour we'll be back to English titles. Aber right, erstmal. Auf geht's. Oha, sehr klar, sehr das. Das ist doch schön. Die Kategorie für diese Sekt- oder Zeltersfrage lautet... Hose runter, du Ferkel. Na dann, ich lese Ihnen jetzt die Namen von sieben berühmten Tieren vor. Und Sie sagen mir bitte jeweils, trägt das Tier für gewöhnlich eine Hose oder nicht? Hm. Für jede richtige Antwort kriegen Sie Geld. Und jede falsche Antwort und jeder nicht zugeordnete Begriff kostet Sie Geld. So, Sie haben 30 Sekunden, um alles zu beantworten. Also dann ran an den Speck. Der Bärenmarke Bär. Hose oder... Biene Maya. Ja, verdammt. Mecki. Na gut. Vier von sieben. Vier von sieben, richtig. Na ja, wenigstens kein kompletter Reinfall. Okay, hier ist ah, ihr Augen. 15.000. Das ist Nur, ziemlich gut. Falls Sie nachrechnen wollen, ob alles stimmt. <lacht> Und wir machen weiter. Drücken Sie Ihre Spielertaste. Okay, die Kategorie. Viel, viel Geld. Hilfe, mein Nachthemd spricht mit mir. Tja, mit zunehmender Dauer einer Beziehung ist der Sex ja oft nicht mehr so irrsinnig aufregend. Da muss man manchmal nachhelfen. Wenn Ihre Partnerin mit einem Negligé ins Bett kommt, was könnten Sie dann eingedenk des Wortsinns von Negligé zu ihr sagen? Oh je, Schatz, du bist ja leichenblass. Wow, Baby. Du ich habe keine Ahnung. Echt nötig. Meine Güte, siehst du ungepflegt aus, oder? Oh Gott, du bist ja durchsichtig. Ich habe absolut keinen Plan. Also tue ich gar nicht erst so, als ob ich es wüsste. Also 
Also so schwer war es doch jetzt auch nicht. Sehen Sie mal. Negligé heißt vernachlässigt und ungepflegt. Ich bezweifle hm. aber, dass so ein Satz Ihrem lahmen Sexleben auf die Beine hilft. Versuchen Sie mit Ihrer Sp die Kategorie. Morbide Mode. Morbid? Okay, Morbius? Zeit für eine kleine Analogiefrage. Morbenzeit? Brudermörder verhält sich zu kein wie Vatermörder zu was? Zu Krawattennadel, zu Stehkragen, zu Bartbinde oder zu Ledergürtel. Ich habe keine Ahnung, was ein Vatermörder überhaupt ist. Wahrscheinlich irg irgendwelche Mode. Morbius! Jawohl! Tja, die da hätte Kohle gegeben. Ein Vatermörder ist ein Stehkragen. Was für ein martialischer Name. Dabei sehen Vatermörder nur halb so tödlich aus wie beispielsweise Turnschuhe mit Plateausohlen. Turnschuhe mit Plateausohlen, das klingt okay, schrecklich. Spielertaste drückt die Kategorie für diese Frage. Exhibitionismus und der kleine Appetit. Sagen wir mal, Sie wollen einen Striptease hinlegen. Ach nee. Wenn Sie dabei anfangs das tragen, wofür Striplegende Josephine Baker berühmt war, vor wem sollten Sie dann nicht strippen, weil Ihr Kostüm sonst aufgefressen werden könnte? Vor Bienen, vor Schimpansen, vor Löwen oder vor Fliegen? Mama, kannst du mich bitte abholen? Sei Ihnen verraten, Sie sollten nicht vor Schimpansen strippen. Josephine Baker war berühmt für ihre Bananenröckchen. Und das nächste Mal erzähle ich Ihnen, was Sie keinesfalls tun sollten, wenn Sie sich vor paarungsbereiten Pavianen ausziehen. Honestly, I have no clue if you mistranslated that. Mit Ihrer Spielertaste be... Kleine Spritztour gefällig, hier <lacht> kommt Bleifuß. Jawohl! Sie kennen das Spielchen ja. Drücken Sie Ihren Buchstaben, wenn das Wort erscheint, das zu den beiden vorgegebenen Ausdrücken passt. Und denken Sie dran, sich die richtigen Antworten für die Bonusrunde am Ende der Frage zu merken. Okay, und jetzt hauen wir den Turbo rein. Dann wollen wir mal. Heimat einer Wurmart. Und auf dem mm Weg sein. Was ist der gemeinsame Nenner dieser beiden Ausdrücke? Holz. Wunderbar. Die EU hat einen aus Butter und kommt unter Umständen zum Propheten. Ich habe keine Ahnung. Ein Berg. Und was die Gräfin spielte. Ist das der Tennisarm? Wahrscheinlich ist das der Tennisarm. Ja, das ist der Tennisarm. Ist Ski, ne? Jetzt war Ski. Ja, Lack ist es. Da ist er. Yeah! Die Kinder. Was machen die Kinder denn hier? Befestigte Wege und die Eier von San Francisco. Wahrscheinlich die Straßen, ne? Ja. Yep. Yeah. Okay, bleiben Sie auf dem Gas. Es gibt noch einen Bonus zu holen. Was haben alle richtigen Antworten von eben gemeinsam? Ich habe keine Ahnung. Ich habe keinen Plan. Ich will es gerne erst versuchen. Was war los? Ist Ihnen der Motor abgesoffen? Kopfstreichler. Wunderbar. Waren die Schuhe, ne? 
Ah, es waren die Schuhe. Kinderstraßen, alles Schuharten und alle waren ihnen anscheinend eine Nummer zu groß. Yep. So weit, so gut. Und so sieht ihr augenblicklicher Kontostand aus. Das ist eine Menge. Wenn ein Möglich Wir machen Westernhelden und plastische Chirurgie. Das ist wirklich okay, hin. die Frage. Wenn John Wayne sich eine neue Reithose schneidern lassen will, der Schneider ihm aber eine Reithose im medizinischen Sinn aufschwatzt. Was kauft John Wayne dann? Eine entzündliche Erkrankung, Fetzeln, einen Blutschwamm oder Bindegewebe? Wahrscheinlich die vier, aber ich bin mir dann nicht sicher. Ich möchte mein Geld nicht verlieren. Sie haben es zwar nicht verdient, aber ich verrate Ihnen trotzdem die richtige Antwort. Eine Reithose hm. ist übermäßiges Fettgewebe an den Oberschenkeln. John Wayne war übrigens nicht begeistert von dem Fehlkauf und hat auch gleich auf seine unvergleichliche Art reklamiert. Oh. Drücken Sie Ihre... Und diese Frage läuft unter der Kategorie... Tumult bei der Modenschau. Fertig machen zum Knöpfchen drücken. Hier kommt die Frage. Sagen wir, Christian Dior bringt eine neue Kollektion namens Christians Dioretika heraus. Welche Kleidungsstücke können wir dann vermutlich bald kaufen? Mit Bibeltexten bedruckte Hemden, Bauchspeicheldrüsenförmige Hüte, Jacketts mit Hirnmuster oder... Dioretika sind Medikamente, die das Wasser lassen fördern. Also Jawohl! Hosen mit Urinrändern. Und ich höre, Mehr Geld für mich. Hat sich bepisst vor Begeisterung. <lacht> Natürlich. Ach eben, und wenn ein Müll. Ja, ja, klar, das haben sie absichtlich gemacht. Nein, habe ich nicht. Die Kategorie. Sag ja oder ich schieße. Augen auf den Bildschirm, hier ist die Frage. Was sollten Sie anziehen, wenn Sie als Mann zu einer russischen Hochzeit eingeladen werden? Anzug und Krawatte, eine kugelsichere Weste, eine Wehrmachtsuniform oder einen Taucheranzug? Ach, jetzt haben Sie sich für so schlau gehalten und wir haben Sie doch dran gekriegt. Ich habe keine Ahnung. Nur der Form halber die richtige Antwort. Am besten Anzug und Krawatte, wie überall. Denn den Begriff russische Hochzeit haben wir extra für Sie frei erfunden. Oh, das ist fies. Ein schönes Gefühl, wenn man so reingelegt wird, was? Das ist echt fies. Versuchen Sie mit Ihrer... Oh, da ist eine Menge Geld. Windhose. Ein, ein Erdmantel. Wunderbar. Rein mein Donaukanal? Nee. Ärmelkanal. Das ist die Gürtelhose. Deutschrock. Da spielen die Ärzte. Und die toten Hosen. Stimmt das? Da bin ich sehr gut drauf, drauf reingefallen. Ja, gar nicht mal. Ah! Ich muss. Ich man merkt schon, dass ich seit sechs Stunden hier bereits sitze. Aua. <lacht> Na gut. Hab's wenigstens versucht. Okay, dann sehen wir uns mal den Endstand an. Und hier haben wir ihn. 
Hm, das ist nicht schlecht. Das ist doch ganz gut. Abwärts. Und das war's mit dem dritten Juno Jack Titel. Wunderbar. Dann noch schnell den, den Punktestand neu aufgeschrieben. Und schnell zum letzten deutschen Spiel. Quick PSA for, for all the English viewers. This is the last German, German title. Should only take like 10 minutes. It's gonna be fun. Na dann wollen wir mal. Was soll denn schon schief gehen? Dann wollen wir mal. Oh, ich liebe diese uralten 3D-Intros. Die sind wundervoll. Äh, eigentlich kann ich mir um die Uhrzeit was Schöneres vorstellen, als zu arbeiten. Naja, was soll's. Es ist Willkommen Morgens. bei You Don't Know Jack. Wie viele tapfere kleine Kandidaten haben wir denn heute? Ich finde ich find die, find diesen Ausblick auf, den, auf die Glatze von Jack echt immer noch nicht gerade toll. Okay, dann bräuchte ich jetzt noch Ihren Namen. Wunderbar. Also, Ihre Spielertaste ist der Buchstabe B. B wie Baldrian-Tablette. Okay, Ohren aufsperren. Ich erkläre Ihnen, wie das Ganze funktioniert. Sie bekommen jetzt einen Haufen Fragen gestellt. Wenn Sie denken, Sie wissen die Antwort, drücken Sie erst Ihre Spielertaste und dann die Nummer der betreffenden Antwort. Alles klar? Dann bleibt mir nur noch, Ihnen viel Glück zu wünschen. Ist das Spiel abgeschmiert? Yep. Das Spiel ist komplett abgestürzt. Was ist denn da passiert? Ah, verdammt. You know what? I, th I think I know what happened. Uh, basically, I install I install a quote unquote patch for the for the English you don't know, you don't know Jack Six because that one is based on the German you don't know Jack Four. Apparently, this doesn't fully work with the German one, so we're just gonna skip this game. Yes, I know it's anticlimactic, and probably not the best the best choice. But you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skip ahead in the schedule, just pass this, because this just doesn't seem to be working. Because that is absolutely not supposed to happen. I'll have to do some testing later to make sure that it still works. So. Next up is Euron Jack 2011, which means we're back to the English games. But since we're just jumping ahead in schedule, we're jumping we're jumping into another break because it's been six hours. I need another break. But yes, uh, I'll take another five minute break and I'll see you when I'm back. And then we're we're tackling the three modern titles, and then we're done. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> see you in a bit.
Hi, I return once again. Uh, and now we made it back to the English titles, which means <laughs> it's time for the game that I'm actually in the category for, which is Sputum Jack 2011. It's a good one. Can I close this door? Yes, I did. We're good. But yes, here it is. You're not Jack 2011. Please. Here we go. Startup game has been activated. Oh yeah, this one forces you to use the keyboard. I can't use my controller on this one. Demonstrators threw hot dogs, knockwurst, and kielbasa as the prime minister's most. And here we go. This is 30 seconds, folks. Ooh, hello, I'm Donnie. What in the sand hill are you doing up at this hour? It's practically the crap of dawn. I guess it's serpendipity that I, too, am awake then. So since I'm all wide-eyed and bully-tailed, you may as well tell me how many players there are. Okay, it's just me. one indivisible. Fantastic. Now enter your name for me. Great, now I get to tell you the institutional. You'll get a question. Mm -hmm. When you gleam the right answer, choose the boutonniere next to it. There is a timer, so the sooner you buzz in, the more Sumerians you will make. <laughs> or lose. Okay, you're ready on set. Ten seconds. Best fishes. Here we go. Fly check. Six. Five. Go to black. Four. Three. In your coffin. <coughs> Hi, I'm Cookie, and four out of five dentists agree, I'm a great kisser. The English has returned, it's true. Will you be my Facebook friend? <laughs> and our wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... Fistable Bowling Equipment, Inc. Bury yourself in your ball, right up to your wrist. Fistable Bowling Equipment. Still naming answers, though. Understandable. Sponsors wrong but now, the game, you'll be these are modern. With big prizes and cash. Meaning this one's only 11 years old. <laughs> okay, let's not waste any more time. First question, Muppet Rabies. Considering their natural life cycles, which Muppet baby shouldn't have arms? Baby Fozzie, Baby Rolf, Baby Piggy, or Baby Cur- Frogs are armless tadpoles during the early stages of their life cycles. So really, baby Kermit shouldn't have any arms or legs. Smart. Or be able to talk, or sleep in a crib with a bear and a pig. Now that I think about it, there are a lot of problems with that show. True. Buck her up for... Girl Got Issues. If Joan of Arc revealed her visions on the Dr. Phil show, what would he tell mm. her? Let's get real, you don't really want to kill your dad. Maybe the dragon you're really afraid of is you. Talking to dragon? saints is just one tool from the religious what? shed. Or, get your head out of the gutter. There's probably a joke I'm you made here, up. but I have no idea. Not even a guess? That's pretty lame. You should have guessed this. Look, I know that's lame. Joan of Arc claimed to hear the voices of Saints Michael, Catherine, and Margaret, which persuaded her to save France from the English attempt at conquest in the 100 Years War. Huh. Interesting. Dr. Phil only answers to one voice, and that's Oprah. And now, all headbands on deck. If the CEO of Old Navy required his employees to refer to him as the highest naval officer rank, how should he be addressed? The captain of cargo pants? The master commander of mittens? In the naval hierarchy, the fleet admiral is the highest possible ranking. Back with big mood swing. Oh. But that's just his dead That does title. not seem very At optimal. Home, he requires his but hey, welcome to back, mate. to him as the seaman of boxer shorts. Hope you can enjoy this cool and epic gaming. Now in English and again. Way, Intern Art History 101. And yep, it's a dis or dat. Oh boy. I'm gonna read off seven names. For each one, tell me if it's a video with over a quarter million views on YouTube. This was in 2011. Oh god. Renoir. If it's a YouTube video, press one on your keyboard. If it's a Renoir painting, yeah, first it said hiding. press the number oh, by the way, two. Ooh. Each one right gets you $300. Whoa. But get one wrong, 300 bucks goes down the YouTube. And you but have hey, 30 mate. seconds to paint this picture. Okay, let's move. 
Woman in a rocking chair. Two young girls at the beach. Dog eats dinner. Great lady falls. Young boy with a cat. History of dance. Nude on Damn it. That's the bar. Maybe Yikes. Maybe you need to take more art classes. Or maybe you need to watch more videos of people getting whacked in the groin. Yeah, YouTube back then was probably a bit different. I mean, this is 2011 we're talking about. I mean, hey, nowadays, I could even be included in one of these questions because I think I have one video with over 250k views, but I would have to check again. Cookie loves them cat videos on YouTube. They're pretty good. It's more than a decade ago, yep. I mean, hey, at least it's not as ancient as the other ones. If I wanted to whack one mole worth of moles during a game of whack-a-mole, how many would that be? 3.14159 moles? 8,000 moles? Somewhere but One mole is a unit Avogadro's of measure number. used in chemistry that is equal to Avogadro's number, which is roughly 602 followed by 21 zeros. That's a lot of moles. Smart. And whacking that many moles will win me 25.3 billion Dave & Buster's prize tickets, which is almost enough to win an ashtray and a comb. Turn up my Minecraft all day and missing Moses Jim turn up. Hey, Avatar. I mean, hey, we still have like an hour to go, if not more. Keep in mind, all the prizes are doubled in round two. Well, no time like the present. Coming up, stop eating your crayons. Which Ruben. of these is not a Crayola crayon eating another Crayola crayon? Oh, God. An elephant eating a peanut, a manatee eating a salmon, a canary eating an inchworm, or a beaver eating macaroni and cheese? <laughs> Dang it. Want to see the answer? I kid you not, Crayola has 120 of what they call core colors, and six of them are manatee, salmon, canary, inchworm, beaver, and macaroni and cheese. There is no elephant or peanut. Wow. Some other actual Crayola colors I could have used, a timber wolf eating asparagus, a pink flamingo eating cotton candy, and a beaver eating macaroni and cheese. Wait, did I already mention that? <laughs> I guess I did. Oh well. That is a lot. Sure I mentioned a beaver eating macaroni and cheese. Well, let's beaver eating macaroni and cheese on to the next question. Question! Hi again, Snowbolt. How about You've joined perfectly my back perfectly and my gym with the English ones me. again. Oh man, I had another really bonkers dream last night. Oh, eating oh boy. Pizza and watching a movie before bed. Why can't I quit you? Anyway, in the dream, I figured out a way to live among my cats, mayonnaise and poopsie by downloading my brain into a fake cat. I learned about and became a part of their cat culture. Meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. But then my mom attacked all of us and destroyed the giant tree where we all lived. Hmm. Which is crazy because my mom really is a cat person. Anyway, what freaking movie was I watching last night that gave me such a weird dream? Watchmen? At... Oh yeah, I was watching James Cameron's Avatar. Avatar. The German games as well as those English ones? Was pretty amazing yes, dream. but I mean, uh... Best dream of the year or anything, to say the good. least, one of the, the first one did not age well at all. Was a little awkward, though. That's all I'm gonna say on that. Let's try... Who arted? Which of these classic toys would French artist George Seurat probably enjoy the most? Play-Doh, Alphabet Magnets, Light Bright, or Etch-A-Sketch? I don't know art. I don't know, yeah, it was a bit of a small yikes moment, but I'm fine. Everything should be fine. <laughs> Watch your time! Just take a guess next time. What's the worst that can happen? Did I lose? George Seurat is considered the father of pointillism, a painting technique using a combination of colored dots just like a light bright. Hmm. And speaking of classic toys, Silly Putty is great if you want to counterfeit any works of art, except that they always come out in reverse and flesh colored. I'm
Here's one I like to call Windows 7. Which musician could not no, use your name of art. as a Windows file Me neither. name? Kesha, Questlove, Will I Am, or Old Dirty Bastard? I don't think you're gonna have a question mark. Windows file names cannot contain a less than, greater than, colon, double quotation mark, forward or backslash, vertical bar, asterisk, or question mark. So Questlove couldn't name a file with his name on a Windows computer. Hell yeah. But he could just pick a different symbol. Well, almost any symbol. He couldn't be colon love. Smart. Sometimes. I am smart. But that's not very often. Hopscotch on the rocks. Okay, take a moment to collect your thoughts. Mm -hmm. This next question is going to require some high-level mathematical thinking. What oh I'm boy. about to ask you has puzzled humans for centuries. Mm -hmm. Ready? How many squares do you make when you play four square? Four, five, six, or eight? Cookie? I don't know what four square even is. Like, seriously, I have no clue. This is pathetic. Do I need to start answering the questions, too? There are the four titular squares, of course. Then there's the one big square they make up together. Five minutes of dumb game. Fair. I how many squares there are in a tic-tac-toe board, but I didn't want to blow your mind. There's only one. It's that simple. There's only one square in a tic-tac-toe board. Step right up to the jack attack. When you see two clues that match, press one. Four thousand dollars for a right answer. Four thousand gone if you're wrong. And Gonna one more thing. so sad, apparently. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. What does your P mean? My P is just perfect. Good luck. Of course. Yes, that's public. Public Broadcasting Service. Progressive. I have no idea. HPV. Hmm. No idea. That's phosphorus. Phineas. What a great name. PM, that's post. I still have no idea what, what this one is. Hmm. Polio would make sense because maybe it's the polio vaccine. That's yeah, puff. Interesting. And here's the score. That's the game! That went really well. Well, hey, now that kind of score is the kind of score that'll get you noticed. Not by anyone of the opposite sex, or by your boss, or instructor, or parents, or neighbors, or by no means anyone in the media, but noticed nonetheless by those few people who'll see your name on the high scoreboard and mm -hmm. say, hmm, hmm. You don't know Jack! Hell yeah. That'll do it, folks. What's going on, Donnie? All right, give me the hey sign if you're interested in more playage. We're not leaving this house, mister, until you rush your... And there we go. That is, you know, Jack 2011. Put on weight and make it stay. This is your pop. Huffed in and P. Diddy. Interesting. Anyways, time to... Quit game. Update the score. Two, three, eight, six, three, four, five. 
No, the sneakers have got to go to bed. Understandable. Have a good sleep, Avatar. Thanks for stopping by. And now, for the second to last game. That's a big Uno Jack, Uno Jack score reward, yes. And I'm keeping it. You, you're not going to get any of this. I'm going to use it to buy more games. <laughs> and here we go. That is loud. That is incredibly loud. And for this one, I'll need my controller. New pounds and euros from the UK and DE games? Well, and DM, because uh, the first one is so old, it still uses the... It still uses the uh, Deutschmark, which is... Which one, one mark is half a euro. Startup game activation is live. I'm gonna turn on the volume, but that is a bit loud. At least for me. So, here we go. And play a single player. We are good to go. But yes, I just didn't bother and just treated them all as if they were dollars. I am Cookie Masterson, and I shaved my nipples for this, so let's hurry before it grows back. Like, so this is a single player projectathon. Not really. Once I'm done with one random full stream, the rest is going to be full of Euro games. You just get out of prison? So yes, you can join in like half an hour. Yummy! Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. <laughs> so let's get to it. Here we go. Spice flavored, yummy. Right off the top, eat, pray, die. Which of these Julia Roberts characters would Jack the Ripper have been most likely to savagely murder? Karen Brockovich, Vivian Ward, Tess Ocean, or Liz Gilbert? I have no idea. My brain very smooth and empty. But the music is good. Not much time left. I don't know who any of those people are. Not even a stab in the dark? Who knows, you might have picked this. Vivian Ward is the name of the prostitute Julia Roberts plays in Pretty Woman. And almost hmm. all of serial killer Jack the Ripper's alleged victims were female prostitutes. So he'd probably have just loved to murder her. Interesting. I can see it now. He'd open the box with his knife in it. She'd reach in and he'd playfully shut it, snapping Pats. her fingers. She'd laugh, awesome. he'd laugh, then he'd kill her. Hey. Coming up, if I only had a brain trust. Suppose the Scarecrow from The Wizard of Oz faced off against the Wicked Witch of the West in a public debate. If he wanted to use a straw man argument against her, what might he do? Attack the Wicked Witch's character rather than the issues? Misrepresent the Wicked Witch's position on the issues? Prove the Wicked Witch wrong using statistical data? Or inter- A straw man argument purposefully misrepresents an opponent's position in order to strike it down. Yes, that's There's a Strowman no argument. Debate the Wicked Witch. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the two candidates you see here tonight is a Wicked Witch. Thank you, I yield the rest of my time. Dance with me, disco three. I love how they went all out with the question segues. This one's called... Getting or segues. Naughty. That's how I pronounce it, I think. I don't know. Up. I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one, you tell me if it's the name of a necktie knot, or the name of a sex position recommended by Women's Health magazine. If it's Mom, can you can pick me up? I want to go home. If it's a sex position, press the B button. Okay, we're off. The half, the valedictor, the Prince Albert. The Trinity, the Caboose, the Chairman, the Four and Half. You wear clip-ons, don't you? 
Look, I did some research on how to tie a nice tie. My I had to do that a couple times. Is also the way I usually tie a tie. And the Trinity tie knot is really cool. Mirror. Like, it's, it looks awesome, but it's impossible to get right. Like, seriously. If you ever tie your tie, or tie in, a, in a Trinity Coming knot, next, you literally cannot adjust how long, long it is. Drops. It is awful. At Christmas time, every single item at your local mall sells out. According to a popular grim fairy tale, which of these stores has the best chance to be magically stocked overnight by hardworking elves? Foot Locker, Radio Shack, Victoria's Secret. One right answer coming up. In the grim fairy tale, The Elves and the Cobbler, a poor shoemaker is given some much needed help by elves who appear in the middle of the night. And while the shoemaker made a nice profit, the elves were trampled to death on Black Friday. I think your vision's blurred. But clear your eyes tastefully with these flavored eye drops. All those in flavor, say I. Today's wrong answer of the game is worth a tidy 4,000 bucks. There you Hell go. yeah. Yeah, the wrong answer of the game is that's a mechanic in Unojack 2011 and 2015. And they give Take you money. Okia dokia. If you're driving between company headquarters, which trip should be the shortest? Ikea to Kia, Kia to Nokia, Nokia to Ikea, or Ikea, Nokia, and Kia headquarters are exactly the same distance apart. It's Ikea to Kia because... No, way, Kia and Kia so... It's this one. Kia is based in Finland, yeah, and Ikea Kia is, is in Sweden. Right next door in Sweden. And Kia, Kia is, is South Korean. South Korea. There we go. Whether it's phones, furniture, or cars, if it's got Kia in the name, you know it's gonna be cheap. I mean inexpensive. Inexpensive! Yes. Round one is in the books, and you're in pretty good shape for now. Don't forget, in round two, all the cash is doubled. It's time. Bah, 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 bah. More pets. Arson. And now, muscle milk was a bad choice. Say the news team from the Anchorman films decides to run a relay race against a rival news team. If Ron Burgundy is his team's anchor, when will he run? Before Brick, Brian, and Champ? After Brick and Brian, but before Champ? Before Brian and Champ, but after Brick? Or after Brick, Brian, and Champ? I think the anchor was the first one. Whammy! Damn it! Oh, you're gonna kick yourself. In a relay race, the anchor, usually the fastest runner, goes last. Ah. And they would probably promote the race so incessantly that by the time it actually took place, you wouldn't be that interested in seeing it anymore. Ah, damn, I thought the anchor would... To me, even being the first would make the most into the sense. Why was that one louder than the rest? This one's known as... Guess who's Dak? Dak again. You know, I'm not an optimist, but I have to say, I feel like things have been going pretty well with the game so far. Yeah, it's pretty good. Daddy for Dad about me. Oh no, oh, my no. Old ventriloquist puppet Billy O'Brien. Oh no. Who's the dummy? Not me. Billy, the yeah, so he doesn't have a hand up and go all running. Not that makes in sense. Because you're too much of a troublemaker. I don't know sport, me neither. Me? No. I just got back from traveling Look, I, the world, I, I sit at home and play video games. I don't do sports. Spiritual leaders. For instance, which titular religious group was found to die someone with the last name of Snit? Protestants at his The Mormon religion was founded in the 1800s by Joseph Smith. In Hell America. Yeah. So, which was your favorite religion you studied? Well, I particularly like the ones that treats the doubt reincarnation. Sunday, I hope the conduct is a beautiful coffee table. Follow me down to the sea. Oh, Here's one for you. Orca's Eleven. Say I wanted to go around freeing the killer whales from every SeaWorld location in the world. How many separate rescue missions would I need to go on? Huh. Three rescue missions, four rescue missions, five rescue missions, or six rescue missions? I don't know SeaWorld, I only know Sea Life, which is... Which is a quote-unquote brand of aquariums. 
and I know, and I've been to at least five of them. Time's running out. They're pretty good. There's nothing wrong with just guessing, you know. Watch how I do it. There are three Sea Worlds: one in San Diego, one in San Antonio, and one in Orlando. So you would need to go on three separate rescue missions. Hmm, interesting. Well, that sounds like a lot of traveling. Maybe I'll just pay that kid from Free Willy to do it. Something tells me he could use the cash. Yeah, probably. How about Kangaroo, Peanuts, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, yeah. or Uranus? The name of Jeff Dunham's purple-skinned puppet. Kangaroo, Peanuts, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? Hmm. I don't know who Jeff Dunham is. So I'm guessing Peanut, because that makes most His sense. Name is Peanut. Yes! I have to admit, people who talk through ventriloquist puppets kinda creep me out. Get you talk through me! Quiet, Billy. Stop trying to get me to kill people. Wow! Now you're creeping me out, man! Well then. <laughs> Not the ice cream, no. I call this the one ventriloquist the medium. midnight run yeah. to the bathroom. I didn't know that. According to Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, how would Paul Revere secretly signal to you that he has to pee in the sea? I have to do a number one in a one. I have to do a number one in a two. I have to do a number one in a three. Or I have to do a number two in a one. I know it's everything except the... It can be anything except the bottom one because number two is taking a shit. Time's a-wasting. According to Henry Wadsworth Longfellow's I guessed. poem, Paul Revere's Ride, Paul's I signal win. for the British was yes. one if by land, two if by sea. And as we all know, a number one is a P. And Americans would have known about the British sooner if he hadn't stopped for a number four. You don't even want to know what that is. Brace yourself for the attack. When you see two clues that match, press your A button. Two thousand bucks if you're right, but you lose two thousand if you're wrong. And one more thing. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this oh boy. clue. This plus this equals that. What new thing do these combine to make? Good luck. That's pink. Come on. Come on. There we go. That's salt. Come on. There we go. That took a while. That's a beefalo. Or is it? Now I'm second guessing myself. No, it wasn't. Diacocamentos, a great time. <laughs> Diacocamentos, Mentos, it's funny. Oh no, wait, that was... that was Captain America. There we go. That does not sound very delicious, not gonna lie. That does not sound like a good combination of beverages. I'm gonna be completely honest there. Well, still, still not as awful as, still not as awful as, um, still not as awful as Pilk, so should be fine. Coddling bowling is awesome. This is super tasty, understandable. There you have it! 
do a 790. There we go. Together. For example, I crossed the Wolverine with a baboon and wound up with what I'm calling a Wolverine. Don't worry, I brought a strong lock to the cage. I have it right here in my hand. <laughs> Miss Truman? Yes, you did. I love, I love the, I love this game. It's great, and great news. Hey, Jerry, doing a little yard work. Oh yeah. Great news. We have, we have reached the 400k mark. 409,135 dollars. And now. We're on to the last game. Yeah, we're almost done. There's only one single game left in the series that we haven't gotten to yet. And that is Udino Jack full stream from the Jackbox Party Pack 5. And for this, I need to reorganize my desktop. At least slightly. There we go. Yeah. Here it is. You don't know Jack full stream. The last game of the marathon. <laughs> I'm getting very, very tired. <laughs> Binge Pipe not only gives you quality content, we provide menu screens to reach that content. Fair point. Now I'm just gonna do this. And hide this real quick. You can feel free to join the audience if you want to. Some people Give said me more Binge money. Pipe was crazy for launching a streaming service inside a party pack of five games and offering no way to actually monetize it. And we're... Taking that under advisement, binge pipe, Behold. we're open to constructive criticism. So if you want to hop in the audience and give me more money by being bad at the game, feel free to hop in with the, with the room code CWAD. Because yes. <laughs> I like being able to stream movies day or night, and I don't mind a lot of I mean, hey, we'll play, we'll play this, we'll play this after, afterwards a anyways. Yeah, that's my name. I think I'm a ghost. We are Binge Pipe! The following Binge Pipe content is sponsored by the Roller Coaster Attack. And just Society. in the meantime, we while we have some time, I'm gonna keep a little bit of time if you want to hop on in. I'm gonna take a sip of water. Stay hydrated, gamers. Injury or death. <laughs> the walls! They're bleeding! Agua. Oh my god! The microwave screen just told me water. the time and date of my death! It is only audience. Yep, that is. I thought my wall thing was pretty scary. Oh, I you didn't have to. Worry. I mean, yes, I'm calling this one is going to be officially the last game of the marathon. Afterwards, we're going to play actual games of this with you, ga with you gamers. Way too early in their relationship. We should leave. End of this ad, and then we're starting. Want to? No, we'll do whatever you want to do. I love the fake well, ads. I, I want you to make a decision. Whoa. Hold on. I picked dinner last night. Their lack of communication is downright scary. I need to get out of here. I'm going to my book club. I'll go with you. Leave. <gasps> Leave room for your own interests. But Alice's friends love me. Maybe we should hear the ghost out. He's always on your side. There's no sides here. Available Ooh. on Valentine's Day. Susan, you are cold and unrelatable, and no and one likes your peanut noodle salad. Binge Pipe, much to the chagrin of its board of directors, presents You Don't Know Jack. Hey, here it is. Binge Pipe, woke programming, straight up evil business practices. So true. Hey, it's your host, Cookie Masterson, and Hi, here's Cookie. a free idea. Pants for plants. 
You're welcome. That's a crazy idea. Player one, please say your name out loud now. Hi, it's me. Yeah, it doesn't do anything, but at least there's no one around to make fun of you. And I see we've got some gawkers in the audience, which means I'll Nobody be here. an audience bonus Damn. to every question. The more audience members get a question right, the less bonus money goes to the players. Yes, I want more bonus money. Really that is my simple it. answer. That right answer is going to be worth major moolah. We can make fun of you. Please, 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 please don't. Okay, it's Please don't make fun of me. Eh. Time for question one. Ow. First question. The clippity clop of anxiety. Most young people these days are terrified of celebrity horses. And who can blame mm -hmm. them? Which of these would literally need a trigger warning? Gandalf's horse, the Lone Ranger's horse, Sheriff Woody's horse, or Roy Rogers' horse? I have no idea, I'm guessing. <laughs> Hope you like what you picked. You killed it! Your chances, I mean. Ouch. I thought it was obvious it was this one. Western film star and singer Roy Rogers was never far from his trusty horse, Trigger. Trigger even had a movie named after him, My Pal Trigger. And after falling out the unfortunate sequel, Trigger, You Bastard. Hallelujah. Understandable. Hallelujah. It's time for acting. Who is Sir Patrick Stewart? That actor from Trolls, that actor from the Emoji movie, that actor from The Nut Job, or that what? actor from the Angry Birds movie? <sighs> I have no idea. <laughs> Damn it, this one is up to date. This is from 2018. Distinguished actor Sir Patrick Stewart portrayed the voice of Poop in the Emoji movie. Ah. God, I love the theater. And how'd the audience do on that one? Wow, you'd think a group of people who've chosen to spend their time watching other people play a video game would be smarter. That means the right answer is worth a little extra. Buy yourself something nice. Up next, I get more mooner. You chad me at hello, and it's time for a dis or dat. I'm going to read seven things. For each, I want you to tell me if it's the name of the leading male on The Bachelor or a brand of literal beef sticks. Don't think too hard. Wow. I'm only giving you a few seconds Incredible. to decide between The Bachelor or beef stick. I don't know any of these. Good. Jack Links. Ben Higgins. I'm just guessing all of these, mostly. Armor Eckridge. Pavelka. Lorenzo Borghese. Hmm. I'm just purely guessing. I have no idea. Eddie Packing. Educated guesses. They can work sometimes. It's pretty good. Matt, like the British? I think I aced this one. Hell the yeah. The stakes are for the weak. Okay, let's move along. Hell yeah, absolutely aced it. <gasps> America's Funniest Dragon Pride Falls. Incredible. Why not try? If you hate people, every room can feel like an escape room. You ever Literally done one me. of those escape rooms? You know, where you get locked in a room with people and you have to solve a bunch of puzzles. Yeah, I've done a couple with my family. They're no, pretty I'm good. Not talking about high school. What's the most useful thing to scream while participating in an escape room that takes place in a tack room? Look under the doilies, check by the swords, feel inside the saddles, or fish around in the toilet. Hmm. 
I have no idea. Guessing time. Okay, let's take a look. Attack room is attached to a horse stable and is yes. used to store the saddles. As opposed to the tact room, which is where you take the horses to have direct and sensitive conversations with them. Next up, the quick brown the fox jumped over the lazy dog. Just take that in for a moment. Okay. Arrange the letters from the title of this question into alphabetical order for me. Brown dog fox jumped lazy over quick the the. Brown dog jumped fox lazy quick over the the the. Brown dog fox jumped lazy over quick the the the. Or brown dog jumped fox lazy over quick the 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 the. That is a that is an that is pain. I love this part. The title of this question was, The Quick Brown the Fox Jumped Over the Lazy Dog. It's a classic pangram, but I snuck another the in there, so alphabetically it goes, Brown Dog Fox Jumped Lazy Over Quick the the the. That was story, annoying. I once had a brown dog My fox, brain almost melted. Jumping lazy over quick the the does. So, uh, this is actually surprisingly accurate. You can tell that I've been live for seven hours. <laughs> Round one is officially behind us. This has been good for me so far. Is it good for you? Oh, and uh, remember, questions are worth twice as much ah. round two. Okay, back at it. Six trombones is not a parade. Behold. OMG. Let's say Cheese Whiz got in on the <gasps> gee biz. What would be the gee whiz Hats. slogan? Oh, I see. It's milk, fermented. It's cream, clotted. It's yogurt, diluted. Or it's butter, clarified. Once again, I'm guessing. <laughs> so what'd you pick? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna kick yourself. Ghee is clarified butter used in lots of Indian and Pakistani dishes. Huh. Hey, pets were very delayed. Ghee is better than butter. I mean, hey, that's how it be sometimes. Butter for butter than butter. Does that make sense? Hey, question. <gasps> We'd like to offer you a chance to gain some content while also losing some other content. Would you like a question about mom? Or a question about dad. Make your choice now. Make your selection. You have engaged More pets. the process. Awesome. Je trouve Jerry Lewis sonnant légèrement amusant. C'est awesome. Coming up next, a question about mom. Whose theme song describes them as a bad mother? Murphy Brown, Ally McBeal, Roseanne, or Shaft? I have no idea. I'm gonna be guessing again. Let's see how that shook out. Wait, I thought we were gonna cut Roseanne out of this question. <laughs> the better choice would have been a lyric in the theme to this film describes this cat Shaft as a bad mother. Hmm. If you found this question misleading, I'm sorry. I was just talking about Shaft. Understandable. Was then I learned to heed the winds of it. This one's known as Need four more subscribers to fund Sistine Chapel. <laughs> If Michelangelo had a Patreon page, which user would be subscribed? Pope John 007, Leonardo da Vinci is the bestie, Medici family, wow. Russell, or the real Vespucci? Uh, that is beautiful. I'm going to be completely guessing. But this is hilarious. Okay, what'd you pick? Oh, ouch. Ouch. Smart people choose this. The Medici family ruled Florence and were some of Michelangelo's biggest patrons. Beautiful. <laughs> Pay 
Patreon makes it so simple to support the artists I love. Like, not the artists I actually love, but like my friend from college who started a music blog I never read. Insert ad for subscribing here. Try this on for size. Octopus coffee, Queen Elizabeth or Frankenstein? Octopus coffee, Queen Elizabeth or Frankenstein? It's monster. Who would be the Mike Klein who loves Twitch? Uh, the official Bob Ross channel, probably. In the NBC series Grimm. Octopus coffee, Queen Elizabeth or Frankenstein? I don't. Uh, it'd be just the easy Let's answer. See how that shook out. Keep your chin up. Damn it. Here's what a right answer looks like. Adeline Shade huh. was a frequently seen witch-like creature on Grimm, played by actress Claire Coffey. Interesting. I watch Grimm every morning. Don't talk to me until I've had my Claire Coffey. I'm gonna lose a lot of money in this one. <laughs> Next, alcohol of fame. Bad news if you're hoping to make bourbon out of Keith Urban, because unlike Keith Urban, bourbon has to be made in the USA, less than 50 years old, completely corn free, or kept far away from Nicole Kidman. I'm completely unsure about this one. I don't know much alcohol. I love this part. According to U.S. federal regulations, yes. whiskey must be made in the United States to be classified as bourbon. Keith Urban was born in New Zealand. A lot of Money. American country stars have foreign origins. Yeah, Shania Twain is from Canada, and Tim McGraw was chiseled out of Grecian marble. And here it is. The last jack attack. Of the goddamn... Marathon. Welcome to the attack. Ah. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And don't forget... It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Saying the right thing in any language. Oh Try no. Not to embarrass yourself multilingually. Je ne parle pas. Luck. Je ne parle pas français. I can see English. Hell yeah. I love how funny Dutch sounds. Ikpen <laughs> Bos means something different, I think. I did this as a shoot, but it's like a shoot, shoot brand. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that I shit myself when I say goodbye to someone. <laughs> yes, that is what that means. Then you're at the end. That's it. 
You're number one in this game and in my heart. I have to admit, though, your score was impressively mediocre. Not that it Hell matters yeah. since... Hell yeah. And this means... I get to the cache to my... I'm gonna be tapped in for this to work. Not a motor. If you like menu screens, you'll love Binge Pipes menu screen. And this means... We're officially done. And with a final score... Of... Two hundred and twenty-four thousand five hundred sixty-eight dollars. Hell yeah! And wow, more pets. I'm gonna be honest, this went way better than I thought it would. Because fun fact, when I did this last year, uh, where I had a, a few less games, I barely managed to get over like a hundred ten thousand dollars. And yeah, this huge success, in my opinion. So, let us do some of this. And play some of the game. Is Dragon very smart? No. Anyway, it's time to go into them settings. And get this game ready. So yes, if you want to hop on in, go to jackbox.tv. You will need you will need to, to hit the three bars at the top left and let and send it to which because you know a security measure. And then you get to play. Here at Binge Pipe, name recognition is priority Binge Pipe. So Binge Pipe a Binge Pipe, and remember that Binge Pipe always Binge Pipes well into the Binge Pipe of Binge Pipe. And yay. It's first come, first serve. Hop on in. I'm going to reorganize my windows. I'm a mom. I'm a millennial. I'm really into movies where people eat takeout food. I don't even care what the movie's about. I just feel good when I watch those scenes. We are Binge Pipe! Here's a look at just some of the quality programming Binge Pipe had. Bears versus ducks. It pretty much plays out what you'd expect. It's like pizza, but for women. Oh, oh God, no. No, no. I love the fake ads. They're good. Something's happening to all the boys at Rosedale High. Yeah, it's puberty. I thought this would have happened sooner. Well, damn. If you don't love me, I'm going to war. Okay, see you when you get back. Bye. I accidentally pressed the wrong button. Damn. But yes. You know Jack. I should probably ping my Discord. That's you probably a good idea. You can play as an audience member and have an impact on the game. Like someone who objects at a wedding. Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting Cal. Oh no, you don't, you son of a bitch. Not this time. Honey, who was that? Where are the kids? Why did you yell? Who's at the door? Are the kids home? Yes, they're upstairs. Baby, you're scaring me. We can't stay here. Hey, What's just happening? one more minute. It's nothing. It's just something from my Where past. I? I can Doing handle stretch. it. Now, please go upstairs and pack an overnight damn. bag. I want you and the kids Seven to hours. Your tonight. If it's nothing, then why are we having to run? It's safe to say this took a bit longer than I expected. About. I said but hey, got they this. still have energy, Mommy, Daddy, so we're going to play some game. Hey, sport. Hell yeah. Mommy and Daddy were just having a conversation. How does a sleepover at Grandma sound tonight? We'll order a pizza. Awesome. Honey, someone's at the back door. God damn it. I told you not to mess with my family. 
Mommy, why is Daddy breaking a chair? I'm not sure. Why are you breaking a chair, Roger? Because I've got to board this door up, Maggie. Look, everything's gonna be fine. I just need you to grab my shotgun from the closet. Roger, you're scaring me. I swear, I'll explain everything later. Here's your gun. Oh no, Alice is up. Hey buddy, why don't you go look after your sister? Okay. Who is at the door, Roger? It's somebody who wants something from me. Who is at the door? I swear to God, can you just trust me for once? Who is at the door? It's an interrupting cow. There, you happy? It's an interrupting cow who... Moo. Streaming now on wow. an all new Lion Punch. I am the Lion Punch. A troubling revelation. <laughs> Master of the demon ways. Oh, yeah. Protector Is of the five shards of the crow. Gaming time. Morgan. We bought three seasons. Binge Pipe would like to express its deep regret for investing in You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe. Woke programming. Straight up evil business practices. You show how stupid I am. Understandable. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and if you're anything like me, you're about to host a trivia game. Oops. You know, in a game like this, you're really competing against yourself. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, you're, you're actually competing with the other players. Okay, let's begin. Time for question one. First up, is auto-tune still a thing? Yes, it is. I hope so. I brought out the auto-tune for this segment I call Tuna Rumors. Tell me which Atlantic bluefin tuna rumor is true. I heard if they stop swimming, they die. I heard they are cold-blooded. I heard the biggest one was 200 pounds. Or I heard they are vegetarian. Beautiful. <laughs> Who picked what? <laughs> this one's not your specialty. Ouch. All of us oh, got that wrong. Look at this. Tuna need water gaming. moving over their gills yeah, gaming. to breathe. So if they stop moving, they will suffocate. It's All okay of us got that wrong. Fish when the tuna Certified boom one true. moment. I mean, hey, at least all of us are equally smooth-brained. Here's one for you. Looks like Judas dined and dashed. What would you most likely have seen on Jesus' bill for the Last Supper? Party of 10, automatic 18% gratuity. Party of 13, automatic 18% gratuity. Party of 15, automatic 18% gratuity. Or party of 22, automatic 18% gratuity. What'd you guys pick? Pride goeth before a fall. <laughs> the Last Supper depicts Jesus and his 12 disciples. Yeah! And that 18% gratuity line was, I guess, gratuitous. Why do we do it with greed? Here SMH. we go. Yeah. I want to squawk and roll. I also want to diss or dat. I'm going to read seven names, and for each I want you to tell me if it's a rock band that has played Lollapalooza or an animal from Richard Scarry's Busy Town Help, I don't know any of these. Books. Answer I think quick. I forgot to disable you as questions. To between a rock band or a Richard Scarry animal. And you're all doing this together, so focus up. Ready? Let's go. Lonely Worm. Modest Mouse. Yes! Dr. Lion. That has to be it. Come on. No! Wolfgang Wolf. To be fair, that would have been a great name for a band. But I feel like that's the point that all of these will be good names for bands. But some of them just aren't. Joe Pug. Yes! Dr. Dog. I love guessing because I have no idea. Damn it. Dinosaur Jr. Oh, 
Damn it. Like humanity in general, most of you are just okay. But player three, uh, tough one. You failed to live up to my already very low expectations. Customer satisfaction seems to have dipped. Oh, that means it's screw time. Oh, no. <laughs> That's correct, binge pipe employee Cookie Masterson. Using the screw certified makes it screw moment. For all the other players to answer in a variety of pleasurable ways. And you'll receive a monetary bonus for any. I'll never finish the recover from this. Eh, I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. I couldn't have said it better myself, apparently. Just one more benefit of your binge pipe membership. You'll be fine. Yeah. Question four. Awesome. There is no hiding from... We love... We, we stay in question housewives. four in this household. Which of these real housewives moments would be an example of in pari delicto? Lisa Rinna and Lisa Vanderpump spread rumors about each other. Therefore, Lisa Vanderpump physically attacks Lisa Rinna. Lisa Rinna defends herself with a broken beer bottle. Or both Lisa's laugh and realize they're at equal fault. I have no idea. Also, Jade, don't forget you have a screw. You should probably use that. Okay, what'd you pick? In pari delicto is a legal term for when two parties are determined to both be at fault. Yes! These kinds of peaceful resolutions are exactly what the Real Housewives franchise is famous for. And how'd our lovely audience do? Good news! This audience is clueless. That Law school paying off finally. Bonus cash Hell right yeah. Answer. We'll see if your luck holds out. <laughs> Let's try. Got a second to feel bad about the environment? Yes. Sure, talking about the environment can bring down the room. That so second is over. The power Back to gaming. Acting. Which layered Meryl Street performance mirrors the state of the Earth's ozone layer? Mamma Mia, better than ever. Kramer versus Kramer, slowly healing. Death becomes her, doomed. Or Julie and Julia, pretty much the same. Use the screw, Jaden. Or not anymore, because everyone has already answered. <laughs> Screws are very good. You should use them if you can. You got it. Whoa. Oh, that was nice. NASA has confirmed the hole in the ozone is closing and could be gone by 2060. Hell yeah. Just in time for Meryl's character, Joanna, to be over the messy divorce and ready to date again. <laughs> Round one is over. How's everyone doing? Currently, player two is in the lead. <gasps> Very smart, Dirk. Player four, on awesome. the other hand, you are not good at doing this. Market research indicates that it's time for another screw. And don't forget, round two screws screw even harder. And you'll net more cash for each player that answers wrong. So don't be shy about using that thing. The rest of you better answer fast before you get screwed. The screws oh, are very fun. They have some fun effects. Doubled in round two. Just wonderful, Cookie. There's some very good ones in there. Take a good look at... At nine months will come a great flood. If famed seer Nostradamus had well, still, you still have your screw, Jaden. as a fetus, what might he have predicted about his own birth? I shall... Oh, look out. Ouch. Player three decided to screw. Let's see how you do without vowels. Ah. Eh. Beautiful. Also, don't forget, screws reshuffle the answers on your side to make it to make it actually difficult. Out. Who could have predicted this? <laughs> Nostradamus was a French guy who was rather predictably ah, born damn. in France. I thought it was Italian. It's impressive to know your horoscope before you have a birthday. Nice use of the screw, player three. Have some cash. Just allows me the answers were shuffled. Yep, they always get shuffled if you screw if you get screwed. So use that screw. They are very powerful. And do it early. Octopus, coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein. Because you can only screw people who haven't answered yet. Queen Elizabeth or Frankenstein. The doctor that is. What's the sign? 
Important part of the inspiration for the invention of the first webcam. Octopus, coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? I think I misremember something about this. So, yeah. And how do we do? The webcam was invented at the University of Cambridge so researchers could check and see when the coffee in the break room was ready. Oh, I thought it was to observe octopuses. I always put a piece Octopi. of tape on my I don't webcam know. so the CIA has no idea when my coffee is ready. I have my webcam on right now. Twas then I learned That's how you can see me. me. Whoa. Introducing Can't or Won't Stop the Feeling. Which Justin Timberlake song title best describes the act of lapidation? Dirty parentheses real? River, yes. Rock your so watch out. Oh god. Player 4 just used that screw. Hope you're a fast typer. <sighs> I'm not a fast typer. Oh, this has to be all caps. Okay, let's take I a look. I mistyped that. I'm in pain. Lapidation is the act of stoning someone to death. Yeah, I completely yeah, misread the password I had to type in. Interpret that song. Oh, excellent screwing player four. Ouchie. Here's that cash. <laughs> How about this one? The ingredients for a perfect summer. And hey, stress cut with mime sore. It's time for a miss, miss none. Oh jeez. Remember to type quick. That cash will be counting down until you lock in an answer. Okay, get ready. Check out this gibberish phrase and then write down what common expression you think hmm. it rhymes with. Mud fizz liquor, pan hotter. And don't get hung up on that punctuation. It's okay to betray friends. Hmm. Well, it's better than betraying your cousin. Brain very smooth. My veins are filled with sludge compared to H2O. I can't stand the suspense. What is it? Huh. Moving right along. That somehow worked. Coming up. My love language is my love of language. Linguistics. If you're dead sea scrolling through dating profiles, what dating app are you on? E Hebrew, OK Coptic, Arabic Mingle, or Coffee Meets Sanskrit? I only know the Dead Sea Scroll from Binding of Isaac. Like, I have no idea. I'm guessing. Hope you like what you picked. Bad job. Ow. The Dead Sea Scrolls are ancient religious texts written primarily in Hebrew. Hmm. E Hebrew, where you can stop by and say shalom to fellow singles. And here we go. It's time for the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And be careful. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. 
some of its parts. Take a look at these things and tell me what they're made of. Good luck. Money. Pain. I don't know this show. But I know science. Hell yeah. Science. God damn it. <laughs> ah, yes. Virginia. Stone? That's some of the Fast and Furious movies. Probably, if I had to guess. The Vin Diesel Stone. <laughs> Quarter pounder with cheese. Don't get a McDonald's? Yeah, don't. Player two takes it! Excellent job, player two. Nothing feels as good as winning. Very smart, Dirk. Eating cake. Well done. Mm, cake. Mm, cake. <laughs> well done. But hey, all of us managed to get this one with a pretty positive score. GG's! Oh. And we'll do another round. Binge Pipe is because, a yes. little too proud of this menu screen. While other streaming services are satisfied with just providing quality content, Binge Pipe is never satisfied. We have an insatiable hunger for content that haunts our every waking hour. Behold. Please. Could have Venus know from me? Game. Okay. Enjoy because your food. We have forgotten how to enjoy anything. More gaming. Hop on in. Once again, that is Jackbox.tv. I'm gonna pin this. As a mom, I used to stay up nights worried about what my kids were watching on TV. And all you have to do but then I got sign in for Twitch. Pipe. And With then you can game. Hours of quality movies, TV it's pretty programs, good. And game shows. Yeah. I haven't had time to worry about my kids. This way, all. I don't have to be the only oh, one who's bad at trivia. About a horse that's also a doctor? <laughs> Looks like I'm missing another dance recital. If you value joy, check out this binge pipe programming content. Hey kids, do you know what it means to be a friend? Yeah! Yes. Do you know what it means to be in the friend zone? I mean, seriously, look at these texts. I, I don't get it. This week on Captain Fun Time's World of Hard Adult Lessons. Then we'll talk about the spooky world of ghosting a relationship. Ooh. Ooh. Spooky. Hi, I'm Sam. I've lived in this quaint New England town my whole oh, yes. life. Which I'm going to wait another in minute and then we'll do some more gaming. Say, but to Hail me, ye. It's a lifetime. Maybe when you're coming of age in New England. Hey, Ma! Grab that wicked pizza! And you're a lobster. Yeah, Ma! The one doing a monologue! You gotta be ready to go out on your own. It sent me! The lobster got in my car! See you in hell! It's parked in my car! Rotation? The monologue yes! Is Rotation! In my car and I agree. But well, yes, uh, gaming time.
Binge pipe has no Such choice mode. but to present yeah. you don't know Jack. He rotates and you cannot Binge stop him. The number one subscription service Dang. you are too lazy to cancel. Oops. Now I feel bad. I'm Cookie, and any rumors that Binge Pipe is forcing me to host this game under duress are completely false. I mean, that's ridiculous. If I was in danger, I'd say the code word yeah, Albatross. I lost my Twitch 2FA somehow? I not said Albatross. Huh. Not even one mention of the word the rotating or is the camera rotating? Let's get this Albatross started. Look at this group. Do you want me to break one the illusion for you? Do you want to know? To portrait taken. And since we've got some folks or, in overflow seating, or would you like, or would you like to want bonus bonus that forever? Or do you want me to, question. you know, break the illusion the a bit? The audience does on a question, the less bonus money goes to the players. But if the audience screws it up, there's going to be a lot of cash on the line for that right answer. Ready or not, here we go. Rotating angle is easier. And you're correct. Rolling. A nipple effect. All I did was just sit down the camera in a static position nipples, and just took brother. images. What should I call my shorter? It was way it was way too difficult John to always Jay stay in the same T pose. <laughs> like damn. Like damn, do you have any idea how good it, how difficult it is to pull off a perfect T pose for so many photos in a row? It's not that easy. I love this part. And they just stretched them you together. You got it. You got the wrong answer. And there you go. Spin. According to IMDb, Jay is 5'9 and Mark is 5'11. I just guessed. I, went I have no idea what those are. In a mesh top, so right now Jay and Mark look like they got the crap beat out of them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This one's called A Name to Forgive But Never Forget. Which of these is the real name of the real person who really composed the opera Hansel and Gretel? Francis Babertoot, Catherite, Meisternut, Jimothy, Chompadunk, or Engelbert? You know what would happen on guessing? Yeah, this game is the only one in the series that counts not answering as a wrong answer. In all other games, if you don't answer, it just okay, doesn't count as anything. What? Any last words? Not uh, too late. Yeah, that's that's really his name. Engelbert Humperdinck. Keeping in yep, mind that's a real name. A different Engelbert Humperdinck than the contemporary singer who is also named Engelbert Humperdinck. What is happening? Yeah, Engelbert is an is an incredibly weird and archaic German first name. Oh, here's that's actually one. true. There are You're people named that. Harry. Sounds to me like some sort of dis or dat. I'm going to read you seven things, and for each I want you to tell me if it's a curling term or a magical stone from the world wow. of Harry Potter. Think fast, you'll only get a few seconds to pick between a curling term or a Harry Potter stone. Incredible. We're all doing this together, so look alive. I love this or dance, they are always Go. weird. Hog stone. God damn it, I got that one wrong. Yeah. Stationary stone. Philosopher stone. What a rocky question. Resurrection stone. I love the music in these games. They are they are so good. Moving stone. Burn stone. Hmm. Way to go. Most of you. Hell yeah. All right, let's move on. We done pretty good. I don't need you 
And now that wasn't too bad. Yeah, true. Star charts. I'm a staunch on that one. You can make pretty good educated which guesses. Is why I only get tarot card readings from physics professors. Which of these psychic predictions does not include one of the four fundamental forces of physics? Beware the gravity of new responsibilities. Challenges are going to heat up this year. You'll have weak interactions with loved you ones. You fool. Or you'll I know have science. strong interactions with angry wolves. So what'd you pick? Electromagnetism is the fourth fundamental force of the universe, not heat. Hell yeah. My magic eight ball is saying the future is infinite. Oh wait, no, I'm just looking at the eight sideways. Because heat is just kinetic energy on a molecular level. Feast your eyes upon this. Seeking a strange arrangement. Go with me here. If you decided to get rid of your sugar daddy and trade them in for a soy mommy, what should you not Science. call them? Edamami dearest, miso mommy, seitan sweetie, or sexy tofu lady? Strange, unusual, self-made, valve, community, collectors. So who got it? Edamame, miso, and tofu are soy, but seitan is a meat substitute made of wheat gluten. Huh. I did not know My that. My soy mommy only lets me call her Susan. <laughs> Say goodbye to round one. Time to count your chips while sitting at the table. Currently, player one is in the lead. Speaking of I the am the smart. opposite of that, these players are doing the bad thing. We have some more screws to help our targeted numbers. And keep in mind, round oh, two no. screws have now there's two of them. Effects. Plus, they earn you a bigger ah. bonus for each player that gets the question wrong. So don't be shy about using them. The rest of you better answer quick or you'll end up screwed. Oh, and by the way, all the cash in round two is doubled. In case you care about things like that. We didn't approve this point structure, but okay. <laughs> Six trombones is not a parade. It's time for I Six never know how to is a lot though. French names. Which of these French kings relocated his court from Paris to Versailles? Louis Louis. Well, what do you know? My friends, player two has unleashed the screw. Quit fidgeting and answer the question. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Let's see how that shook out. You have to count? Yes, you have. Louis, 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 Louis. Uh, no. It wasn't Louis, 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 Louis. Yeah, you have to count. <laughs> Louis the Fourteenth is the gaudy king you're looking for. Hell yeah. He wasn't a great guy, but at least he didn't behead all his wives like Henry, 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 Henry. Yeah, that screw is a good move player, too. Here's your extra cash. Moner. Last pairs should make the more. Set. Très bien. Next, time of death. Which of these Mooners, points on true. the calendar is named after a man who was assassinated? January, October, July. Brace yourself. Oh uh, no. Player three just let loose a screw. Read carefully. Ah. These are some very long TOS. I'm in pain. <laughs> Wow, they really do make them very long. Okay, what'd you pick? The month of July is named after Julius Caesar, who met his end through numerous backstabbers. One of which just agreed to. It's just, Caesar I think, why I, don't trust I think someone copied co and pasted the entire thing cats. once. And it's literally just and nonsense kitty, speak, mostly. And it's just stuff that means nothing. Or it's just jokes. Twas then I learned to eat the wings of it. I call this one... Dawn has an idea for the work outing. And uh-oh, chest strut fits lime floor. Oh god, it's another one of those. It's time for a... Ah. 
Get those typing fingers ready because the longer you take, the less money you make. Okay, head in the game. Look at this gibberish phrase and tell me what common internet phrase it rhymes with. Bowling dawn, uh, more staffing. And don't let that punctuation fool you. Internet phrase, huh? That is so amusing. That is a good one, though. Gymnastics. That is a good one. And while we're waiting, stay hydrated, gamers. It's very important. Let's make sense of this, shall we? Let's get on with it, shall we? To be fair, who, who uses a waffle anymore nowadays? It's more, it's more about Pog and Kick W. This one's no And ass. lol. I never forget a French name. How many times did Louis appear on the screen during that I never know how to pronounce French names question? About 44 times, about 34 times, about 24 times, or never, it was Louis. Cookie, what the fuck? Come on, dude. I love this part. That would have been a really clever twist, right? Well, let me see. Louie, 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 Louie. Yep, about 34 times. Yes! Just wait until I ask you how many times I've said Louie in this game. Oh, jeez. That'd be a tough That's one. That's a lot. Roi de Soleil. Vrai. Next up. How many times have I said Louie in this game so far? Just kidding. Ah. Who said repetition is the death of magic? David Blaine, Bill Watterson, Tanya Harding, or Louie, 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 Louie. Thanks, Cookie. Very cool. I love how they have continuity with these. Who picked what? Nobody picks that one. Yep, that was Bill Watterson, the creator. That was a pure guess. But counterpoint, seeing a decal of Calvin peeing on something never gets old. But consider, while well, repetition is the death of magic, oh, repetition legitimizes. That's what I learned from jazz. You made it. To if the you attack. if you mess up once, it's when a mistake. You an if you do it twice, it's intentional. Tap it on your device. The faster you pick I guess I right just pick the magician. The understandable. Make. I'm just gonna skip these. We know how well, this goes. Don't mind me then. Here's your clue. Pack mentality. Figure out who belongs in these packs. Good luck. Ouch. I don't know these. I'm in pain. <laughs> ah, I don't know American cereals. <laughs> eh. I know, like, basically no actors. Oh yeah, that was the Warsaw Pact. I forgot. <laughs>
come on. Well then. Let's see how this went. Player one yes! Hit. Me is the Way smart. to go, player one. I'm Ooh. happy for you, truly. And that's coming from a man who chose not to feel things anymore. Just don't forget this. You don't know Jack! But hey, GT. Yep, yeah, wrong button. That feel when actually accidentally press the sad button instead of the black button. According to the last sentence, Damn. <laughs> I'm the fastest gun in the West. Okay, so it's a bet. If you can get the coolest. And now let me double check the if there actually was a setting for. Is now trending. Huh. Looks like it looks like this was the only thing in trivia murder party. To be fair, trivia murder party two released after this, if I remember correctly. Damn it. Oh well. Couple more games. Binge Pipe is a streaming service with all your favorites, such as the reboot of the classic game You Don't okay, Know Murder Jack. Party's pretty cool. It's awesome. Did we mention You Don't Know Jack? We are definitely real. I do enjoy. I do enjoy Chirrut Murder Party. It's good. The second one is really, really good. But yes, gaming time. Binge Pipe offers. I was a about to say this time I'm waiting for Pixel. To your mom, what happened in the part of the show she was watching after she fell asleep? So who is he? Her son. Oh, wait. What now? What do you remember? I remember a party for the one guy. That's her son. Is he the handsome one? Yes. With the beard? No. Wait. No. I'm confused. Binge Pipe. We're patient. Cool. There is no bottom to Binge Pipe's content pit. Here's something else to Content, for. hell yeah. Sure, we're just an island of talking horses, I like content. But it's what I put is what I make. With respect. Yes. What? Were you all oh, hey, welcome back, in a barn? <laughs> you were? All of you? We love All content. Content good. A modern system for because did you know? World, an unprecedented level of this content you watch right now you has 3.2% more dirt than any it's other content an you can find. Gift you give yourself Perhaps. It's a Citation needed. Old friend, a knock on the door late at night. Who could survive all this rain? It's a song you hum to yourself while the bank teller fills the bag. It's a deer, sleek and innocent, and made of lightning. That letter is that actually the percent This isn't their handwriting. It's Citation needed. The letter bursts Perhaps. In flame and you faint. You wake up in a rainy alley in London and hear a but yes, once this ad is over, I'm going to start the game. It's deadlier than the jackal in the right climate. You look behind you, but there's only an old woman embroidering. You run and run and barely make it on the last train out of the city. You arrive at a ship and sneak aboard. You mm -hmm. sleep on coils of rope. The captain discovers you and says, We're taking you to meet someone you wronged many years ago. But when the ship docks, you're left standing in front of your own door. This is Bitcoin. Also, the lightning wow. deer is wearing sunglasses. Incredible. But yes, here we go. Gaming time. Yep. Perfect timing. <laughs> Pats. Awesome. Did you know the settings eh. menu has extended timers you can turn on to make the timers extend? I know, it's very useful, especially for streaming. Hey, Lime. Welcome to stream. If you want to hop in, do it fast. Yeah. I'm Kyle. And I'm Julie. We're best friends. After it's this ad, we're going to start. Or maybe we're dating. It's super ambiguous. Right when you think we're for sure brother and sister. We kiss. But then we act so weird about it. We just got to be siblings. Right? Super ambiguous. Coming, Coming this fall. fall. That was a very hey short kids, one. Do you think After this one. Fun. Then help me read this alimony letter from my ex-wife. 
This week on Captain Fun Time's World of Heart Adult Lessons. D is for Dabra, and I wasn't good enough for her. Ouch. We're up. Gaming time. Here we go. Binge Pipe feels hashtag blessed. I got, an, you, I got an achievement. Binge Pipe, you might as well trust us. I'm Cookie Masterson, and the day I give up this job is the day I die. At least that's what Binge Pipe tells me. Well, smells like everyone is here. Lots of people. Very cool. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Time for question one. To begin with, she's a total Dharma queen. Which Buddhist is living their best life? The one reincarnated in the animal realm, the one reincarnated in the Deva realm, the one reincarnated in the ghost realm, or the one reincarnated in the Naraka realm? I don't know, I'm just guessing. And how do we do? Not in this life. In the six realms of rebirth, the spirits with the most karma transcend to the Deva realm, aka the God realm. Huh. And that realm looks good on you. Work Head very it, empty. Yes. I mean, hey, I've been sitting here for eight hours. My head is allowed to be very empty. Here we have... Not what I superintended. Oh, Superintendent Chalmers. Which of a super TV program demonstrates I the hope quantum for another super position lunchin. principle. Supergirl increases in strength, but not size. Super Bowl teams never physically interact. Supernatural isn't as good as it will be. Or superior donuts are every flavor until I see them. So what'd you pick? Hey, F for effort. Science. Yes. The superlative position is the theory a system exists in all states before it is measured. Motor. Why don't we do it with three? There is no hiding from running a sparkling clean campaign. And oh joy, it's a dis or dat. Oh boy. So you imagine you get it in all the course until you open it. For each, I want Fair. you to tell me if it's... A political action committee, oh, you know, the kind that privately raise money to influence elections, or part of the name of a detergent packet for laundry or dishes. You know, like Tide Pods. Well, then. Answer quick, you'll only have a few seconds to choose between a political action committee or a This is a certified America pod. moment. And you're all doing this together, so pay attention. Here it comes. Heartland Values Pack. White bright pack. Certified America moments. Three in one power pack. Oh yeah, the engine here is just not working today for some reason. Right pack. Probably because it's not on the scene. I may or may not have forgotten that. Oops. Three T pack. Pack. Almighty Pack. Yes, you nailed that. Now let's keep going. Good at the video game. Hey, Sudi. Thanks. I spent way too much time on it. Coming up, it's a Stranger Thing that I do. I like okay, this movie. It's very comfy. Binge watching of Stranger Things, and, and it's perfect for winter time because it's nice and cozy. If Will had actually been and looks good. upside down the entire time he was trapped in the upside down. What would have probably happened to him? He would have died of asphyxiation. He would have had his eyeballs pop out. He would have been fine other than a headache, or he would have been smarter. Could be. Very comfortable. Yay. Okay, let's take a look. You know what? Nobody got it. Let's just cut to oh. the chase. 
Hanging upside down for a few days straight will kill you, possibly by having your other organs crush your lungs. Still not as gross as what happened to Sean Astin. Oh! Hey, Amber Frost, thank you so much for the raid. We appreciate it. How was your stream? Bonk. Try this on Damn. Your size. Homer delivery. The only bonk that if exists Amazon here is someone drops a resupply closet on Odysseus my head. Is home to his wife after the Trojan Do War. it, please. please. It's, it's important for a comedic effect. Please, someone redeem this. Please, please someone redeem death for a comedic effect. Hubris. It's on the way. Package making love to a goddess. Delayed. Package escaping from Mount Olympus. Or delivered. Package on your doorstep. You don't recognize him. Let's see who got it. You did not get this answer. We will try again tomorrow between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Odysseus went through a lot on Ow. his journey, but he never visited Mount Olympus. Dirk has died, That's but he's back. Round one. Hey, you fool. Show me the data, will you? Currently, player three is in the lead. Pixel is very much gaming. Very cool. Player four, on the other hand, you're highly valued, but your score is not. When the going gets tough, oh the hell no, I got a forward spot. <laughs> and remember, round two yes. screws are more powerful, and they'll net you more cash for each player that gets the question wow. wrong. So don't forget to use Gaming. that thing. The rest of you better answer fast if you don't want to screw be people. Yep, that is that is a oh, that is, that is a thing in this game. The doubled in round it makes two. answering now more difficult. That's good game design. Six trombones is not a parade. Why not try Canada? If Canadian filmmakers did a reboot of Das Boot, what would it be a boot? A submarine, a battleship, an aircraft carrier, or a cruiser? I mean, the translate the direct translation of this from German is incredibly boring to say the least. Like damn. That sport just means picked. the ship. Let's call this a teaching moment. The Did you cue this film no. Das Boot yeah. tells the story God of a German U-boat, aka there we go. a submarine, in World War II. Hell yeah, I've seen that movie. Or at least parts of it. Las Bears de Moco de Moi. Set. We. Oui. And now, broad Ow. appeal. If Ilana and Abby from Broad City befriended a queen from India, what should be their new Pets. catchphrase? Awesome. Yas Khan. Yas Well, well. Player 4 just screwed the room. Embrace the change. Or don't. I have no idea. I'm just guessing. <laughs> Swag. Awesome. What'd you guys pick? Lots of swag. Ouchie. Ronnie is Hindi for queen. That screw is a good move, player four. Enjoy your cash. Oh, and I see we have some new names. Like they say, a rose <laughs> by any other name still Beautiful. gets screwed. The name change screw. Very annoying. It forces you to change your name or you can't answer. Binge Pipe now offers content surveys. Content. Would you like a question where everything is spelled correctly or a question where everything is spelled incorrectly? Contribute your percentage of the choice now. Funny. Yeah, peak funny. Absolutely the hilarious. Are in. And now we'll fulfill our promise and deliver your content. Was then I learned to heed the winds of it. Take a good look at a question where everything is spelled incorrectly. In which movie does everything get destroyed at the end? The Road, Doctor Strangelove, I Am Legend, or One Direction, This Is Us? I have no idea. Okay, who chose what? In the final scene of this Stanley Kubrick film, the Earth gets bombed to smithereens. Huh. And don't even ask me to spell smithereens. 
Interesting. I've never seen that movie. I've never even heard of it to begin with. I don't watch movies. Here's one for you. I watch video Can essays. You feel the glove tonight? Man, Donald Glover is so multi-talented. If Donald Glover moved to France to become Thank a you, Stay Healthy Bot. Very what cool. Glove making pseudonym be? Childish coiffeur, childish boulanger, childish gantier, or childish couturier? I'm just guessing again. Je ne parle pas français. And yes, stay hydrated, gamers. Very this important. Part. This is gonna hurt. Boulanger is a baker. A gantier is a French glove maker. Introducing yes. the most poorly researched show on earth. Oh no. Which of the following statements about P.T. Barnum is the most historically accurate? Phineas T. Barnum faked a mermaid using a monkey and a fish. Peter T. Barnum <laughs> led 21 elephants across the Brooklyn Bridge. Patrick yeah, everyone T. who was here like an hour ago has a significant fire. advantage, to say the least. His own obituary. Because yes. That was literally a question like an hour ago. So you got it. It's true that Barnum lost two museums to a fire, but the Patrick part is wrong. P.T. Barnum sewed a monkey and a fish together to make a fake mermaid. In fact, all of these facts about P.T. Barnum are true, but his full name was also Phineas Taylor Barnum. Phineas? But back in Wait, those days, Ferb everybody was sewing monkeys and fishes together and passing them off as mermaids. It was basically the ice bucket challenge of its time. And how'd the audience fare? Congratulations, your friends are morons. That means that right answer is worth even more. Ow. You can thank me later. Murder. It's time for the I'm attack. just gonna skip this one again. Just oh, click the I ones talking? that are true. Silly me. Here's your clue. Good breeding. I hope you recognize the recognized breeds of these animals. Oh, jeez. <gasps> there he is! He in the game! He's in the game. Ow. We are some more yet in game. Bottom text. Funny. <laughs> funny, funny name. Fish. Yes. Pink funny. Ouchie. I want to read this. I don't know any of these. I'm just guessing. Which I'm apparently somewhat good at. I also hope the game isn't too loud. Because that felt a bit loud. I'm just gonna do this. Who wins? No, seriously, who wins? Damn it! Who's the winner? No, oh, somebody won. Their name is who? That was me. I win. Well done, player one. Look who's on top now. Enjoy the view from up there, because tomorrow you'll probably realize... You don't know Jack! Smart dude.
But hey, GG. That was a good game. And now we play a bit more. Welcomes you to a world of menu screens. If you want to hop on in, head to jackbox.tv. At the top of the screen, log in with Twitch. There are traditional and then services. you can play. And then there's Binge Pipe. What's the difference? How is Binge Pipe superior? Is Binge Pipe even a real streaming service? Why so many questions? Is it hot in here? What's that over there? <laughs> awesome. But yes, hop on in. That is the room code. But yes, GG gamers, you done well. Hop on in. Binge pipe, there was nothing for me. Video now, games, woo. And it's too much. I, I know too much. Why are there so many? Binge pipe. The following binge pipe okay. programming is brought to you by reusable toilet paper. We're not going to tell you what that is or how it could possibly work. We just want you to think about it. He's a cop that doesn't play by the rules. Why? She's Game, why do you have to do this to me? Doesn't play by the rules. You know, they might not be cops. Coach, please, don't put me in. I got a really good thing going here, just sitting on the bench. I do not want to ruin that with actually playing. Please. By studying the flight patterns and the feeding habits of the swans, I can just barely justify my degree. I've made a lot of money in my life, and I've made it all in the last 24 hours. Wow. I can show you how. Moner. Incredible. <gasps> Coming soon to Binge Pipe. Can't wait to lose. Understandable. Wanted that sentence to end? After this next ad, I'm going to launch the game. Hop on in if you want to play and be bad at trivia. Because I consider myself to be not good at this game. I tell you what though, man, life is different now. Life is different. Especially kids. All you hear now is, can I have screen time? Can I have screen time? My nephew kept asking me that question and I said, sure. And then I plopped him in front of my screen door. I said, that was my screen time as a kid. How? Irrational fear of change. Chefs, your challenge this week was to make eggplants actually taste good. Let's see how you did. I made grilled eggplant with toasted sesame and a miso glaze reduction. Yuck! Tastes like eggplant. Next. This is an almond encrusted baked eggplant with a spicy harissa sauce. Ugh! There's way too much <gasps> eggplant flavor in my awesome. mouth. I deep fried an eggplant slice and smothered it in ranch. Beautiful presentation, flawless execution. We have a winner. Awesome. Gaming time. Binge Pipe is totally freaking pumped to present You Don't Know Jack. Awesome. Pipe, we will accept your peaceful surrender. What? Hey, I'm Cookie, and while Hi, I'm Cookie. not manning the Binge Pipe customer intimidation phone lines, they let me host You Don't Know Jack. You know, you could have squeezed one more person in this game. Next time. Come on, don't, don't be rude now, okay? All right, let's do this thing. First on the docket, I'm not here to make fronds. The only thing worse than being on an awkward first date is having it available in a box set. What would you hear on The Bachelor if the producers decided the color of the flowers given out should directly match each contestant's name? Ebony, would you accept this jasmine? Jade, would you accept this cardinal? Amber, would you accept this sunflower? Or Scarlet, would you accept this violet? Hmm. Airplane is only as good though. I haven't had eggplant egg in a very long time. I have no I don't idea. Know if there is a connection here. There is a connection, Dan. It's a new Pokemon Cardinals games. Are red, your answer blue. Sunflowers are a rich yellow color, otherwise known as amber. Yes! 
Sure, it's okay when it's on TV. Was it but designing on eggplant? I mean, you, you can probably put eggplant in there. Doesn't seem like an awful idea. I've certainly heard worse food ideas. Coming up next, where about Bob? You know how Bill Murray likes to show up at random places and surprise people with his dry wit and overabundance of public goodwill? Well, if Bill Murray just randomly showed up on the Murray River, who would he likely be surprising? An unsuspecting Irish wedding party? An unsuspecting English yoga class? An unsuspecting Canadian golf course staff? Or an unsuspecting Australian bachelor party? I have no idea. Ruben. Okay, let's take a look. Ow. Damn it. Why don't I save you all the embarrassment? The Murray River is Australia's longest river and the third longest navigable river in the world. Interesting. Jeez, even Australia's Murrays are bigger than ours. But their Murray never made a guest appearance in the 2016 reboot of Ghostbusters. So there. Very fair point. Why do we do it with cream? Whoop. Let's try a rabbit as white as snow. And it's a dis or dat. I'm going to read off seven names, and for each one, I want you to tell me mm -hmm. if it's a character from Lewis Carroll's Through the Looking Glass or a character from Game of Thrones. Don't think too hard. I'm only giving you a few I don't think I know either of these. I mean, I've watched a bit of Game of Thrones, the looking glass, but I get very bored. Game of Thrones. And you're all doing this together, so focus up. Okay, let's do it. The Red King. The Mad King. The Hound. I don't know. The Gnat. I'm just guessing these. <laughs> That is a that is an interactive Black like, Mirror episode. Little finger. Hot pie. Hmm. Damn it. All right, the majority of you deserve that one. Pretty good. Ways. But player three, you really whiz that dis or dat down your leg. The binge pipe oh boy. algorithm has detected screw time. Feelings. Sounds like it's screw time. That's right, Cookie. Use the screw to make answering a question harder for all the other players. The results may surprise you, and you'll receive a bonus for each player who chooses incorrectly. Yeah, okay, they get it. We like to give you things, as long as they're no not- No way, good. coming up next, pipe bomb. My favorite. Behold, please think responsibly. What should Bombay Sapphire Gin update its name to? New Delhi Sapphire, Agra Sapphire, Mumbai Sapphire, or Kathmandu Sapphire? So here it comes. Luckily, I answered fast enough. Use that screw. Please enjoy the large print edition of this question. Don't forget this. This screw reshuffles the answers. In 1995, the Indian city of Bombay changed its name My head is Mumbai. empty, so is mine. I've been at Ask this for bartender. over eight hours. You'd be surprised how many martinis are sent back because of geographical... I think I'll do one more game after this one and then I'm done. screwed, player eh. three. I believe this belongs to you. Oh, here's a good one. Giddy upstream. I'm so excited. I was finally invited to an underwater cowboy costume party, but I want to dress up as a real species of animal. What should I pick? Lasso shark, pistol shrimp, shotgun squid, or buffalo krill? Oh, this one is awesome. What you guys pick? 
Buffalo Krill was the name of my college thrash band. <laughs> Pistol shrimp, also called snapping shrimp, have one enormous claw that they use to fire bubbles at their enemies. It's as shrimple as that. I have one enormous heart that I use to fire love at my friends. I finally got invited to a party. Yeah. That's it for round one. Let's look at the scores I'll be sending to your parents. Currently, player one is in the lead. And as Smart. a counterpoint... These players are negatively affecting our averages. When the going gets tough, the tough gets more screws. And don't forget, Tower, Jane, no, that's true. Screws have crazy and we have two more screws in play. Earn you a bigger Ouchie. Bonus for each player that gets the question wrong. Don't, so be, don't be afraid to use them. To use them. The rest of you better answer fast before you get screwed. <gasps> Pat. Oh, and uh, remember, oh, questions are worth twice as much in round two. You're doing so well, Cookie. Woohoo. Six trombones is not a parade. Up next, I'm very, very angry. I love competitive baking shows because they combine high stakes, white knuckled tension with pie. So picture this. Imagine great British baking show judge Mary Berry, mad with power, demands contestants prepare only berry based desserts. Which of these would Mary bellow? More trifle worm, bring me that tiramisu. Yep. Oh, this'll be good. <laughs> Player four Oof. has screwed you all. Let's turn those frowns upside down. Luckily, I can read upside down text without any big issues. But that is... That is a mean screw. Okay, what'd you pick? Tiramisu is made from ladyfingers, sugar, eggs, and the lightest dusting of shame. The Milfoy is also known as the Napoleon, which makes this your Waterloo. <laughs> the classic trifle is made from custard, a layer of sponge cake, and the all-important layer of berries. Ah. Make sure the sponge cake is soaked in brandy, unless the brandy's gone because some old English lady's been yelling at you all day in a tent. Way to screw player four. This is your cash now. Je trouve Jerry Lewis sonnant légèrement amusant. Set. How about this one? We can help you enjoy us. Wow. Well, uh, that sounds really set. creepy. Oui. Oh, wait. I, I know what this is. Binge Pipe recommends. Because you insist on twins playing twins, we think you'd like the social network. Look sharp. Oh, jeez. Player three decided to screw. You guys remember your password, right? Ah. I have no idea. I don't know any of these. Let's see how that shook out. The Olsen twins played one person, so this is wrong in a number of ways. Are you sure you understood the question? <laughs> Tia and Tamara Maori are twin actresses who played twins on screen. Ah, Thanks interesting. With that screw player three. Spend this wisely. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Woo this one's known as. Will someone think of so much tits? I mean, hey, it's fine. Oh boy, best butt zit slime chore. It's time for a another one of these. Think fast on this one. The longer you take, the less cash you make. Okay, here it comes. Check out this gibberish phrase and let me know what popular saying it rhymes with. Won't feta bread slugs fight? And don't worry about that punctuation. Please rest easy. Oh, I misspelled. God damn it. I had a spelling mistake in there. Ah! By oh well. Avoiding the pests. Hopefully this still counts.
stop insects from consuming you while you sleep. thinking it yes it right, still counted move on. introducing Muppet shade I don't really get this one so I'm guessing it's a meme if Kermit the Frog were sipping so much tea he needed to move to the country that leads the world in tea production, where would he move? India, but that's none of my business. China, but that's none of my business. Sri Lanka, but that's none of my business. Or Kenya, but that's none of my business. Funny Kermit meme. He sip. So what'd you pick? Damn it. China leads the world in tea production by a million metric tons. India, Kenya, and Sri Lanka are second, third, and fourth, respectively. Whoa. Kermit only drinks black tea because it's not easy finding green. Coming up next, masked flu satyrs. Which icky superhero is most likely to be a carrier oh, of Lyme disease? Batman, Ant-Man, Spider-Man, or The Tick? The issue is I don't I I don't know the English names. I don't know the English names of diseases. At least not that well. Who picked what? My wrong answer senses are tingling. <laughs> Lyme disease is a tick-borne disease. Yes! These communicable diseases are why I avoid shared superhero universes. And here we go. Jaden is very smart, yes. The attack. When you see an oh, just click all the ones that match. Shut my mouth then. It's that Here's simple. Clue. I know the general area. I'll give you the general area. You tell me what real and fictional things are. Somebody thought the dick was too obvious. There. McDonald's? Let me guess, that one is probably true, isn't it? It actually wasn't. Good. Money! Damn it! Funny name. Hmm. I'm just guessing at this point. I don't know Neverland. And who wins? Player 
Tier 2's got it! Wow! Well done, Jaden. You win. I gotta hand it to you, Player 2. Next round's on you. I'll have a Cosmo. No, wait, make that an Apple Teeny. No, wait, uh, a uh, Grasshopper. Get me a Grasshopper. Well then. No, no, wait. You don't know Jack! Big Smart. You win. And nobody has to pay anything. Nobody's in debt. Well done. <laughs> In a world. But yes. This man like I said, is a binge one more game. Exclusive. One one more game and then I'm done for today because damn. Eight and a half hours already makes this my longest stream by two hours. Ha. Welcome to Binge Pipe. My brain is if you're looking for that one program not liking this. To watch, it's no longer here. I mean, hey, I'm, I'm having fun. This is awesome. This has been a ton of fun. God damn it. I, f I forgot that I had this already up on stream. Oh, well, not a big deal. Eh. Apple, fork, highway, telephone, democracy. Binge. Yeah, well, actually, it is a big deal because I have to actually be the this first one in. Is binge pipes menu screen. There we go. Binge Pipe is more than just a streaming service. It's a something 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 with a potential to something something something. Fill in something there here we that go. sounds good and something something. I'm gonna dip, have a great night, and congrats on making it through eight and a half hours of Funeral Jack. Thanks! It's been a fun one. Even though one of the games showed up didn't work. But yeah. It's been fun. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do might do this again Ugh, next year. What's the matter, Mark? Who knows? I'm trying to find my blood type, but these medical forms are just so complicated. Oh, Mark, you silly idiot. But you don't have on to in. understand forms anymore. The last I game don't. for today. No, just send all your information to Binge Pipe and they'll find the answers for you. They could do that? Sure. Thanks to Binge Pipe's customer vault, I can send them my medical history, credit card details, voting record, deepest fears, food allergies, romantic preferences, and lucky numbers, and they'll <gasps> sort through it to find the data I need awesome. and keep the leftover details for themselves. Wow, that sounds great. Looks like awesome. I won't need this paperwork. And with the extra time, we can get dinner. Do you like burritos? I don't know. I'll have to ask Binge Pipe. The following Binge Pipe content is sponsored by Bob's Shoes. Not only are Bob's Shoes one of the most comfortable pairs of shoes you'll ever own, but for every pair we sell, we donate another pair to kids in need. But if you return a pair, we take a pair away from a kid in need. Bob's Shoes. You better order the right size. Ugh. Well, damn. Another day as a busy CEO, and the last thing I have time for is making dinner. We hear you, Karen. Why not try the box? The box? Each week, a box of harvest fresh ingredients arrives at your door. Oh, it's hello fresh. Fun, easy cool. recipes. Take back that grueling time in the kitchen and spend it with your loved ones at the table. That's great. If only I didn't have to spend hours online shopping for my next power suit. But that's in the box, too. What? Yep. Send in your measurements and you'll receive perfectly <gasps> tailored outfits that will wow them in the boardroom. You see, the box is all about giving you the things you need so you can get back to the things that matter. All right, what's the catch? No catch. Sign up today and get ready for your first shipment of everything your life is missing. Food, clothing, a book, a gift, a lesson, a challenge. A challenge? Sure, a situation that'll help you find strength you didn't know you possessed. After this ad, we'll go in that game. Breaking point. I... I don't think I want that. Oh, you weren't listening, Karen. The box doesn't give you what you want. It gives you what you need. I mean, is the box dangerous? Here's a better question. Is anything of value in this world completely not dangerous? The point is, what comes in the box ah. will be tailored to your modern needs and weaknesses. And it sounds like the box just arrived. But I don't, I don't want it right now. I'm not ready. Oh, I think the box will decide when you're ready. Why put off the inevitable, Karen? It's just a box. Go on and open it. Open it. I think I can get out through the bathroom window. But my keys in my purse. My keys aren't in my purse! Yes, Karen, run away. That's what you do. But someday the gas and money will be gone, and the box will be waiting. For now, I leave you with one last warning. Some recipes may contain nuts. The box not available in Rhode Island. Yeah, fair.
It was going to be new. More like half no. the population of Earth that we know of, yes. Because that but would mean it's it's more difficult to, to because stream. Because we're, we're come on, space? you unclear. need to be at my place uh, at home. Is this a flashback? Also unclear. Uh, but we definitely have to yeah. defuse this bomb, right? That part seems obvious. I mean, I'm just making sure we're on the same page here. This fall on the exposition. And wait, are we related? Unclear. Damn it. Gaming time. Just clear your setup. But I want to be at home. I, I like my home. Binge pipe isn't like those jerks who won't. Because you know I need I need my stuff for reasons. Binge pipe for Like come on. Days. You don't want to take my things away. I need those. Uh, Cookie Masterson, and I will be your guide. Now close your eyes, take my hand, and jump. That's a respectable turnout. Okay, it's four people. The maximum from all the older games. Let's forge ahead. Because this is the only No Jack game to allow for eight players. Time for question one. First, you can't spell women without omen. If you took a BuzzFeed quiz to find out which Greek mythology maiden are you, you accurately predicted your answer and no one believed you. What are you? Basically a Persephone, such a Hecuba, fully an Electra, or totally a Cassandra. I love the- I love the game- the- yeah, I love the music of these games. Oh god, my brain is smooth. Hope you like what you picked. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Let's skip to the right answer, shall we? In Greek mythology, poor Cassandra no was one got given it. the gift of prophecy with a side of no one will ever believe you. If you don't know which member of your friend huh. group is the Cassandra, it's definitely you. Damn. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Evil number like two. To WWEIEIO. Kids love professional wrestling about as much as professional wrestlers love doing things other than professional wrestling. Based on his well known catchphrase taunt, what would most likely be John Cena's favorite childhood game? Duck Duck Goose, Peekaboo, London Bridge is Falling Down, or Patty Cake? Damn, my chrome froze. Oh. So who got it? <gasps> More pants. Question. John Cena is well known for saying, You can't see me, which is also the name of his first studio ah. album. I know that because I bought a Cena album thinking it was a Sia album, and I gotta say, I have zero regrets. Why don't we do it with Cree? Try this on for size. Trolls will be trolls too. And oh my god, it's a Dizzardat! Whoop. Dizzardat! I'm gonna read off seven things, and for each one, tell me if it describes the 2016 children's cartoon Trolls, the 1990 horror film Troll 2, or both. Think fast. Oh god. Get a few seconds to pick between Trolls for kids. Troll 2, horror, or both. And you're all doing this oh, together, no. so look alive. Ready? Good. Has a character named Branch. Includes the Lionel Richie song, Hello. Villains want to eat the heroes. The grandparent comes back as a ghost. Hmm. It has a message about vegetarianism. It includes song The Witch of Popcorn. Huh. It has trolls in it. What? It took real teamwork to be this bad, but you all. You failed in ways not I'm not good at this. Truly explain. Binge pipe customer retention protocol has been activated. <gasps> More Looks like it's screw time. Bryson. That is the truth, Cookie. 
Screwing Yay. during a question makes life a little tougher for all the other players in a variety of enjoyable ways. We're all trolling, and you'll perhaps. receive a monetary bonus for anyone who answers incorrectly. <clears throat> Great, thanks. You're welcome, devoted customer. I don't need you anymore. And now, huh. interesting. A totally relatable childhood memory. If you're playing football in the backyard and your dad yells, go deep, where's the best place you could run to impress him? Death Valley, the Malloy Deep, the Caspian Depression, or Mariana's Trench? Engage in a little trolling? Yes. Let's see how that shook out. <laughs> the Mariana Trench is the deepest spot on the planet at over 36,000 feet below sea level. Yeah. Your dad better have a really good arm. I call this one Crimea River. Check out time and on phone. Understandable. This watery name contains the highest percentage of Earth's fresh water. Frank O. What's this? <laughs> Player one just let loose a screw. Oops. No, don't worry. Gray is very distinguished. I love this part. About 70% of all fresh water on Earth is contained in glaciers, ice caps, and ground ice. So Vanilla Ice has the most fresh water contained in his name. There you have it, folks. Scientific proof that vanilla ice Hell is greater yeah. than Frank Ocean and Weezer combined. That screw is a good move, player one. Here's that cash. Money. Round one is history. Here's who's going to live the longest. I mean, current score. Do we have global warming? These players are I don't think that's going to work. Lead. Oh, hey, there's a tie. Player four, on the other hand. Wow, you are really doing it. Poorly. The data we have acquired demonstrates a need oh. for an additional screw. And keep in mind, screw time. round two screws screw even harder. And you'll net more cash for each player that answers wrong. So do not be afraid to use that thing. The rest of you better answer quick or you'll end up screwed. Got oh, it. And did I mention all the money's doubled in round two? This is a real party now. Whoop. Six trombones is not a parade. Take a good look at Answer the Dern question. Okay. Which Jurassic Park sequel does Laura Dern appear in? Oh the god. Lost World, uh oh. <laughs> Player four just screwed the room. Good luck following the bouncing answer. The screen server one is really difficult. <laughs> Who picked what? Jurassic Park 3 is the only movie in the franchise in that welcomes back Dr. Global Ellen Warming? Sattler, a.k.a. Great Lord question. Dern, a.k.a. the future Mrs. Masterson. Yeah, Oprah says you have to put things like this out into the universe. That screw is a good move, player four. I believe this belongs to you. La vie est un canard. Set. Next France. up, Color Wheel. Which unlikely cartoon couple would combine to form complementary colors? Pikachu and Big Bird, Shrek and Sonic the Hedgehog, a Minion and the Pillsbury Doughboy, or Cookie Monster and Chester Cheetah? Okay, let's take a look. Well, I have definitely written some fan fiction about this. Oh. Complementary colors are opposite on the color wheel. For instance, blue and orange. They could also bond over their unhealthy eating habits. Twas then I learned to eat the wings of it. Behold, the cost of car ownership. It's taxes. And, uh -oh, Dress up kids dime store. Probably. It's time for a flicker is Well then. Get those typing fingers ready because the longer you take, the less money you make. Okay, focus up. Look at the gibberish phrase and tell me what common phrase it rhymes with. Parking? Yep, 
a strong fee and pay no attention to that punctuation. You're looking hard. Hmm. But not in the right place. I think I got that one. Your dog is yelling at the incorrect wood source. <laughs> okay, that is that is that is the funny. So, what was it? <laughs> Money. Moving right along. Na, 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 na. Mooner. Coming up, that Dern cat. Wow, I can't stop thinking about Laura Dern. I mean, she's yeah, the real stay deal, right? gamers. So if Laura Dern and I were in the same vinyasa yoga class, I mean, could you even imagine? And we both arched our backs into cat pose, but then dropped our bellies and lifted our heads into Bidalasana. What's a cool thing I could say to Laura Dern? How's it going? What up, dog? Camel here often? Or thanks for being you. I have no idea. I'm guessing. Okay, who chose what? <laughs> Damn it. Look, nobody knew it, so let's skip the formalities. Bitalasana is cow pose <laughs> in vinyasa yoga, and oh, is see. commonly paired with cat pose. <laughs> and then Laura and I would laugh and laugh and... You know what? Never mind. Lag makes you panic. I mean, I would highly just suggest just paying attention to your phone instead. There is no hiding because there the question usually appears porn. first. Which writing pad is barely legal? One with a margin that's barely 0.75 inches. One with a margin that's barely 1.25 inches. One with a margin that's barely 1.75 inches. Or one with a margin that's barely 2.25 I have no idea. What'd you guys pick? The only requirement for a writing pad to be a legal writing pad is that the margin must be 1.25 inches. Hmm. It's time. And you already know this? Ah, I see you already know the rules. Yes. Here's your clue. Alliterative answers. You know what alliteration is, right? I do. Good luck. Oh, yeah. That's not one of them. They misaligned the shadow on that one. Damn it. It's the crapper. Funny. Those are some funny names. Very cool. Ultra White. Walter. Walter. Put your palm away, Walter. You don't have the world's Walter.
Damn it. And here's the final scores. Who win? Player two wins. Wow. Well done, Pixel. You win. Congratulations, Player Two. Amazing job. I have tears in my eyes, but that's just years of personal regret building up. As for you, well, you don't know Jack. You got the mooner. Eh. But yes, like I said, that was gonna be the last one because damn, <laughs> I am incredibly the tired. Interactive menu screen. So yeah, eh. let me just quickly sit back up right. Why is my blue stuck on my face? There we go. That was a really fun and incredibly long stream. Like damn, almost nine hours. I'm gonna get some sleep. But before I go, and of course, you know what I gotta do. Funny haha join my Discord so we can get pinged whenever more stuff happens. And yeah. Nobody I know is life. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna end the stream here and then go to bed. Immediately. Pretty. Yeah. Well, you have a great rest of your day. And thank you for stopping by. And we'll see you next time. Bye.